experience makes car buying smooth. That's because there's everything you need to buy, finance, protect, and enjoy your dream car. Learn more at NavyFederal.org slash car buying. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. A SunTrust checking account lets you stay on top of your money and help it grow. Plant the seeds for your goals with access to financial resources and tools. Keep an eye on your spending, hedging and managing it by setting limits on our mobile app. And rake in cash back on debit card purchases from your favorite retailers with SunTrust deals. With all the right tools, your account can blossom. Open an account today at SunTrust.com slash checking. Must have online banking to participate in SunTrust deals. SunTrust, now truest. Member FDIC. As America's largest injury law firm, size is our strength. Morgan & Morgan. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the personal injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studio. Car accidents, other injuries? Call pound 546 from your cell or visit whenyouneedus.com. You're listening to WTKS-FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Available everywhere with the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasting. We are an iHeartRadio station. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. Here we go on a Thursday edition of The Jim Colbert Show. Thanks so much for tuning in. We do have... A fun program for you today, I promise. Tons of stuff going on, which you cut up on the news, Deb's news. Brendan O'Connor checks in today, find out what the hell's happening in Central Florida this weekend. Colbert Court with our friend Glenn Clausman. We'll do trivia, we'll do theater Thursday, and we will do Last Call. Welcome to the show. I am Jim. To my left, my wonderful and lovely and dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Roberts. Jack and Ross are being mean to me. Straight ahead producer, Jack Bradshaw. Uh, we are not. <laughs> And, of course, the comedy alien, Mr. Ross Padgett. Deb yeah. is a six-year-old. You're a loser. <laughs> 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Find us on social media very easily. Facebook, Instagram, at The Jim Colbert Show. On uh, Twitter, it's just at Jim Colbert Show. Uh, we do broadcast stream through three platforms, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and, of course, Facebook. And you can take us wherever you go using the iHeartRadio app. It's free. That's a new jingle That's right there. That's my own jingle. On Copyright. The house. Copyright. Pay me. No? Again? Okay. <laughs> um, <sighs> welcome to the program. <laughs> you guys have a good Thursday? Everybody doing all right? Yeah, so far so good. Me too. It's been glorious. No, I'm joking. I uh, know it's fine. Everything's good. Uh, better, I should say. Give me a quick update that we can move on. Uh, no blubbering today, I promise. Um, but uh, so mom has decided to go back to dialysis. Funny how uh, the ghost of death will do that to you. Um, but she is going back to do uh, dialysis. She agreed to go to the emergency room. And, of course, when I left Thursday, all of that was off the table. She had pretty much said she wasn't going to do that. So she flipped the switch on us and decided to go back. Uh, not out of the woods yet. Oxygen saturation isn't good. Um, COVID pneumonia now has set yeah. in. Um, I mean, man, I got some I got some families, got some problems. I mean, you guys out there... Uh, effing with that COVID, man. Yo, Don't do it. You better get your S together because it is not joking, dude. This thing has my entire family in the hospital. My, uh, I'm not going to say who because I just don't want to give anybody up. But I have, I legit have three family members in the hospital right now on full mask oxygen, 100%. With COVID. So, yeah, with COVID. All COVID-related pneumonia. It is no joke. My father-in-law, like I was telling you guys the other day, is a uh, is a chaplain for Advent and a chaplain for a company called um, Kin Kindred, uh, specifically built to go in and comfort people as they kind of take those last few breaths and stuff. And he tells me you should see it inside these places. It's just completely insane. Uh, all hospitals are full when you get up there and start yeah. talking about how they're shipping people elsewhere. Uh, I have an uncle in Ocala. I have somebody here, somebody there all over the state. I got, I got family in hospitals all over the state of Florida, man. It's just been a real interesting week. And here's the thing. The great thing is I can tell this story and I don't feel like I'm like, I'm not trying to isolate myself because all you have to do is read for five seconds and you can see there are a myriad of families all throughout the state of Florida, specifically just because we're a Florida show uh, dealing with this very thing, having family members in you through, you go through Facebook right now. And I was telling Deborah before the show now, I don't know how this is approached. If it's a political thing or not, I don't know. But the, one of the major funeral homes in my hometown 
uh, they, you know, they put up the obituaries, you know, and you can click on them and see, you know, the, this person passed away and here are the relatives and here, here's where they're being buried. The stereotypical thing. Uh, but I noticed that we were doing some research on, you know, our research for mom. Um, if the inedible did come to pass, I mean, we were just trying to get our, our things together there. And as I clicked on them, I, I was telling Deb, I noticed like of the 10 that were up there, I think six of them were under the age of 50. And the cause of death was listed after a brief illness. Hey. Oh, boy. They didn't say whatever. I mean, good. you can assume whatever. And I, I'm not going to assume the worst at all times, but... You know, I don't know how many, you know, in a town of 10,000 people, how many 53-year-olds drop dead after a, quote, brief illness very often. Yeah, but Jimmy, I don't think that's really anything new because whenever I'm, like, if I'm reading obituaries in the paper because sometimes there's a curiosity there. Sure, yeah. You're, especially when you see a younger age, like, around your own age. Right, yeah. You're yeah. looking for cause. It's like, wait, what got yeah, them? Right, because right. I want to know, you know, the, the, what do I have to watch out for? The thing is, when you compare yeah. that to other people who pass on that same list, you know, if it was an elderly person, it would say extended illness. So it doesn't, you know, and, and if it was a car crash, sometimes the family will request, you know, to put that in there as a precautionary thing, right, you know, right, uh, right, you know, right, drinking right. and driving or drunk, yeah. dri whatever the case may be. But this was just brief illness. And of course, we know that, uh, you know, my mom had to wait for a day, full day, to get even get a room. She sat in the ER uh, for a full day uh, waiting for her own room uh, as they were doing it. So as it is now, uh, mom's act oxygen saturation is not good. Uh, she is on 15 liters a minute of oxygen. That's 100%. Um, and if that doesn't do the trick, because at her oxygenation level, I think, is at 92. They'd like it higher. That's not terrible. Right. Um, but it's not dire quite yet. Right. Um, but you know, she is going through dialysis and they have not been able to get the fluid off of her with dialysis like they thought. So what we're hoping is, is she didn't wait too long and didn't t skip too many of these, uh, treatments to make it in that, you know, to make it not even matter. So from when you left, left, left us, yes. uh, the good, don't news, say it that way. The good news mm -hmm. is don't say it that way. It sounds terrible when, uh, okay. So over the past two days, the good news <laughs> now is <laughs> yes, well, well that's, played. That's well, a married man right there. It's well, like, well, all right, how do you want me to deliver it? <laughs> got it. Go. Well played PAG. <laughs> the, 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 the good news now is that your mom is getting the medical treatment she where is. two days ago she was the, refusing the, the uh, yeah, the the top thing was that when, she didn't want that. When I tweeted yeah. out, I feel like I'm going to explode. That was when I just you know had come to the conclusion that mom was making a decision like that. Also, we're working on. By the way, big thanks to Stephen Kramer. Gave him a call for some uh, advice during all this. Uh, if we needed power of attorney and things of that nature, the problem is you know. The, and here's another unique aspect of all of this. And again, I know that a lot of people are going through this, but remember when the first wave of COVID hit and the um, the nursing homes. Uh, you know, you you saw you started seeing pictures of people sitting outside the windows of nursing homes. So yes. They could, yes. Well, this hospital and all of facilities, their medical facilities um, in Putnam County, are just, they're shut down. You cannot visit. So as of right now, the only conduit I have uh, to my mom because she doesn't even have enough breath to talk on the phone right now. Just to give you, a, I mean, mm -hmm. give you an idea where she is. You know, just oxygen wise. Um, she can't even like they won't they won't let her take her mask off long enough to even like to take a have, phone call, even have a short conversation. Just will not do it. So I'm trying wow. to get her to text. I know she can do that, but she's pretty weak right now. But um, the nature, the, the nurses are so aware of the nature of not being able to see your family members while this is going on. And I have to tell you, man, of all the things that I've dealt with with this situation, the nurse's ability to transfer that information and then be empathetic about how difficult it is to deal with this from afar. And afar could be in the parking lot. Right. To be honest with you, it's no different if I'm sitting in Orlando or in the parking lot of the hospital. I'm just as far away yeah. because there is yeah. no ain't yeah. nobody going in. Uh nobody's nothing. So here's the here's the here's the fun aspect of this thing that we're dealing with now. Trying to get power of attorney uh over a number of things so I can take care of her personal uh, affairs. Um you have to have two witnesses um and a notary I'm down to do this, right? Oh yeah. Guess what? I have about 40 people that are down. Can't get in there. It has to be signed in the presence of the notary and the witnesses oh. and you can't visit. So I can't even get power of attorney right now. So I can't do that. So there's not even that. So it, it is a really unique kind of weird kind of limbo uh, slash uh, what's the Catholic thing? A uh, purgatory, yeah, purgatory yeah, yeah. kind of thing we're in right now, where it's the we're in this in this gel. We're just floating here, waiting for something to happen so we can pounce and make a move. We were actually we drove up yesterday. Why well, I missed yesterday to take care of a lot of this stuff and get all the paperwork that we needed from her 
places she was living and get her vehicle and get it down here so we could take care of it here. Um, and we just hung out in the city for a couple hours, hoping that there would be some way we could get in there, maybe, um, and you know, and, and see her through a window or something. Man, they just, they, you know, I mean, they understand not cool about it. You know, no, man, we can't do that, you know. And and I completely understand, right. but that hurt to ask. <laughs> That's the sales in me. Right. Um, <laughs> well, because, you know, when you're vaccinated, you're yeah. like, hey, you know, I'm vaccinated. Right, right, you want to give that, it a shot. Does that help? And to be honest with you, you don't want to be near that place right now because, I mean, it's just absolutely teeming with COVID-19 know, up there. But... You don't want to be, you know, honestly, they're doing you a favor by not letting you in there. Um, every, she told me every single room on my mom's ward in that area is locked up with COVID-19. Door sealed, won't go in unless full PPE, the whole nine yards. And I don't know if you saw the alert from uh, the Orlando Sentinel earlier today, but of course the number of pediatric cases is causing a lot of concern. Someone just yeah. texted us at 77031 and said that uh, they have, uh, a, I have a co-worker on a ventilator from COVID pneumonia. Her baby had to be delivered at 30 weeks. She has more weeks to go yeah. on the vent. Yeah, the big story. I don't know if you guys talked about it yesterday. Did, about yeah. yeah, the woman who uh, did that. It's so terrible. Uh, actually, somebody said, can you Skype the power of attorney with a notary? That's a great question. Because one of the things we were going to do while we're up there is take her an iPad. We have an extra iPad my wife used for volleyball season. We were going to. It's a flex. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> mini. Was she coaching? Was it's she a, dude, was just it? filming the volleyball matches for my daughter to make uh, reels to get her into college? Right. Honey, so, grab one of the backup iPads, please. <laughs> <laughs> just start handing them out. Normally, you give them out for Halloween, right? It's the fuchsia one. <laughs> um, no, yeah, uh, but uh, iPad and just so, you know, so we could Skype, FaceTime, whatever. They've been and doing court her. that way. But uh, and then maybe we could do that. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to kind of check that out. I never thought about that, buddy. Thanks for a heads up. Appreciate it. someone that. also texted the hospital should have a notary on staff. They do. I'm but, sure this isn't the first time they've run up against this. They do, but the witnesses, usually hospital employees will not witness things like that as not to be part of the liability if anything happens yeah. in, the, in the long run. So I don't know if there's a special situation where they have people in the hospital that can do that for us uh, that, are, that are not affiliated with, but... You know, those are all the things we're trying to figure out right now, trying to just make sure that even matters. You right, know, health right. first, and then we'll take care of all this other stuff. We're nicking at it for sure, but as of right now, we're just mm. trying to keep our bills paid so nothing happens. If if everything works out great and she's able to kind of come out of this and, and have what is a normal life with full-time dialysis, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but there is a glimmer of hope, and uh, we are taking it and running with it. All right, enough of that. 407 916 1041. A bunch of other stuff coming up today. We have all kinds of things. MegaCon is starting. Uh, they don't know what to do with the ISS. Have you guys heard the story about the International Space Station? No. So the Russians may be out of that thing like in 2025, and they're kind of wondering what they want to do with it. Do they want it to break up? Do they want to do this? And it's kind of interesting how Russians come into play in this thing. Mm-hmm. I will tell you about that as well. Parents, I want to know how your first day of school was. A lot of weird complaints. Deb has some stuff in the news about bus drivers and drop-off times being a nightmare. And uh, all the, just tons of crazy stuff It always runs late those first couple of days. Yeah, oh, yeah. well, because of the bus driver shortages, we've already seen it on our texting service. Parents just saying the time to drop your kids off at school is just exponential, the wait. It's yeah. just, it's, it's, not, it's just... No fun. What's coming up for news? Uh, Speaking of no fun, uh, state Democrats are calling on Governor DeSantis to report daily COVID numbers. Uh, Overseas, a drawdown of the U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan is underway. That is an ugly story and getting uglier by the second. Yep. And a German animal shelter wants you to swipe right. Okay. We'll tell you why. That and so much more coming up during Woke News. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. Of course, you can always text our show at 77031. Back with more of the Jim Colbert Show on Deb's News right after this. Don't be such a loser. Orlando City remains on the road to face Nashville SC Wednesday, August 18th. Coverage starts at 8 on our sister station, FM 96.9 The Game and iHeartRadio. Orlando City matches on Real Radio are brought to you by Mossy Oak Fence. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center. Car crash? Call Clausman Law. Eastbound travel on I-4, still a slow ride between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535, as well as eastbound between Conroy Road and OBT. Westbound busy, too, between Princeton Street and Colonial Drive, and also between World Drive and 429. We're still accident-free on the turnpike. No reported issues on the beach line. The 408, 417 look good, too. See traffic problems? Call the safetouchsecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Take the shortcut to your next great hire. When you sponsor a job on Indeed, 
Instant Match immediately delivers a list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. And Dr. Phillips Center presents Lasting Impressions. Cannot wait to see this going Friday night, August 13th through the 26th of September. Art, music, wine, brushstrokes by Monet, Renoir, Van Gogh, and other impressionist artists spring to life with this new really cool 3D LED technology. One of kind of event. More than a show, really. It's a full immersion of sight, sound, and taste transporting you into the world's most recognizable masterpieces as you're standing there being part of them. They're going to offer wines and little bites for purchase. Immerse yourself in the favorite masterpieces masterpieces with this brand new technology it's going to bring it all to life right in front of you paired up with music as well wonderful wine get your tickets today at drphillipscenter.org they start at 40 bucks and vip packages are available as well again get your tickets today drphillipscenter.org this hour programming brought to you in part by fas windows and doors no matter the challenges we were there with a stronger more reliable energy grid when our community struggled, we were there with flexible payment arrangements and other support. And as the sun comes out, bringing the promise of a brighter tomorrow, we will still be here. With energy that's reliable, affordable, and cleaner than ever, we're Duke Energy, and we're building a smarter energy future for you. Paid for by Duke Energy shareholders. At Navy Federal Credit Union, we help our members execute missions every day, like Operation... Earn cash back on tutus, dance lessons, and tiaras, so I can get a little more towards something for me. Or Operation... Pay for soccer, pay for piano, pay for dinner. Then use the cash back on something for mama. The cash rewards card from Navy Federal gives you 1.5% cash back on purchases and has your back with fraud protection. Apply now. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members of the mission. Open to the armed forces, the DOD, veterans, and their families, insured by NCUA. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed senses and automatically adjusts to keep you both effortlessly comfortable. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. It's the biggest sale of the year where all smart beds are on sale. Save 50% on the new Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com. Need to turn your home equity into cash? This is Robert Palmer, and home values are at an all-time high. Smart homeowners are accessing home equity at today's low rates. But don't use your home equity to pay closing costs. Let me pay them instead. Visit rpfunding.com for details. NMLS 7168, Equal Housing. Sunnyside Plumbers. Yes, my drains are backing up. For service in Swedish, press 1. What? For service in Klingon, press 2. But I... For all other languages, press 3. What the... Fine. Please state the nature of your problem. Drains backing up. For drain problems, press 11. There is no 11. Must have a new phone. The old ones had 11. That's it. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. Well, I... Did you? What was I thinking? Indeed. So are your drains still plugged, or have they magically fixed themselves? I'm calling Frank Gay. When you have plumbing or drain problems, you need help fast, a helpful operator to guide you, and plumbers who will provide a permanent solution. That's the Frank Gay way. Sounds to me like you should have called Frank Gay. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Welcome to a place where everyone deserves to be better protected, where technology has your back, where you can have better protection and keep more money in your pocket, where you can have protection for your car, your home, your phone, and even your digital identity. Welcome to a place where your entire life can be better protected. You're in good hands with Allstate. Allstate and affiliates offer products and services subject to availability, terms, and conditions. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. O'Reilly Auto Parts specializes in keeping your car on the road. Not sure how much life is left in your battery? Our professional parts people will test it for free. If it does need to be replaced, we'll help you find just the right one to fit your car. Our superstar batteries are built to handle even the toughest conditions. Visit O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. When you owe the IRS or state sales tax and can't pay, call J. David Tax Law for effective tax help. J. David Tax Law can stop IRS or state collection actions and protect you from financial ruin. 
call J. David Tax Law for a no-cost consultation at 407-603-3962. That's 407-603-3962 or at jdavidtaxlaw.com. Peace of mind is only a click or phone call away. Dunkin' Go-To's are great deals on two of your Dunkin' favorites. You can get two egg and cheese wake-up wrap sandwiches for $2, two sausage egg and cheese wraps for $3, two bagels with cream cheese spread for $4, and two bacon egg and cheese croissants for $6. America runs on Dunkin'. No substitutions, exclusion supply, participation may vary, must buy two. Thousands of free playlists are being created now by people just like you on the free iHeart app. At iHeart, we think every mood and activity deserves a playlist, so we made it totally free for you to start creating your very own. Working out, chilling out, or maybe you're getting ready for tailgate season, we made it super easy. Start by searching for a song, or simply add a song you hear streaming on your favorite station like this one, directly into a playlist, and we'll help with the other songs to finish it, only on the free iHeart app. Number one for music, radio, and podcasts, all in one. Does your AC need attention? Visit MillsAir.com now. Since 1992, MillsAir.com. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. Thanks so much for tuning in on this Thursday afternoon. It's hot. Yeah, it is. Uh, hot. And God almighty. me too. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, welcome back. I am Jim, Jack, and Ross. They're sitting right over there. Let's get a check of the news. Here's Deb. Don't look at me like that. It's time for woke do not, do not sling me a glare if it's You're undeserved. Right. You said the whole <laughs> on the Jim Colbert Show. <laughs> Nasty hag. Why would you call me that? Call you Shame what? on you, Dad. Listen, you didn't hear yourself. S- I didn't say you, anything. You just called Jim a loser. Oh, you too. <laughs> you too. What? What are, are we losers too? You're a loser. <laughs> oh, Deb, Deb. God, you guys stop it. <laughs> Woke news is brought to you by Home Loans Radio with that mortgage guy Don. God, enough of that this week. Saturday, he's also host of the Home Loans Radio Show. Give him a listen. All it's right. Radio, Speaking of this weekend, this weekend, tropical depression Fred still on track to affect Florida this weekend. The storm. Uh, busy with Cuba and the Bahamas, maximum sustained winds still 35 miles an hour, moving to the west-northwest at 14. The National Hurricane Center in Miami says three to five inches of rain are expected across the Florida Keys by Monday. Uh, parts of Florida could get up to eight inches of rain. Now, in the Keys, they're already urging people who are staying in campgrounds, mobile homes, live aboard mm. boats uh, to consider heading to safer structures by tomorrow evening. That's when they want boats to also be secured by that time. Now, forecasters could issue a tropical storm watch as early as this afternoon for a portion of the Keys in southern Florida. Uh, and National Weather Service's Robert Moleta says disorganized systems like this one have the vast majority of the rain on the east of the storm, or what they call the dirty side of the storm. Mm. You know, again, it mm-hmm. could most likely just be just a rainy weekend, but... Man, if there's one ever since uh, when your gutters, people ever since yeah, ever since Michael, ever since Hurricane Michael, uh, when that storm was only quote unquote only supposed to be a Category One and right. just sat in the Gulf, and 24 hours later slammed into the Panhandle as a strong Category Five. Yeah, that thing it, stayed out there drinking. It's still not for, the same for just 24 hours. Yeah. So. Uh, the trick is, is just don't assume because they're saying on Thursday, nah, it's just going to be a rain event that it's something you can completely ignore. Uh, Florida is expanding treatments for COVID-19 patients. Governor Ron DeSantis was in Jacksonville this morning to announce the state is going to be bringing in more monoclonal antibody treatments such as Regeneron to treat those who are infected with the virus. DeSantis says trials so uh, show a 70 percent reduction and hospitalizations if the treatments are applied in the early stages of the illness. Yeah. He said they're going to start first at nursing homes in Jacksonville, and then they're going to have strike teams that will set out to other Florida cities uh, as they see need. The governor says the move is aimed at lowering COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths in the state. And um, Florida's Democratic Caucus, in the meantime, is pushing for the governor to Return to reporting daily COVID numbers from the Florida Department of Health. Right now, 
that's being circumvented. The Florida Department of Health hasn't had uh, any new information on their dashboard for several months. They you know, Once right, cases yeah. started going down, they thought the worst of it is over. They stopped reporting. So then uh, Agriculture Secretary Nikki Freed went to the CDC, and that's how we're getting the numbers. They're coming from the CDC. But leader-designate Ramon Alexander of Tallahassee says, we're already way behind the eight ball with information. Florida continues to account for nearly one in five new COVID cases around the country. The CDC says Florida set two Two new records uh, with more than 24,700 new cases yesterday and over 15,400 hospitalizations uh, locally. That includes uh, 30 children in one of our biggest children's hospitals with six of those kids in the ICU. Uh, Governor DeSantis, though, said he expects hospitalizations to drop in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, and and for the people who will point out to, oh, look at the death rate, it's so low, especially with children. Listen, as a parent, or even just as a trying to be a decent human being, you don't want to see any kid in the hospital or ICU, especially with the unknown long-term effects of uh, of this virus. So it's uh, do what you can socially distance, wear your mask and get vaccinated. It's I think of the Palm Bay representative, I believe Randy Fine, and he's a Republican and he got COVID last year and he's one of those long haulers. Yeah. It turns out he had an injury in his shoulder 20 years ago, yeah. 20 years ago, an injury in his shoulder because he got COVID that now requires a surgical repair uh, an intravenous uh, antibiotics. Really? All because he had COVID. It, you just don't know it's, how it's going to run rampant in your body. It's so bizarre how different it is yeah. in different people. It is. He, yeah. and, From person to person. Yeah. And yeah. this lawmaker's pissed because he's like, listen, if I didn't get COVID, I would never have to be looking at this kind of surgery. It's only because I got COVID that now I have to deal with this. Uh, Moderna and USF Health are going to take part in a COVID-19 vaccine trial for children. Uh, research doctors at USF Health Morsani College of Medicine need volunteers, though, to participate in the trial. Uh, volunteers, if you're interested, should be between the ages of six months and 11 years old. Uh, parents, uh, your kids must be in good health and they must not have tested positive for COVID two weeks before the trial. All right. All uh, right. Also, and on to other news, um, a new survey says Floridians support environmental reform. The report from the University of South Florida says two-thirds of residents support policies like uh, carbon taxes, reforestation, and strict regulation on fertilizers. Results also showed uh, 85% of Floridians want more funding to protect endangered species like panthers and manatees which are already, I mean, well past breaking any records. Springs, rivers, oceans, not a bad place to start either. No, and the latest climate change report means the chickens have come home to roost. That's what USF Geosciences professor Tim Dixon says about the U.N. report released this week. We had talked about it briefly during Woke News. I've got an article pulled to read about it that says, um, it. you know, it's it's. You know, Dixon says that it, the report indicates that rising temperatures and sea levels just aren't going to get any better. Our, our right, window yeah, yeah. of opportunity to change is is done. He adds that locally we can expect to see heavier rainstorms called rain bombs that will drop several inches of water in an hour. And he, uh, Dixon also tells T- Tampa Bay that we could start to see wildfires that are more common out west. Uh, this is something for Jimmy and I, being the true crime aficionados that we are. All right, good. What you got? Murder. Murder. Yes. And a 35-year-old murder mystery appears to be solved. All right. Sarasota police can announced yesterday they believe that Joseph Megaletti killed 28-year-old Denise Stafford back in 1985. Investigators last year started re-examining evidence in the case to see if anything could be submitted for retesting with the latest in DNA advancement. And last month, a DNA match led them to Megaletti, who was a person of interest, but who was never a suspect. Turns Mm. out he had worked with Denise's husband at a local bar. His motive remains unclear. And where they got the DNA hit was from her pants. They figured that the suspect would have had to have left his DNA when he went to place her on the bed. So they found the DNA hit on her pants behind her knees. 
God Almighty. And around her ankles. That's where they found this guy's skin cells. Uh, Magaletti unfortunately died in prison six years ago while oh. serving time for another murder. This one, the murder of his neighbor in Sarasota. Damn. So a real, real nice guy. Yeah. That sucks. Well, it doesn't really. I mean, at least you know the guy got his uh, got the just due. But, and his name, her family was given a name of someone who had committed the crime instead of always wondering. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. There's an odd closure there, I bet. There is. For her, uh, I read a couple of articles, and for the victim's mother, for her, the um, justice came in the fact that he's not alive to hurt anyone else. Right. So someone else's family isn't going to have to go through what their family went through. It's just, uh, and what the Sarasota Police Department basically used this as an opportunity to say, listen, if you've committed a crime, don't ever think you've gotten away with it. Not now. Just because it's been years, don't think we've stopped looking for you. You still, you have to always look over your shoulder because one day we're going to come knocking at your door and it's going to be your turn. And I think for anyone who's committed an egregious crime like murder, um, that's got to be... Kind of spooky. I, I cheated on a couple of tests in high school. And You're I'm, good. And I'm still paranoid about Miss Watkins walking up to me going, I know what you did. You had a Miss Watkins? I had a Miss Watkins. I had a Miss Watkins. Did you? Oh, yeah. 6'2", 260. Whoa. Same, with same her, one, Russ. With her hairdo and her church flats, 6'5". No. No. And she could hide a small person in that hair. <laughs> My Miss Watkins was real tiny. Mm-hmm. No, this one was a beast. Real mean, right? Uh, No, not really. This one squeaked when she walked. I'll tell you one thing. (laughs) My Miss Watkins, not the most observant, because everyone be cheating in that class. Not mine. She probably was. She just didn't want to have to care anymore. My Miss Watkins would peel you like a banana if you you cheated. (laughs) I'd fight your Miss Watkins. Oh, my Miss Watkins will make you do your timetables till 12 until you melted. Listen, if your body looks like your elbows, I'm going to win in that fight. Wrinkly, going down. All right, gotcha. Overseas, the U.S. Like embassy her. in Afghanistan will begin to draw down as the Taliban moves closer. Uh, State Department spokesperson Ned Price announced the drawdown as the security situation in Afghanistan is rapidly deteriorating. Now, additional U.S. forces are being moved to Afghanistan to assist with evacuation efforts and airport security in Kabul. Uh, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby told a briefing that the troops are coming from nearby regions. He did call it, quote, a temporary mission with a narrow focus, end quote, involving about 3,000 troops. Reports say thousands of Marines are moving into position for a possible evacuation of the uh, American embassy. And the order for uh, folks to start evacuating Afghanistan apparently goes beyond what it normally would say, where it's just like non-essential personnel. Right. In this case, the memo that's gone out to those in the embassy is like, Oh, hell, you're not kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, President Biden ordered remaining U.S. troops out of Afghanistan by next month, ending roughly two decades of American involvement in the war-torn country. We're not even all the way out of Kabul, and already you can see the Taliban coming in. Uh, And the real fear is, you know, again, we're going to watch women and girls just be, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, New Yorkers are trying to change the name of a bridge memorializing Mario M. Cuomo in light of Governor Andrew Cuomo's resignation. GOP Assemblyman. Oh, Ross should be on board with this, right? Mm-hmm. Who? Who? Uh, all the family members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If should, he, should, oh, should, should carry this stain. Oh, what was this statement? Is this something said yesterday, I assume? Yeah, all I'm saying is that Chris Cuomo having his own show while his brother's going through this on a massive news platform that mm. sure, I guess on paper is deemed entertainment, but the effects of it is a news channel. If I'm the owner of CNN, I'm like, dog, you got to go. We well, got to I mean, replace he, he, you. He already caught a bunch of crap for like not being able to talk about him. Like this, I think the second or third time that he's he, that Chris Cuomo would not or, or avoided main stories about his brother. The the guy in charge of CNN said he is not to talk about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Lemon and who's the other guy? Lemon and... Anderson Cooper. Oh, apparently New guy. go after him. No, <laughs> <but> <laughs> apparently go after Andrew Cuomo hard, oh, whereas really? Chris Good. Cuomo can't. Well, I don't know. I don't watch. If yeah. he's screwed if he talks about it, and if he's screwed if he doesn't yeah. talk about it, Ross which means him fired. he can't do the job honestly. Yeah, it's yeah. this massive elephant in the room. It's tough. Like then there are plenty of able people to do that job. Yeah, yeah. Well, GOP Assemblyman Mike Lawler is promoting his bill to change the bridge's name back to its original moniker, Tappan Z. Lawler hopes enough lawmakers oh, will... Oh, that, 
I've well, been over the Tappan Zee Bridge many times. I didn't know they changed it to Mario Cuomo. Yeah. Mario Cuomo is not part of this. No, he's not. But uh, they're hoping, it, Lawler hopes enough lawmakers will view his, the Cuomo name is tainted. That's terrible. And then vote to restore it to <laughs> Tappan <laughs> Zee. Ross is on board. That is so petty. Isn't it, though? Andrew <laughs> Cuomo. <laughs> Maybe at the Watkins that, Bridge. That seems so petty. Andrew Cuomo had pushed for the name change when the bridge connecting Rockland and Westchester counties was replaced in 2017. Well, I went over that bridge by accident when I first got my license. Did and, you really? and you have to pay the toll on the other side. I'm like, I, I just, this is a mistake. He's like, you can you turn here, son. And I think we've learned our lesson about hiring people, politicians that have nipple rings as males, right? right. Apparently, <laughs> we've I learned did our some lesson research. There. His uh, nips are just taped up. Yeah, I don't cannot. know why they would be taped Listen, up. Listen, I, mean, I, don't, I don't have any problem with you putting bars <laughs> through your nips as a dude. That's your thing. Right. You should not be making decisions for people with that. Prince. <laughs> Your decision-making process, yeah, you could, you know, I don't know. I mean, it could be a shaky coin flip kind of situation. You shouldn't be governing New York with that. A little something That may be for, a bit judgy, but that's fine. Speaking of New York, for our Yankee fan over here, what fans are looking forward to the first ever regular season Major when? League Baseball game to be played in Iowa as the Chicago White Sox take on the New York Yankees this evening in the Field of Dreams game. Oh, that's right. They yeah. Go, yeah, 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 yeah. Tick Pick reports. I got tickets. my VCR set. Do you really? Yeah. Good, good for you. Fresh the, tape. I had to find my free VCR. The website is called Tick Pick. Tick Pick reports. My God. Tickets for the game on the secondary market. Mom, these don't look like tickets. Uh, yeah. Are the most expensive for really? an MLB regular season game on record? Let me guess. How many people can go? It can't be that many if it's a Field of Dreams kind of scenario. Right. Right. There's a, a lot of What's corn like a taking up the whole outfield. <laughs> what, a thousand people there? Okay, so uh, for the, for five, the five, low five, end, what do you think the low 1500. end? 1,500. Oh, yeah, uh, that's not bad. I'll, I'll say 3,000. Ross, I'm going to go 25. What was yours again? 1,500. Points for Jimmy. Boom. They're over $1,100 on the low end. What do you think they are on the high end? Seven Gs. Oh, I'll go 10. God, you are good at this, Jack. I'm Say 8,500. I'm going to go I'm gonna go five. Points, Ross. Oh, Yay! there you go. Good job. 4,500 on the high side. The game it Sounds like spring scene on Broadway. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. When you told us those ticket prices, I was like, what? You go to that, Jack? If you I, got fifteen honey lit just laying around, well, you, you I'll be there trip? next week and I've and Spring Scene is playing in Central Park I, next Saturday. Oh. I I will be there. Damn. I will be miles away. But you'll be there. I, I looked at the ticket prices. The cheap tickets are four hundred bucks. Whatever. Oh, you got that. Do that. That's just so you can get in there and get mugged. I'm sorry, what? Four hundred bucks. You you can do that. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, you should treat him. yourself to oh, that. Uh, In Central I got, Park. I got Netflix. I'll watch. It. Oh, no, man. Yeah. Treat yourself. You're such a treat oh, yourself. Um, <laughs> I don't that, know. That makes, it actually makes me attracted to you for some reason. <laughs> Back to the game. The game at the site of the 1989 movie Field of Dreams near Dyersville is set for 6 p.m. Central Time, so that will be 7 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, pregame at six. I I I set my DVR, but Jimmy, a texture says it's eight thousand in attendance. <gasps> Is the crowd they're fitting in there? Yeah, that's pretty good. I, yeah, I'm looking. I mean, I watch. I try and watch most games anyway, but it's uh, or I have them on. You know, it's either going to be stuff. great or a complete s show. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. it's going to be great. And then after four innings, you're like, oh, okay. Weren't they supposed to play this game last year, and then the pandemic, you know, ended up moving everything back? I think so. Yeah. I think I remember hearing about the hoopla. I just want to win. I don't care about the corn. <laughs> Well, listen, it is the middle of August. We are thankfully looking at fall just around the corner. But just in case you weren't sure, Dunkin' Donuts is going to help you out by bringing back its fall menu earlier than expected this year. How early, you ask? (laughs) Tomorrow. Next week. Okay. The Massachusetts-based company announced plans to launch its pumpkin-packed menu starting August 18th, six days from today, if you're counting. That's too early, man. It should be September minimum, man. The popular donut and coffee chain also plans to add new items this year. Uh, Heads up, Ross Pajittles, including a pumpkin cream cold brew. Damn. And pumpkin spice signature latte. 
Pumpkin flavored donuts, muffins, and other yeah. treats will also be returning. I gotta give respect where respect's due. You know, Duncan is Duncan. It is what it is. Whether America runs on it or not, that's yet to be seen. Uh, but <laughs> the I was, East Coast does. But I, 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 I America was, doesn't run. I was on. Uh, <laughs> not now. Ten million <laughs> yeah. jobs available. It's more of a slow walk. I was in that Cocoa Beach scenario over the other day and went to that Duncan. They don't have a drive-through. And uh, you go in there, and Duncan has a coffee called Midnight. Duncan Midnight, that is their dark roast brew. Pretty darn good. Is it? Pretty darn good. Well, More I, of an Italian roast than a French roast, love. so it doesn't have that bitterness. It's real roasty. I thought they were pretty much throughout the country because we see them all over here, and and it was same thing up north, and I know uh, Boston is a big Duncan area. But I was listening to a podcast that were talking about like California. There's no, nope. there's hardly any. No Duncans oh, out there. Yeah. And, and when you get up north, especially during uh, toward Maine, you run into the Tim Horton land. Right. Well, that from the Canadians. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that stuff. You go Ooh. to Rhode Island, and about every three feet, there's another <laughs> new Duncan. Oh yeah. Okay, back overseas, a German animal shelter wants you to swipe right. Yeah, the Munich Animal Welfare Association is putting abandoned animals on Tinder. I think this is a great idea. Hoping people will use the dating app and make a match with a needy dog or cat. The shelter says they've already set up several people on their first date. That's actually a great idea, Isn't really. that a great it idea? It is a good idea. I mean, as we heard yesterday, uh, we had uh, the Animal League on, and a lot of animal rescue organizations are just really dealing with a super yeah. influx of animals. Yep. So anything they can do to creatively get that those adoption numbers up, Always helps. And now you all are officially woke. Woke News is brought to you by Home Loans Radio with that mortgage guy, Don. Don was probably the best part of buying our home in Massachusetts. He was so easy to work with. He explained everything. He was available whenever we needed it. But for those of you who already own several homes because for rental properties, for investment, Don can take care of you too. He has the expertise to help someone like me buying their first home to someone like you buying their 20th. Find out for yourself. It's no easier than homeloansradio.com. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Back with more of the Jim Colbert Show right after this. Something on your mind? Text us at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Everybody, Thursday, to you, Fox 35 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jamie King with you now. Fox 35 Storm Center forecast update for the rest of your Thursday here in Central Florida. Look for increasing clouds, hot and humid. What's new, right? Heat index at 101. Our actual ambient air temp at 92. Isolated showers and storms begin to develop after about 1 o'clock. Chance and coverage 30, 40% at max today. 76 tonight. Showers and storms before 8 o'clock. The partly cloudy late, warm and muggy. For Fox 35, I'm Storm Team Chief Meteorologist. Meteorologist Jamie King, always depend on a new trust. Fox 35 weather. Take care. This report is sponsored by Amtrak. Amtrak. Whether you're craving a breath of fresh mountain air, an exciting new adventure, or just some free babysitting from grandma, Amtrak can get you there. With more than 500 destinations across the country, everything you're missing, just an Amtrak away. Tools Ace Hardware is your home for the big green egg. Man, if you've never cooked on a big green egg, you know what it is. It's that Komoda style charcoal grill. Yeah, you can smoke on it. You can sear on it. You can get it up to 800 degrees and you can cook it 220 for a long, long time. But what you get is tons and tons of flavor. And the great thing about Tools Ace Hardware, they have all sizes in stock, plus a great selection of rubs, marinades, and sauces to make your food even that much better. And all the accessories as well. Not to mention, man, the Big Green Egg is going to be the show point, the, the absolute star of your back backyard patio scenario tools ace hardware has everything you need to make your backyard the absolute focus of your fall festivities it is going to be great and they are waiting for you right now it's tools ace hardware 11 locations here in central florida find yours today at toolsacehardware.com hey orlando this is paul anka for pdq pdq from start to closing afternoon to night day to frozen with love in every bite quality that's fast and fresh that's our pledge to you for chicken just made so much better count on pdq 
Awfully Only knows shoppers that are looking for a nearly new car that fits their budget and lifestyle. I know I am. That's why I buy my cars at Awfully Only. And you should too. Because why should you spend time and energy haggling when you can shop with Awfully Only and not only save time, but save thousands below retail on your next car? truck, SUV, or van. With Off Lease Only, they want their customers to leave the stress behind and find peace of mind with no haggling, no negotiating, no pressure, and no hidden fees. This is the way car buying should be. Don't pay more. Choose from fresh inventory arriving daily. Financing is available for good and bad credit, and you can get pre-qualified online now at offleaseonly.com. It's never been a better time to trade in and trade up at Offlease Only. Reach them on the phone at 407-222-CARS or take a test drive at their massive state-of-the-art location just off the beach line at Narcusi and McCoy. Get started online right now at offleaseonly.com. Tom. Hey, Central Florida, it's time to up your standard of driving. R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Are you sick of driving a car you hate? Raise the bar in a nice new car and lower your monthly payment at the same time. Use cars from just $69 per month. New cars from just $129 per month. Raise the bar and I'll get more for your old car. We'll pay up to $5,000 over appraised value for your clunker. Is your credit score lower than you like? We will help you get approved. That's what makes us your car dealer next door. Give it a try. I'm raising the bar and making my best. Best offer ever. Like brand new Mirage's 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. And introducing the all new 2022 Outlander in stock and ready for delivery. Plus check out our certified used cars. Monthly payments from just $69 per month. Trade-ins will pay over appraised value. So get here quick. I'm RC Hill, your car dealer next door. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishi. Visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Mirage 9972 months. 2.9 APR. $9 down. 249 payment plus tax tag fees. Max trade instead of based on Purchase. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company presents and Doug. And we're back with Limu, Emu, and Doug for the final question. Category is things you climb. All right, Limu, what do you think? You sure? We're going with Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Uh, oh, so close. We were looking for stairs. Huh. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. The summer of can is here. And since we finally can, let's make it a premium summer. Fancy sausage at the barbecue. A full theater for camping. A fully gold bathing suit at the pool. Because Heineken is made with premium malt and their famous A yeast. So go premium with the crisp, ice cold can of Heineken. Pick up a pack or get it delivered and put the can back into summer. That can be your six-pack. Must be 21 or over to purchase. Please drink responsibly. You don't want to mess with the IRS. They have the power to garnish your paycheck, levy your bank accounts, and even take your home or business. That's all true. But thankfully, they're offering a way out, the Fresh Start Initiative. If you qualify, you could save thousands. The experts at Optima Tax Relief will fight to get you the best deal possible. And they have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau to prove it. Call Optima for your free consultation. Call 800-783-8055. 800-783-8055. Optima Tax Relief. For details, visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. This year full of real radio is brought to you by Klausman Law. Car crash? Call Glenn Klausman. KlausmanLaw.com. Take a break from the flame war. Your racist brother-in-law isn't going anywhere. Real Radio Orlando on Facebook. Powered by Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show, also available to watch. Yeah. We like it when you watch. At The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Welcome back to The Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Uh, give us a like on our new YouTube channel, if you don't mind. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Just uh, subscribe. That's all you got to do. It doesn't cost anything. We're not going to bother you with any emails or any junk like that. We just want you to check out the program. Get involved. Very easy. I'm Jim. Deb, Jack, and Ross are here as well. Uh, this guy, the lead singer of this band, Pete Burns. Uh-huh. Uh, this band is called, hold on for a second. Don't tell me. Dead or Alive. Yay! Yes, sir. Points. <laughs> Uh, lead singer, it's, it, you, you're more excited to do the band name. I knew the lead singer's name. You said nothing. 
<laughs> yeah, well, oh, guess what? I, w- neither of us could confirm that. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> you could this, have said anything, you know. Exactly. That, I just that remember guy, being a weirdo. That guy may be <laughs> the greatest precautionary tale for body uh, changing. Yeah. Well, no, no, you just he plastic surgeryed himself into mm. a monster. Really? And then I think wound up. I, I think he passed. I think he wound up dying from it. But that guy. What's his name again? Pete Burns. When you saw him the first time with Dead or Alive with this video, I mean, you knew he was kind of out there already because that was happening in the eighties. Right. But uh, when you fast forward, Pete Burns was not nice to himself. Oh. oh. There you go. <laughs> and he was part of a group called Dead or Alive. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the. I mean, this is and, the. But he did the eye patch thing in the. And he, it was an '80s look. It was a typical was '80s look. It's look. Very yeah. androgynous. Yeah. Very non-binary. Yeah. It may have been holding his eye in. I'm going to be dead honest with you because my man uh, went under the knife a lot, and he yeah. uh, he made himself unrecognizable. Oh. He was the first guy I saw that did that, or the first person I should say that really did that. Other than like um, uh, Joan Rivers, really never. Even, I mean, she was always recognizable. You just knew she was stretch tight. He was the one that went for those real serious changes in his look, and and he was successful because he definitely got a different look. It, it looked like they put all the collagen. All in. Yeah. yeah, I remember <laughs> his lips. Uh, Joan Rivers had the best line saying that every time her grandchildren saw an ambulance, they thought it was grandma <laughs> because you know from all the plastic right. surgeries, like grandma. And the irony of her like dying from it. Though, I right? know exactly. Cardiac right. arrest at fifty seven. Yeah, fifty seven. Five, five years ago. Yeah, yeah, five days before his album release. Yeah, I mean he had a very difficult life. He you know he had a number of addiction issues. And then, of course, he was addicted to that body that body thing. Yeah. How many plastic surgeries do you think he had? Jeez Louise. I would say 25. I'm going to go with 122. Oh, my gosh. I'll just say 40. 300. God oh! almighty damn. 300 <laughs> and plastic none of them, surgeries. And none of them worked. <laughs> none of them worked. <laughs> because he just got worse but and worse. Unless, you, I mean, maybe, that's, maybe that's what he wanted to look like. Who knows? When you get into those numbers, though, you know it's it's not going to be good. No. Yeah. There, there's no way. Can we put a picture of him up on the uh, on our, on our the blog so people can see what he looks like? Yeah, we'll find it. The former lead singer of Dead or Alive, You Spin Me Right Round. Oh. Uh, and I think that's like a gay anthem, isn't it? Like I, when you go to the gay clubs, and when that thing goes, it, I know for a fact I've been to Parliament House dancing before, and when they play uh, You Spin Me Right Round, the place goes crazy. Now, I, yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Jim from Palatka just said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I've been true, dancing though. at the Pea House a number of times. Some of the best times I've ever had in Orlando. <laughs> Even better dancing, when he calls it the Pea House. <laughs> dancing with my wife at Parliament House. From P-Town to Pea House. <laughs> there you go. The Jim Colbert story. Full circle. I guess you can call Parliament House P-Town, too. Oh, that's a show title. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's got a whole, you know, little civilization. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if, if he was or just Gabe. transgender before we called it transgender, because well, this was very... is a photo of him, and you wouldn't have known. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that, he, you got to remember, I mean, he looks like, he looks like, uh, like he kind of looks like Suzanne Summer's sister there. He did, yeah. Because he's got that kind of blonde hair that comes around his face. But back in the day, it was almost like, um, he almost looked like the lead singer of the cult. Um, That's kind of what he looked like. Kind of a piratey kind of... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Makes me think of that very, very rich woman who uh, oh yeah, yeah, know underwent all that extensive plastic yep. surgery to make herself look more like a cat. Yeah, yeah. Because her uh, eccentric husband really loved cats. Yeah, <laughs> and it ruined her. Oh, it did. Well, I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, her husband's a big fan. Four zero seven nine one six one. So speaking of like uh, body uh, stuff, and I mean, Megacons in town this weekend. And it's funny because the big thing when Megacon comes into town that I tell people who live here or people who are visiting here or thinking about coming here, you know, I drive is one of the big you know tourist destinations of Central Florida. Uh, when you come here, that's where you when you see the uh, the big um, uh, the all Orlando the, Eye and right. all you know, all the the real touristy stuff that isn't the parks. Um, you know, that's where it happens. That's our that's our thing. And uh, this thing pretty much backs up all of I drive. I mean, it is a complete and utter nightmare to get in and around that area. And by the way, you know, Central Floridians now go down to I drive because, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff down there now. The restaurants are great. Oh, yeah. Uh, the entertainment's down there. You know, the I, the the Wax Museum, there's a great theaters down there. Plus, you've got, uh, oh, the English chef, George. Uh, uh, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay's, yes. Yeah, fish and Chips restaurant yeah, just man. opened at Icon Park. There's so many great little restaurants mm. down there. Tapatura yeah. is a is a local owner and uh, is down there, and it's a great little restaurant locally owned. Do you want to do our really... show from one of those uh, pods on the wheel? No, because I'm 
scared of heights and I'll just be like a cat yeah. in the center. I think I tell you. I think... Oh, damn it. Did I just say the wrong thing? I, no, no, I no. <laughs> no. Jack, 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 Jack has you so triggered. The email. Jack's not so trigger happy because every time Jack, when you say oh, something, Jack goes to the computer. We think he's snatching it. Yeah, that's what you're, I thought you were doing with the part of my house stuff. I'm like, there he goes. I'll hear that for the next ten years yeah, until I, I can pay somebody to go in there and delete it for me. I, I wrote it down. I'll go get it yeah, later. Man, sons of bitches. <laughs> Worst person ever. Thank Wanted you. to hire you again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, ah. Meteor shower is in town. I guess tonight was supposed to be the night. I'm standing out there in my underwear in my front yard yesterday <laughs> thinking I can't see anything. And I'm yelling at this guy. I'm like, wait a minute. There's supposed to be 60 of you an hour. I've had a terrible day. I need a GD meteor now. Nothing. It's north So, so north picture, your, uh, picture you yourself. I want to check your backyard. Tonight. That, oh, man, if that's the case, I'm going to be pissed because I got bitten a lot. By mosquitoes, <laughs> the hot. Uh, but I'm it gonna is get, the Northeast. So if you're wondering what I'm doing at nine o'clock tonight, just picture this. Close your eyes and picture this: me underwear, scotch, cigar, yeah. laying in my grass, looking up with my dumb dog and saying, my wife laughing at me. Dex has to be there. It has to be a little <laughs> bit later, though. I think it's after midnight. What? Yeah, really, it's, yeah. It's, that's peak view. It's like between midnight and six a.m. Mm. <laughs> That's what we all you said want to see yesterday. If we can speed it up for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need to make a call. Uh, 407-916-1041. All right, take a little break. Brendan O'Connor will join us right after this to tell us what's happening in Orlando coming up on this maybe soggy weekend. So we'll get you something to do here coming up in one second. I definitely want to watch that. The radio station that other radio stations listen to. You're welcome. Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the rest, buy from the best, goldsmithjewelry.com. Well, officials have cleared a disabled vehicle that was stuck in the center lane heading west on I-4 between Princeton Street and Ivanhoe Boulevard, but it has left behind some very slow traffic through here. It's also heavy now between Maitland Boulevard and Lee Road and also between World Drive and 429. We're seeing eastbound delays, too, on I-4 between Conroy Road and OBT. See traffic problems? Call the SafeTouchSecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. Staples Connect has amazing prices for everything on your back-to-school list. The TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator is just $99.99. That's a $55 savings. In-store only offer ends 814 limit two. Visit your local Staples store and be more than ready for school. Staples. Man, I love my Mossy Oak Fence, and I know you as well. Man, these guys are so good at what they do. When I think about Mossy Oak Fence, I think about high quality because the skilled craftsmen over at Mossy Oak Fence use only the very best materials out there and high quality, that's backed by the best warranty in the business. But I also think about sensibility because here's the thing. Mossy Oak Fence offers affordable payment plans. I think about safety and security because I know for a fact after talking to these guys many times that your family's safety and security is Mossy Oak's number one priority. So if you're thinking about a new fence, think MossyOakFences.com. That's MossyOakFences.com. And as always, let the Mossy family protect your family today. Spectrum Business called their competitors to see if any of them could beat Spectrum's Business Internet Plus phone offer for $69.98 per month with no added phone taxes or fees. Here are real quotes from the competition. How are they pulling in no fees and taxes? That's madness. I would 100% go with Spectrum. Even the competition recommends Spectrum Business. Call 855-339-5344 and switch to Spectrum Business today. Competitor quotes from actual phone conversations. Limited time offer, restrictions apply. Call for details. International Diamond Center's best event of the year is happening now with your choice of two incredible offers. Offer number one, an instant 25% savings on all wedding bands. You heard it right. Now, for a limited time, get our best price ever on all wedding bands, 25% off across the board. Or if you prefer, you can take advantage of offer number two, zero interest financing for 36 months on any purchase. And IDC will even cover your first two payments. This incredible finance option is for everything, rings, pendants, bands, bracelets, designer jewelry, even certified diamonds. Pick any item spread your payments over three years with zero interest and as a bonus idc will even cover your first two payments so you can save big on wedding bands or take advantage of this incredible finance offer whichever you choose you can't lose during idc's summer of savings event now through the end of august only at international diamond center for orlando locations on approved credit when life-changing events happen it helps to have an attorney on your side at those moments kramer law is here to help take the burden off your shoulders if you've been injured in an auto, truck, or motorcycle accident, 
Kramer Law is here to take care of you every step of the way. We charge you nothing unless we recover money for you. No matter what the legal issue, we're here to go to bat for you. Kramer Law. One firm for life dot com. Offices Altamont Springs. When emails are answered, workout is finished, kids are dressed, <laughs> and the sun is barely up, it's time for McDonald's. Now with bundles, your order is automatic, like a sausage McMuffin and hash browns for $2 or a McDouble and small fries for $3 later. With so much juggling in a day, the easiest part is getting your faves with bundles at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid when product served. Offer not valid for McDelivery. Right now at Old Navy, grab amazing back-to-school deals for the kids starting at just $5. Extraordinary prices on kids' towels every single day. Get kids' tees and tanks from just $5, dresses from 8 active tops and bottoms from 8 and shorts from 6 every single day. Find this magic at Old Navy and OldNavy.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. This is Claudia's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. I had just moved to a new city and barely even knew where the grocery store was yet. When my car wouldn't start one morning, I didn't know who to ask about local shops. But I remembered a name from back home, O'Reilly Auto Parts. I called and they pointed me to a great mechanic just down the street. Now, I feel a little more at home. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. If your grocery delivery is just okay, that's not okay. But good news, now Kroger is here to not just deliver groceries, but over deliver with freshness guaranteed. And the coolest trucks, literally. They're refrigerated to beat the heat, so your salad always has that farm fresh snap. Sound more than okay? Then order today at Kroger.com. Kroger, fresh for everyone. For a limited time, you can get $15 off your next three orders for savings up to $45. Offer valid with digital coupon while supplies last. I want to break free. Ready to break free? Norwegian Cruise Line is back and sailing this summer. Kick back in the Caribbean or take in the stunning sights in Europe. And with our robust health and safety program, you can cruise confidently. Book today and enjoy 30% off all cruises, free open bar, free airfare, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer ends soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Sail safe. Feel free. Ships registry the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. If you believe that a loved one has been abused or neglected while living in a nursing home, call us. Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the personal injury law firm of Kaufman & Lynch Studio. Car accidents, other injuries? Call pound 546 from your cell or visit whenyouneedus.com. You're listening to WTKS-FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Available everywhere with the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasting. We are an iHeartRadio station. We now return. We now return to the Jim Colbert Show. The web already in progress. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1-407-916-1041. You're definitely going to want to hop on one of the streams, Facebook, YouTube, and or Twitch. You can find us easily at all of those, the Jim Colbert Show. Oh, uh, viewer discretion because is advised. Brendan O'Connor never fails to give us a show today. He has gone above and beyond. Again, well. YouTube, Twitch, <laughs> and or Facebook, log on for the stream as we talk to the man, Mr. Brendan O'Connor. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. I'm uh, I'm just sitting here in my underwear, drinking whiskey, <laughs> waiting for the meteors to go by. <laughs> you and me both, here buddy. all night. <laughs> That's exactly what I look like last night, you. Uh, oh, did I lose you? No, 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 you're right here. <laughs> I was, oh my gosh, I was... I, so I you look like Brendan O'Connor. I, I needed something to kind of take the day away. It was a weird day, to right. say the very... It's been a weird week. Weird three weeks. I was like, you know what? A meteor shower is exactly what I need. A natural <laughs> phenomenon. Some whiskey and a cigar should do the trick. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. 
I just keep all I got was <laughs> possums and drunk people pissing in my bushes. Yeah. I, got a, I mean, I got a pretty good buzz and a good cigar, but other than that, nothing. But I'm good. Aww. So what's happening? Good to me. What's happening out there, Killer? By the way, thank you uh, for you and your uh, your friend Missy there for the nice email. So sweet of you guys. I appreciate it very much. We're, we're thinking about you. So yes, you got know, it, brother. Appreciate yeah. that. All the time. This time it wasn't dirty. I was just feeling, okay. you know, That's a bit. love for you. Yeah. I knew I was going to get in trouble <laughs> even mentioning it, but I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't talk about my text and just her email. That's good. <laughs> okay. So what's going on out there this weekend? We're supposed, supposed to get some uh, nasty weather. Are you guys working around that? Yeah, there's some things happening, you know, like the soccer game still going to happen. People apparently like sitting there and watching sports and getting wet. It's all part of it. Like the whole <laughs> stadium becomes a, a splash zone at that point. Mm-hmm. Nobody's, nobody's scared to do that. Uh, and Orlando City's playing Santos Laguna uh, tonight. So if you want to go get in some outdoor thing before all that rain comes in, nice. that's the time. Megan Khan, I heard you, I heard you mention it earlier. Yeah. We're, we're, sending, we're sending our photographer who you met. He's shot, he did those photos of you in the bathtub. Oh, man. Um, yeah, yeah. For, <laughs> he's great, Thanks man. Thanks for reminding us. Yeah, he's great. I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> the screensaver on my phone. Get out of here. <laughs> you know it is. You know we're it gonna is. We're going to blow it up. Yeah, there's, there's a big... There's, I have to be honest, there, there's an artist who's doing a thing here uh, where they're going to put local art up on billboards, and I am this close to submitting that photo of you. Please, yeah, please do. Oh, please, please do. do. How much okay, do you need? Good. All right. How much That's do you need? consent. What, is there a submission fee? I'll do it. I mean, no. No, he just needed to I mean, hear the need magic f- words, consent. All the free advertising we can get. Do what you got to do, man. All right. Perfect. I'm down. <laughs> We're sending him to Megacon this week, so he's going to go take some... He likes taking weird pictures, so he, it's what's weirder than a bunch of cosplayers. Has he experienced it yet? He says he has, but I don't think he has. Like, for yeah. the way, I don't think he's prepared <laughs> for people doing weird things as April O'Neil. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, Saturday, like, you know? like Saturday during some of the, I think it's the, the best time is like when the real popular uh, people are there like signing autographs and doing photographs that you can't uh, see them, but them just being on property makes the real, I mean, the super, super freaks yeah, come out. James Marsters, <laughs> who played Spike on Buffy, is going to yeah, be yeah, at this one. Oh, uh, he canceled. Did he really? He yeah, but John Stamos is still going. Uh, Kevin Alejandro, who who, is, who played the boyfriend for, of Lafayette on True Blood. Oh, yeah. Know, he's, oh. Yeah. Oh. he's going, I love him. Oh, I love him. yeah. Yeah. Black magic. I mean, <laughs> Percy and Meteor Shower. We talked about that. Go yeah. see that tonight. Uh, the popcorn flicks in the park. They're showing Captain America, the first Avenger. So if you just want to eat popcorn and look at Chris Evans's butt in public, you can do that at Winter <laughs> Park tonight. So I mean, it's at eight o'clock. You can just watch it as a superhero movie too, right? That's America's yeah, ass. Okay. Who does that? It's that's America's, America's ass. ass. I love that. <laughs> you, 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 that's a reference to the movie. He yeah, says I know. That. All right, just making sure. Yeah, Lizzo. He jumped into Lizzo's DMs. I heard. Yeah, I heard. And Lizzo jumped into his. Hey. hey. <laughs> I can't, can't blame, blame her. her. God, oh, guys, wow. guys, please stop. I'm begging. Wow. Just we're beg. on the same frequency. We're vibing. We're vibing, Deb. We I like you. Mm. Uh, the 33rd mm. annual Sponge Docks Seafood Fest is taking place in Tarpon Springs. I don't know weekend. if you're sponge worthy. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <Aww. laughs> go, to, go there this weekend. It's all weekend. Oh man! Uh, get in before the rain comes. It's a, it sounds like a really fun local festival. You know, maybe you'll buy some sponges mm-hmm. if you need them. Uh, there tomorrow night. It's the return of that sellout Taylor Swift Shake It Off dance party at Neon Beach in downtown Orlando. So they they had it once and it, they were turning people away because so many people were there to dance. Really. To Jimmy, oh, that's, that that's has how big you that written, thing that has you written oh, yeah. all over it. Wow, man. think of it. That's how big that got, huh? Shake it off. Yeah, okay, shake I'm fine. It off. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> my kids got the meter. I might go. <clears throat> my kids got the meter. She was, yeah. uh, she was really, really sweet. Aww. And my daughter's tall, so when they walked into the room and she was there, she doesn't meet many tall girls, and she automatically started talking to my kid because my kid's tall. And tall women have a problem finding men because they don't want to go out with short men. And when they put on heels, my daughter is like 6'2". Right. When she puts heels on. So to find somebody, you know, that that really kind of where she can wear heels and not feel like she found somebody. He's like 6'4", you know, but uh, until then, you know, she dealt with that all the time. 
talking to T Swiss about good story, it. Jim. Good story. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know. Uh, chicken and beer fest taking place in a pocket tomorrow. If you you say good story to me, and then you follow up your chicken and beer fest. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. Chicken and beer. Nothing's wrong with chicken and beer. Why do you have a Kim Jong Un haircut? <laughs> Every once in a while, it pops in. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Oh, there yeah. it is. Oh yeah. There we go. No, I like the way you said. Oh, good story, Jim. So good mad. story. You're so He's mad. Sons of bitches. He needs chicken and beer to calm him down. Chicken and beer. I do. And a nice little puddle. I'd, I'd eat it on the show right now mm. i'll show up i'll come out tonight and we'll just hang out in our bath in our uh in our underwear together and watch that is like the eat. fifth time you said something about being mean you and i being naked together and it's only 407 and that's not your naked. first time gotta, thinking about it why do you gotta it? make it gay i just said in our underwear like there's nothing. i'm so sorry for making it over the line i'm so What's sorry for, two... so sorry yeah. for making it gay buddy my bad yeah yeah God, you over the line. Continue, you know? sir. Continue. Just two bros hang out in their underwear. Continue, and drink sir. And look Con at stars. Continue. You know? Continue. And Contemplate are... life. Continue. <laughs> Southern right. Knights is celebrating their hey. seventh anniversary. There's a segue. All right. If you want to go, go hang out with Southern Knights, they're probably the most high profile drag venue right now since uh parliament house is closed mm -hmm. and they are going to be showcasing willem who if you're a rupaul's drag race fan willem got kicked off of her season for sleeping with one of the producers uh so scandal you can go see willem <laughs> perform at southern nights friday nights uh art after dark is a great event that's being hosted by the city arts factory people right downtown orlando uh, if you are like this, it's a semi-formal like soiree for young professionals or people who just like to be around young professionals. Like the Catalina people. wine mixer? Sure. Okay. What did you say? <laughs> it's just an old joke from a movie called Step Brothers. So old. So bad. That's okay. <laughs> You're still relevant. I like that. It's, it's so much shade. What is he doing? So much shade. He's dropping nukes. Oh, he sorry. is. He I is thought you wanted to keep doing this. You're still doing that, though. <laughs> Jimmy, just so you know. Don't feel threatened. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> You're still relevant. <laughs> yeah. Seminole Bromeliad and Tropical Plant so Society taking place on uh, on Saturday. They're showcasing 2,000 plants for sale nice. over in Sanford. That's going to be fun. Uh there's a no label summer walk and i don't did you follow this whole hullabaloo with dove coat downtown jimmy no what what do you mean by hullabaloo i know they were owned by a different company and clay the chef left and after yeah, that and so, after after that let's just say it was way different it it did change and so people party promoters have been hosting like big parties in their courtyard they transform their courtyard into like a like people yeah. get jiggy with it yeah, out yeah. there now right he tried to do and, that with uh, me a couple months ago and it just didn't work out for us <laughs> the, the owner of the building is trying to kind of get rid of them apparently because they're having just crazy parties yeah. where like farm animals will just bro listen i'm telling courtyard. you when i when i met with those guys when we were doing a thing way back he said this courtyard is going to come alive soon and i said well it's a, it, look it's a good spot there's no question it's a good spot but uh you know, i guess he shares that space with other people he has to get permission <laughs> to have these parties with so that could get interesting it, it's it got a little out of hand, like uh, enough out of hand that people were like peeing in elevators. Like it was oh, just crazy. Come on, oh. it's insane. Like it's in it's in the notes. I think the weekly wrote about it. We talked about it on our show a couple of weeks ago. But there's a big party happening this weekend, and it looks like it might get a little crazy. It's they're gonna have a runway show. It's a day party, but it's gonna get into the evening. They're mm -hmm. gonna have. 15 designers showcasing bathing suits, hot swimwear on 80 models, live DJs. It's going to go right into the evening. Uh, I know it's going to get crazy. So if that's your scene, go check that out. Okay. Uh, festival. Oh, I got to say this Espanol. Festival Puerto Ricano y Multicultural. I can't do it. I'm Canadian. Uh, it's a 10th annual free festival about Puerto Ricans okay. over in San Francisco. Same day as the uh, Seminole Bromeliad thing. So you could double dip okay. and head on over to the Sanford place and have live music and, and it's eat lots of food. Downtown Sanford, they're having a big, uh, it's basically, a, a, is it just a Puerto Rican, like a, a, like a Puerto Rican pride festival type thing or what? Yeah, and it's at the Mellon Park, which I actually oh, yeah. don't know where that is. Yeah, that's on Mellon Park, right on the, right on the uh, lake there, right yeah. on Lake Monroe. Yeah, right on the lake. Okay, cool. Perfect. Just hop around. Yeah, make, a, make a whole day of yeah, it. Yeah, you'll like it. 
And then, uh, were you ever into roller skating? Man, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, here we go. Brother man. <laughs> here Brother we man. go. I had a permed mullet. What? I had a permed mullet. Is, uh, are you out of your mind? That's, the That's my jam. Thing. When you get a perm mullet, they give you free skating for life. <laughs> <laughs> so you were good could you do tricks yeah i could go backwards and all kinds of stuff <laughs> you have you done backwards. it recently <laughs> no i mean no but i mean once you it's like riding a bicycle once you learn how to do it you just know how to do it i love smelling the pride on the whole i can ride backwards yeah, i could do that whole <laughs> shuffle thing i, I mean look, that was my life like for that. quite a while buddy <laughs> Did you show that off, show off those skills when you were dating uh, Tori? No, yeah, yeah. We've roller skated before because my kids had roller skating nights, and I'd go out there and show them up and make make fun of them. I love it. What oh, a yeah. well, there's a there's a whole meetup. There's a group that does roller skating meetups. They're called Wow Wow Rolling, uh, and they're going to be hanging out over by Will's Pub on Sunday. It's called Quads and Coffee, <laughs> and then <laughs> skate all morning. That's great. Show off your tricks, have some coffee, and then if you stick around, there's gonna, the Will's uh, Fair of the Dog Market. It's like a vintage market that'll happen from noon and into the evening right after They get that. some cool so, stuff at that little market, by the way. I've been there a number of times. cool. Really cool old vinyl. And if you're into the like old buttons and uh, like jean jackets and stuff like that, you'll occasionally run into some cool stuff, some cool shoes, oh. old old vans that you can't find anymore they'll have up there. It's cool. I got some like weird VHS tapes last yeah. time I was there. Yeah, I, I love it. I'm a Snuff big fan. Snuff films, all kinds of stuff. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about, I went to a, a weird yard sale in St. Cloud and this guy was selling like one of those old uh like what 50 millimeter oh yeah oh, yeah. yeah 35 right? I, I loved it I thought instantly I was like oh this is Eight. cool I wonder what I could play on it and then when he looked he looked me up and down and he goes you look like a guy that might like these movies and he brought me into the back of his of his apartment that he was trying to clean out and he gave me a bag of like old bachelor movies oh stag movies it's old stag, stag films movies. oh yeah 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 like, in fact, some of them were snuff adjacent. They're weird. Yeah, you better be very careful with that. I would burn them I all. I watched every single one of them. You're such a freak. <laughs> <laughs> all right, one last thing, buddy. Let's get out of here. Uh, the Tamuqua White House, that place where the, the guy, he's the music, he was the old music director for uh, Cirque du Soleil. He turned mm -hmm. his house into a concert venue. He is hosting this uh, old school New York City bebop group uh, that they've played in every single uh jazz venue in new york the aaron johnson quartet they're going to be playing sunday at 7 p.m five bucks to get in that sounds awesome uh, and, yeah and see some like world-class jazz where, where where's that the, again timuqua timuqua like they stand after the old uh native yeah group. yeah it's yeah. That, it is it's the guy from cirque right yes yeah ben cool. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot of words I can't. Yeah. A lot of words I can't say. I yeah. can't wait for you to try. <laughs> All right, I just. Don't, I'm not going to even try to Google that. I know. I I've been here so long waiting for these meteors right. to go by. I've had a lot of whiskey. I can't say anything. All right, you can find them at bungalore.com. You can find the magazine itself down in the Milk District area, down in the Mills 50 area, and of course. All the cool stuff right there, bungalore.com. Tomorrow night, John Bustecker and my man have a little show called uh, called Bungalore and the Bus. What are you guys talking about tomorrow? All the news, all the stuff we were just talking about, some sassy things that local restaurateurs are doing. Uh, we'll just dish all the tea. Got it, buddy. We'll see you. Thank you again for everything. Enjoy Thanks, the guys. meteors. Right. Look to the northeast. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us seven seven zero three one. Back with more of the Jim Colbert Show right after this. <laughs> Put some clothes on. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Music Weekends, this weekend on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by attorney Mo DeWitt. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. From the Klausman Law Traffic Center. Car crash? Call Klausman Law. Westbound travel on I-4 stop and go between Maitland Boulevard and Lee Road and also between World Drive and 429. Big delays heading north on 429 between Independence Toll Plaza and Stony Brook West Parkway. And this is due to the left lane being blocked by either a disabled vehicle or an accident. Heads up here. The 408 in good shape. See traffic problems? Call the SafeTouchSecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Take the shortcut to your next great hire. When you sponsor a job on Indeed, Instant Match immediately delivers a list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com credit.
Hey, business owners out there, are you feeling boxed in by the pressures of running your business? Remote workforces, HR compliance, retaining top talent, the list really does go on. Fortunately, there is insperity. They put 30 years of HR experience to work offering your employees competitive benefit options the entire time, lightening your HR load. That way, your employees and your business are set up for success. With Insperity, nothing seems impossible. Full-service HR, employee benefits, HR technology, it's Insperity, HR that makes a difference. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. International Diamond Center's best event of the year is happening now with your choice of two incredible offers. Offer number one, an instant 25% savings on all wedding bands. You heard it right. Now, for a limited time, get our best price ever on all wedding bands, 25% off across the board. Or if you prefer, you can take advantage of offer number two, zero interest financing for 36 months on any purchase. And IDC will even cover your first two payments. This incredible finance option is for everything. Rings, pendants, bands, bracelets, designer jewelry, even certified diamonds. Pick any item. And spread your payments over three years with zero interest and as a bonus IDC will even cover your first two payments so you can save big on wedding bands or take advantage of this incredible finance offer whichever you choose you can't lose during IDC's summer of savings event now through the end of August only at International Diamond Center for Orlando locations on approved credit with RP Funding's Digital Mortgage, you can refinance your home loan to today's low rates from the comfort of your own home. Get started today and let me pay your closing costs. Lock in your low rate before it's too late. Visit rpfunding.com. NMLS 70168, Equal Housing Lender. It's hot. It's humid. You wanted a relaxed pool party slash barbecue. You got the human tsunami instead. Animal. Today, he's going for a world record splash that'll send inflatable swans into Get orbit. Up. Dripping wet, you grab a nice cold can of Heineken. Watch out! When another man-child made wave embraces you. Incoming. It's okay though. He's not splashing you. He's adding more refreshment to your refreshment. Heineken. Where others see annoying splashers, we see immediate refreshment. Must be 21 plus to purchase. Enjoy responsibly. Don't want to pay bills the slow way. Electric, phone, water, cable. Just bring M Scott your bill in payment. We process it electronically and it gets paid. Scott. Bill collect fees apply. Duke Energy is ready to help you through this year's hurricane season. We're investing in a stronger, more resilient grid to help reduce and even prevent outages. And when storms strike, Duke Energy will be there to get the power back on as safely and quickly as possible while keeping you informed. It's all part of building a smarter energy future. Paid for by Duke Energy shareholders. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. When you need auto parts, O'ReillyAuto.com is just a few clicks away. We offer convenient options for you to get your parts quickly. Order online and pick up for free at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. We'll even bring it out curbside. Or you can have your parts delivered right to your door with free shipping on most orders over $35. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. At Off-Lease Only, they know shoppers are looking for a nearly new car that fits their budget and lifestyle. So why spend time and energy haggling when you can shop with Off-Lease Only to not only save time, but save thousands below retail on your next car, truck, SUV, or van? With Off-Lease Only, they want their customers to leave the stress behind and find peace of mind with no haggling, no negotiating, no pressure, and no hidden fees. Don't pay more. Choose from fresh inventory that is arriving daily and your trade-in is wanted. It has never been a better time to trade in and trade up. Financing is available for good and bad credit. Get pre-qualified online now at offleaseonly.com. Shop online at offleaseonly.com or call 407-222-CARS or take a test drive at their massive state-of-the-art location just off the beach line at Narcusi and McCoy, your next car is waiting for you right now at offleaseonly.com. 
Thousands of free playlists are being created now by people just like you on the free iHeart app. At iHeart, we think every mood and activity deserves a playlist, so we made it totally free for you to start creating your very own. Working out, chilling out, or maybe you're getting ready for tailgate season. We made it super easy. Start by searching for a song or simply add a song you hear streaming on your favorite station like this one directly into a playlist, and we'll help with the other songs to finish it. Only on the free iHeart app. Number one for music, radio, and podcasts all in one. If you have a medical malpractice claim, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Instagram. It's Instagram. not just for dog. Pick, oh my God, look at this cute puppy. At Real Radio 1041. Powered by Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show. Also available to watch at The Jim Colbert Show on Facebook. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. So good to be back. I hate missing this show. God dang it, I hate it more than anything. I really do. Uh, I, even for reasons that are necessary, I hate missing the program. Well, we like I, it when you're back. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm bailing on you guys, even though I know you don't feel that way. It just feels that way. But it's just, I felt that way my whole life. Even taking days off when I had them, I felt guilty for some reason. It's just, I don't know. I'll get over it. It'll be fine. Trust me. Don't don't shed a tear. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb, Jack, Ross. They're here as well. They're mean when you're not here. <clears throat> Are they really? Bastards? I'm going to start listening to the shows and just drop the hammer when I need to. You guys being asses? What? What are y'all doing? No. You guys bullying? No. That's a good no. look for you guys to bully. There's no bully. Hey, on talk radio, I believe it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Ratings go through the roof. You're right. He's got to learn to deal with it mentally, I guess. Uh, yeah, you just got to adapt. All right, 407-916-1041. There is some good news on the COVID front. All we hear is the doom and gloom. I'll give us good news, all Jimmy. The tomb. Here's the, all the time, here's the good Jimmy. news. Feed me. Uh, out of Gainesville, Florida, <laughs> hospitals, of course, filling up some more and more with COVID-19 patients. But researchers at the University of Central Florida say, or Florida, I should say, uh, say that they could be, uh, we could be near the peak of Delta. Did you guys see the story today? The peak no. of Delta. Uh, experts believe there's an actual date here in Florida, specifically, I think they consider this for the U.S. though, but Florida, uh, that the peak of the Delta virus will peak at this date, and then after that, you'll see hospitals, uh, hospitalizations, and other things start to go down as it kind of goes through its uh, its its uh, phases uh, in people across the state. Did uh, they attribute that to anything? Like, whoa. actually, they did. A guy yeah. named Ira Longini. Uh, he's a uh, professor of biostatistics, was part of the UF team that put together the projection on how the latest COVID-19 will look, wave will look in Florida. Uh, the peak is far higher than previous surges, but the surge is also expected to cease more quickly. Uh, they found that based on how the Delta variant has progressed in places like India, the virus will run out of vulnerable people to infect eventually. And of course, obviously not good, but good in a sense because right. it can't infect anybody else. But they think it's going to be August 18th. Which is next week, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I'm getting on a plane. That's the same <laughs> yeah. day that uh, Dunkin' Donuts' new fall menu comes out, too. <laughs> that's why I'm going to the headquarters. Yeah, they think the cases will drop in mid-August, continue to fall until November, and then eventually reach the uh, stages that we saw right before the Delta variant started to kind of uh, hip oh. up. Matter of fact, got where it got so low that they weren't really reporting daily uh, infections, and then of course Delta came ripping through, and then we're back at it again. Uh, thank God, by next week, they think that that will start to ebb and move toward the other end, which is, again, like they said, just there's nobody left to really infect. Uh, so it'll move out. Uh, it'll go back to the levels we were in June, right before the Delta variant. It should happen pretty quickly, which is really good, though, because Halloween Horror Nights, or excuse me, Universal Studios, uh, also dropped five more haunted houses today. They're going to be out at the uh, for Halloween Horror Nights this year. Are you stoked? <clears throat> I'm not. It, it, it isn't my thing, but my wife loves it more than anything on planet Earth. She loves Halloween Horror Nights. Loves, loves, loves it. And I know that it's good for the parks. It's good for the employees. It's good for the people. But, of course, if we're dealing with something that is not good for the health of the community, you have to kind of mind yourself. We know Megacon is going forward this year. I think they have some things inside. The school thing still rages. That argument still raging as we came on the air. And as we get off the air, it'll continue the rage. But it is good to know that the, the actual peak, according to these guys, 
uh, will be next week. And it looks like, you know, by fall, by the time that good weather gets here in Florida, those events that people have started planning because they thought everything was going to be cool, mm-hmm. including our Holy Tacamole event and stuff like that. All of those things looks like it's going to be just fine. We'll be able to move forward with that and keep everybody nice and safe. I just wanted uh, uh, on the back of you mentioning Universal and Halloween Horror Nights, uh, breaking news, this from the Orlando Sentinel. Uh, Universal Orlando will require workers to share their COVID vaccination status, uh, but it will not order that you get vaccine, that you get the vaccine. Hold up now. Say that again. They want to know if you're vaccinated. But they're not going to order that you get vaccinated. So they need, they're going to ask every worker at Universal Orlando their vaccination status. But if you tell them you're unvaccinated, they're not going to require that you get the vaccine mm-hmm. in order to keep your job. Then why, t- then why ask? Because maybe they'll reassign them to, to oh, uh, yeah. cleaning up after stray cats in the back lot. Yeah, yeah I guess and so. Winter Park did require employees to be yeah. vaccinated, as did Stetson University as well. Yeah. Maybe they could then know who to enforce to wear a mask? Are they going to make you prove it? Like, if you tell them you are, are they going to make you prove it? I I, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, it's, it's right back to uh, to square one then, right? I mean, if you say, if they go, hey, are you vaccinated? They go, yeah. And they don't go, well, you need to prove it. Then, I mean, what does it matter? I mean, if, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're Legally, just, you're, probably. Yeah, I guess maybe. Is that yeah. what it is? They're putting the onus on you instead of them? They can say, hey, we asked. They decided to lie to us, not us. But, I mean, it doesn't really cure anything, does it? I mean, that goes with anybody employing a, uh, 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 that kind of uh, procedure. I mean, because you can just lie unless you have to prove to somebody with a card or some I, kind of I thing. I think you get around this by, uh, and that's the sticky thing, <laughs> with, especially sticky. with the governor in Florida about, uh, you know, the vaccine passport, which basically is proof you've been vaccinated. Just, like, raise prices on everything well, and get people <laughs> with a vaccine card. A great discount. Got a story about that. Did you hear about the two universities? We'll talk no. about that a little bit later. But two major universities are doing just that. They're instituting fees to your tuition. If you are unvaccinated, you have to pay a COVID fee to register for the classes. And you wouldn't believe where the universities are. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Let's take a little break right now. Colbert Court up next right here on the Jim Colbert Show. Tonight on Real Radio at 7. It's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and securedroofingandrestoration.com. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Mikey, and Ken. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This Real Radio 1041 weather report sponsored by Rude Air Conditioning. Powered by Ferguson HVAC. Everybody, Thursday, to you, Fox 35 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jamie King with you now. Fox 35 Storm Center forecast update for the rest of your Thursday here in Central Florida. Look for increasing clouds, hot and humid. What's new, right? Heat index at 101. Our actual ambient air temp at 92. Isolated showers and storms begin to develop after about 1 o'clock. Chance and coverage 30, 40 percent at max today. 76 tonight. Showers or storms before 8 o'clock. The partly cloudy late, warm and muggy. For Fox 35, I'm Storm Team Chief Meteorologist. Meteorologist Jamie King, always depend on a new trust. Fox 35 weather. Take care. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. Staples Connect has innovative tools. This week, get 30% back in Staples Store bonus when you spend $85 on Inc. or $200 on toner. In-store only. Offer ends 821, limit 4. Visit staplesconnect.com slash store bonus for details. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. Man, no question, the Big Green Egg is the most versatile, all-in-one outdoor cooker on the market. I have talked about my Big Green Egg forever. Jim Phillips right here talked about his Big Green Egg forever. And there's a reason why. It is awesome. Not only can you grill, you can smoke, roast, bake. The whole nine yards in a big green egg. And Tools Ace Hardware is the largest big green egg dealer in all of Central Florida, carrying seven sizes of the egg, as well as huge selections of stands and tables to fit any lifestyle, plus all the great accessories as well. And the BGE is the biggest and best perfect complement to any backyard patio and be the centerpiece of your outdoor entertainment. You'll love these guys. Plus, you get free assembly and delivery on all big green egg grills in their delivery area. Shop in store at any of their 11 locations throughout Central Florida, which includes Orlando, Winter Garden, Claremont, Groveland, Oviedo, Winter Park, Maitland. You get the idea. They're everywhere. You don't have to drive far. Your big green egg is right here in Orlando. Find yours today online at toolsacehardware.com. International Diamond Center's best event of the year is happening now with your choice of two incredible offers. Offer number one, an instant 25% savings on all wedding bands. You heard it right. Now, for a limited time, get our best price ever on all wedding bands. 25% off across the board. 
Or if you prefer, you can take advantage of offer number two. Zero interest financing for 36 months on any purchase. And IDC will even cover your first two payments. This incredible finance option is for everything. Rings, pendants, bands, bracelets, designer jewelry, even certified diamonds. Pick any item, spread your payments over three years with zero interest. And as a bonus, IDC will even cover your first two payments. So you can save big on wedding bands or take advantage of this incredible finance offer. Whichever you choose, you can't lose during IDC's Summer of Savings event, now through the end of August, only at International Diamond Center. Four Orlando locations on approved credit. Okay, so the IKEA 10-year family celebration is here, and we have got a lot to cover. Taking notes as we speak. So we've got coupons. Yep. Giveaways. You know it. And limited time offers. Already on the shelves. Great. Oh, oh, lastly, we'll need more chairs. How many? Oh, just 22 mm -hmm. million. Right. It's the celebration of a decade, so let's make sure they all know to go visit their local IKEA store or to ikea-usa.com now through August 22nd to learn more or become a member today. Got it. Oh, you're the best. I know. Did you know that Solis Health Plans gives you up to $1,200 per year in OTC products? Yes, up to $1,200 per year in OTC products. Brand name quality products. That's a relief. Furthermore, with Solis, you don't have a copay when visiting primary doctors or specialists. Zero. Call now and join a local health plan that makes a difference. 1-833-33-SOLIS. 1-833-33-SOLIS. Solis Health Plans. Amazing health care just around the corner. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed senses and automatically adjusts to keep you both effortlessly comfortable. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. It's the biggest sale of the year where all smart beds are on sale. Save 50% on the new Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum Mobile. You could save hundreds of dollars on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, hidden fees, and no contracts. Try the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator today, and in three easy steps, you'll see how much you could save by switching. Visit SpectrumMobile.com save. Spectrum Internet required. Savings may vary. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com save for details. This hour of programming brought to you in part by FAS Windows and Doors. Real Radio 104.1. We now return to the Jim Colbert Show. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, where we will play one disco song at least once a day. For the entirety of this program, from day one until we go off the air, that could be tomorrow. Could be today, who knows? I selected this moment because I thought Glenn Klausman from Klausman Law would appreciate <laughs> it because, man, talk about uh, you know a monster on the dance floor. Oh, yeah, this Glenn guy Klausman. is a shimmy monster is what he is. <laughs> he dances the parquet right out of the floor. <laughs> he dances so hard the parquet actually just turns into straight boards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. I'm the Jim part. There's the Deb part. Hello. The Jack part. Yo. Ross is here as well. Yeah. There's your Thursday coming up today. Stay tuned. That'll be happening at 6 o'clock. Let's do Colbert Court. What you are listening to is real. Well, sort of. The participants are not actors. That's a fact. This is, however, a real case that will be decided here in our forum. The Colbert Court. That's right. Colbert Court brought to you by our friend Glenn Clausman. Clausman Law. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N Law.com. Office is right there in Winter Park. You can also get him via phone at 407-917-1718. Mr. Clausman, how are you? Doing great. Good to see you all. Good to you see you too. as well, buddy. Looking good. And they got a nice big smile and a nice full beard gearing up for Santa time. Yeah. That's right. Santa Clausman. That's Remember right. that. <laughs> Santa Clausman coming at you. Uh, how's your week been, buddy? Everything good? Everything's great. You guys, Everything's great. You guys busy over there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a steady stream. Yeah, it's good, man. I mean, there's always always people that need help, and uh, yeah. I enjoy answering their calls and helping them. And, uh, you know, when they get involved with us being their lawyers, uh, we spend a lot of time with them. You guys have any, uh, do you guys have any COVID drama with your family there, Glenn, or have you guys been lucky enough to dodge all that? Thank goodness, no. And knock on wood, uh, 
you know, I've talked to some other lawyers who, even though they're vaccinated, one of them is quarantined in a hotel because he got exposed to COVID and ended up t- testing positive. Yeah. Someone in his office, someone in his office who was not symptomatic, gave it to a whole bunch of people in the office. Almost shut that law office down. It's amazing, man. We, you know, we get updates here when somebody uh, in the building yeah. is, uh, you know, is guaranteed to have. They they let everybody know immediately so that you can just make sure you take care of yourself. You know. It's the best they can do. It's the best everybody can do. You just got to mind yourself. That's what you got to do. It's tough out there. I mean, I got, I got a lot of family members in the hospitals yeah. right now fighting it with that pneumonia. It causes pneumonia. It's just absolutely brutal. It just fills your lungs up. Hardly anything will fight it, too. That's the tough thing. Yeah. It's hard to fight it. All right, uh, Glenn, we do Colbert Court with you. You send us a case, and we read the case. Then we go around the court. We go around the uh, room here, try to find out exactly what we think should happen. Then, of course, we'll turn it right over to Glenn, and he'll tell us what did happen. Remember, these are actual cases. These are not made up. These are things that Glenn has either argued or, or is in the are in the process of arguing or has dealt with this as a case that he's already kind of settled, and it's part of the archives there. Right. Are you guys ready? Ready. Ready. Here we go. Listen closely. All right. I was going through a green light at an intersection, and another driver ran a red light, and there was a T-bone collision. Mm, T-bone. At the scene, we all got out of our cars and spoke to the highway patrol trooper. The other person at the scene said she didn't see the color of light because the sun was in her eyes. That's what she told the trooper, and that's what he put in the crash report. The other driver also got a ticket for running the red light. The other driver told her insurance company she had a solid green light and her insurance company is denying my claims for car damage and for my injuries just for her saying that. If I sue and go to trial, I have the following questions about what a jury can hear. In other words, just what may be argued during this case. Question one, can I tell the trooper uh, that uh, can the trooper tell the jury he gave her a ticket for running the red light? And can the trooper tell the jury she told the trooper she didn't see the color of the light because the the sun was in her eyes? Then she said it was a solid green light. That's what the, she told her insurance company. She told the trooper one thing, told the insurance company something else. Mm. That's what they want to know. Mm. When the trooper goes uh. to court, if this is a lawsuit, can the trooper tell the jury, yeah, I gave her a ticket for running a red light. And, oh, by the way, not only did she do that, uh, she told me that she didn't see the color of the light, unlike her insurance company says that she said she had a solid green light the entire time. I believe we had a case in the past where we learned, surprisingly, that the information in the police report could be prevented from coming up in court. Ross? I have, this is such a riddle. I know. <laughs> I almost just said six <laughs> yeah. as if it was a math question. Yeah, yeah. Ba- basically, there is incriminating information yeah. that she she gave the, the officer on the scene. She got a ticket, or this person got a ticket. Also, it, it goes against what she told right, her right. insurance company. Because she got a ticket for yeah. running the red light. So yeah. she lied to her insurance company because the right. trooper gave her a straight-up right. ticket for running the red light. And right. here's the pro- or Did he give her or the other driver the ticket for no. running the red light? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. The, the, tr- yeah. the other person at the scene said she didn't see the color of the blah, 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 blah. Uh, the, that's, what the tr- that's what she told the trooper, and that's what he put in the crash report. The other driver also got a ticket for running the red light. Okay, So also. he may have put that in the report. That's what she said. Yeah. But she got the ticket for running the red light, regardless and, but, of what she said. I just I remember there being a case where what they told the police officer on the scene didn't they weren't yeah. kind of beholden to that exactly yeah. and calling the trooper to testify in front of the jury would be moot because you know if the jury trial takes a year or a year and a half that trooper is not going to remember that traffic stop oh he'll have his all notes other, yeah, yeah. He he'll have notes. his notes he'll read from the traffic the, from yeah, yeah. the crash report he's not going to. Put himself on the limb saying, oh, well, yeah, she she told me. It's going to say whatever's in the report is what I was told. I'm saying you have to rely on either traffic cameras or any other camera devices Ooh. that might uh, determine the color but of the But you got to admit, man, it ain't no way to go through life lying to cops like this. My no. God, man. Yeah. Shame, straight up shame on her, by the way. Shame, to, shame, 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 shame. Lied to her insurance company straight up and then lied to an officer. 
Like, there, there's no repercussions for that? Oh. That's like fraud, right? Well, we don't know if she lied to the officer. She said she didn't see the well, lie. Well, dude, she lied to the insurance company. Well, I think that's even more damaging because that's the one that's going to decide the financial output of this damn thing. Well, but how can you prove that she was lying? She told the cop that she, she that someone's in her eyes. I think, well, maybe I think she Mr. Just... Klausman wants to give us more clues. Yeah, you know, I guess the real issue is going to be if she comes into court and testifies in front of the jury, I had a solid green light. And we bring the trooper in to say, I wrote down what she told me at the scene of this crash. And at the scene of this crash, she told me she didn't see the color of the light because the sun was in her eyes. That's really, really the okay. question. I think you should be able to do that. But yeah. I think for some weird reason, you cannot. Well, because it's Florida. Based, yeah, based on case law. The texting service just checked in with a pretty good question and saying, that does it matter that the trooper wasn't there, that he doesn't have a firsthand, uh, really a firsthand um, experience with the crash? He's just basically writing down what they say. But he has a firsthand with what this person said. Yeah, and, but I mean. And, and who said, I could not see the light because of the, the sun in my eyes, which means she didn't know it was green. Yeah, but I mean, that's not what she said, though, before. She's lying. Right. She lied twice, actually. Well, there you go. I think we might need legal the expert. Other the other person at the scene said she didn't see the color of light because the sun was in her eyes. That's what she told the trooper, and that's what he is, put in the car crash. Is there the crash another report. legal expert we could go to? Hold on for a second. I'm reading this. <laughs> All right. Got time to take. Uh, they're driving a ticket for running the red light. The other driver told the insurance company she's just green. She just lied, though. Straight up lied. She's a terrible driver and a liar. That's no way to go through life. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is it, Glenn? Is that any way to go through life? No, but the question is: Is the insurance company going to uh, be able to benefit from her lying in front of a jury? I concur. Now, what if? Okay, now hold on, straight up. Let me ask a question. I, I don't know about criminal cases. Is is perjury a, applied here as well? Like, could she get in trouble for lying to the jury about an insurance policy or an insurance? But that's it. You can't prove she's lying if the what she told the trooper is not admissible in court. Which I believe, from an earlier case, we found out. That is the, Can the trooper tell the jury yeah. he gave her a ticket for running a red light? I believe, I believe the answer to that is no. Are the pants smoking or are they on fire? How couldn't you be able to do that? That That is a direct reason there was a crash. So how could he, I mean, how could that not be admitted in the court if that is the only reason there was a crash? There is no crash if she doesn't run the red light, right? Can the trooper tell the jury? Well, she, I mean, it, it would be under the premise and the, the, the claim would be that the other driver ran the red light. That would be what the premise would be for yeah. her saying, if she's saying her light was green to her insurance company, she's also saying the other person ran the red light and the insurance company is saying, we're not paying that claim. So that's what the premise is, even though it's all based predicated on a lie. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to, I, I got to tell you, I'm going to say that, yes, the trooper can say he gave her the ticket and yes, you can do other things because I can't. Because I can't that's force how it my, should be. I can't force myself to believe that yeah. you can stand in a court and lie to somebody, especially when it comes to something that could deal with injuries and fulfilling a financial obligation that you caused. I can't believe you can sit there and lie to somebody straight up oh, that's, and, and, that's, ha and have it be cool. That's so naive. It sounds like it's coming from Ross. Yeah. <laughs> I believe he has left the building. <laughs> Detective oh, no. John Jones is here. May, uh, Your Honor, may you repeat? Said questions again. Did you see the movie no, Roadhouse? No. Did you see the movie Roadhouse? I am 32. Yeah. I'm going to swayze your throat. <laughs> I'm going to swayze your throat. Can I hold him? Is there a swayze, was he's 30. swayze claws out this dude's throat. That's what I want to do to you. I've never seen it. I didn't bother watching a movie about I've a never, bouncer. No, but I've never <laughs> seen Glenn Clausman smile just this big <laughs> on the Colbert Court segment. You this is see it on. He's this, loving this. This is puzzling. Please, Glenn, tell me the truth so I can melt the remainder of my existence into the neck hole that is my head. Whoa. Well, what's Deborah's thought on this? Yeah, what is your thought, yeah, Deb? Deb? Yeah. Oh, I, we know what Deborah's thought is. You're a loser. Oh, oh God. God. That's God. Glenn Clausman. Yeah. Savage. I cannot believe she just communicated said message. Here I come. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to hold him down while you do it. What do you think, Deb? Mm, I, uh, I am going to go against you. I, uh, yes, the, you the trooper can. But the trooper is going to be beholden to whatever he wrote in his traffic report, which will defend uh, the person who is asking these questions and will put the other driver who lied to her insurance company in the hot seat. Because 
she's either going to have to perjure herself uh-huh. or she's going to have to repeat what the trooper is going to be reading off the crash report. And that was she could not see the light because yeah. the sun was in her eyes, but it was not solid green. She couldn't say if it was solid green, solid yellow or solid red. Yeah. Let me ask you, Glenn, could they could they subpoena the insurance agent? Could they no, say, no. They, they, the, the jury will never know this person even had insurance. We're not allowed to let the jury know that. Unbelievable. Really? Yep. yep. That is yep. hot. That's breaks. the law. So that means That's the, the law. So you're telling me the trooper cannot tell the jury that he gave her a ticket for running a red light, and the ju- and the trooper cannot tell the jury that she said to him at the crash scene that she didn't know the color of the light, that she was blinded by the sun. That can't come up. Well, let's go step by step. The okay. first thing is. The jury will never know that this lady who ran a red light did have insurance. They'll never know that. They'll never know what she said to an insurance company because we're not allowed to let the jury know that the person has insurance. That's number one. Let's get to the questions now. The crash report, the jury is not allowed to hear what's in the crash report. They're not allowed to see the crash report. There's a, a privilege that uh, when a trooper or law enforcement comes out to do a crash report and ask people what happened, that they have a, uh, a sort of privilege against that being used against them in court. Now, I don't so, understand that because I would ask this question. Why take one then? What is, well, it, take, what is it for then? Good question. Great question. Great question. And they say they take it for statistical reasons. Uh, who caused the crash? Why did the crash get caused? Who had a seatbelt on? Who didn't but, have a seatbelt on? Stuff like that. This is a, it's a bad situation that we have under the law. This is, I it, mean, this is, this is a joke. I mean, that's it's terrible. Ridiculous. It's Again, ridiculous. If you're not going to use a car, I mean, why even, I mean, I don't care about the stats. Stat schmats. That didn't help right. me in court. I'm trying to get a settlement, man. That's why you had right. insurance. A person should not be able to sit on a witness what? stand and lie about what happened and that is not insane. allow the opposing lawyer to uh, show that the person lied about it. It says something different in the past. How does that? It... That's Normally what happens is when somebody testifies about something and you have evidence and testimony that what they're saying is different than what they said in the past, you can use that against them. It's called, it's called impeaching them. Yeah. You can impeach them with their own words. There is an exception, though. What someone tells a law enforcement officer uh, at a crash scene that gets put in a report, you cannot impeach them with that. It's ridiculous, but that's what the law is. Now, if the driver who got hurt overheard her say it, that person could come in and say what they heard. If there's a witness that heard what she said, that person could come in and say what they heard. But unfortunately, what happens is law enforcement officers separate people so no one hears what's going on and that's that's the real shame of it i mean the law here should change the law should be if somebody gets up and says something totally contradictory to what they tell a trooper at a crash scene that that trooper who wrote it down what the person said at the time he should be able to come in and say hey this is what i wrote down that the person told me at the time how many that's what the law should be how many other states roll like this (laughs) that was my question I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, does it, I, I is it a Florida thing or is it a, a, quite a common thing? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I would think it should not be a common thing, but it is. And it's, you know, one of these laws we need to get changed. And it should be simple to change it, but it <laughs> hasn't been. It yeah. hasn't been. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what that I mean, lobby so, money comes in. So if she gets out of the car and yells out, well, it doesn't matter there if the drunk thing, because I mean, you're going to go through the process. I mean, what if you take it, if you, if you do a breathalyzer, is that admissible? Uh, if there's a breathalyzer on the person, yeah, that's admissible. That's something different than making a statement to a trooper about how the crash happened. So, yeah, if there's a breathalyzer, you can bring the breathalyzer in, and the jury will know what the breathalyzer results were. But you can lie to the cop and then lie to your insurance company, and that will there's no penalty for that. Matter of fact, you could actually yeah. benefit from it. There should be, and, and one of the one of the tactics the lawyer in this case can use is we well, yeah exactly it's fraud. exactly. Yeah. Tell the judge that this lady's committed a fraud on the court and ask the court to tell the jury that you're striking all her defenses. You're striking the defense that she did not run a red light. And uh, that's that's the remedy you can try to try to do it. And whether a judge is going to be willing to do that is is very difficult to uh, predict that they would, because what the judge will say is, well, hey, what she told the trooper, I'm not allowed to use as admissible evidence against her. So how can I? 
strike her for fraud on the court because I can't use it against her. So what? It's bad. What, what it's about this? Situation. Somebody just texted and says, "What if the what when the trooper came up? What if his his uh, video was running, and mm-hmm. and on the video he's having the interview with her, and she says, oh, yeah, no, no, it was it was blind.' Is that video admissible? No, no, it's still. No, oh no, 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 no. Wait a minute. You said a witness. What's right. better? What's better than a video camera recording in real time that is not editable? You can't get it to edit the video. What's more admissible than that? I mean, what would be a more reliable witness than a videotape with a person actually saying that to the video? That's a great question. If he had a, his body camera, if she says in, he has on his body camera that she told me she didn't see the color of the light, you would think the jury should be able to see that. But unfortunately, whatever you tell a trooper at a crash scene cannot be used against you in a civil case. Oh, then you should it have can a be crash used against- and just start, just start, just start admitting murders then. Well, it can be used against you for getting the ticket. Yeah. When she gets when she goes to court on the ticket and she says, Hey judge, I'm here on the ticket, but I had a green light. On the ticket, the trooper can say, She told me she didn't know what the color of the light was. But when there's an injury case and she's getting sued, you can't use that against is there a civil is there a civil answer to this? Could the person go after her civilly and say, Look, man, you know, and then use the police report in a civil case to possibly get some of the money back? Well, that's what that's what this is. This is going to be a civil case where she's trying to get money for her injuries. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Person ran a red light. Criminal case, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Wow, yeah, that's it's a, it's, yeah. That's genuinely it's unbelievable. Just, how when, how long has that been employed here in Florida? Is, is that is, as long as you've been practicing? Has that been there? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> well, that it's insur- referred to <laughs> that that insurance refer- that insurance lobby's no joke, is it, buddy? No, no. It's uh, it's referred to as the accident report privilege. You've got a privilege that what you say to a law enforcement officer at an accident scene is privileged. Look, Glenn, and that means it can't be used against you. Let me ask you, Glenn, what was the precedent for this? What case? I mean, what is the advantage of this? So we look at this and we're saying, OK, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What's it supposed to do? What is that law supposed to do? It's there should be there, when there's a law in place. It's supposed mm-hmm. to do something. It has a job. What is that law's job? Well, I would think that, and I don't want to defend the law at all, but I would think that what it is is that they want to get people to tell the trooper or a law enforcement officer who comes on the scene what happened so that they can investigate it that way. If uh, if the person feels like what I tell him is going to be used against me, then they won't talk. Maybe. So but uh, the reality is, the reality is, people don't know, don't know what that this right. law is. So, so Jimmy, the, the, it, I mean, it, it makes no sense. It really makes no sense. You know, hopefully, legislators or judges listening to this might say, "Geez, this is a mess. We need to fix this." <laughs> yeah, they'll probably jump right on it. <laughs> they, they, they all listen. They all listen. Uh, yeah. But I suppose yeah. it's supposed to like. So when you're talking to the cop, this will not be used against you. Is the idea so you can therefore tell the truth without what? worry about it coming back at you. Yeah, but I mean, it, well, hold on now. Again, with the cops, though, isn't the whole idea, you, you read them your Miranda rights, that you know, that way that any anything that you say to me can be used against you I, in a court of law? Now, well, I know that's not a, this is not an arrest. I right. understand that. But if, if it applies in that one situation, why I, I don't understand why it doesn't apply here. The whole idea, we use, we use information given to police officers all the time in the court of law. Why not now? Yeah, now that's an interesting question. Glad you brought that up. If the officer thinks a crime was committed and he reads the person in Miranda right, well, now he's not doing a traffic investigation. He's doing a criminal investigation. And because he's doing a criminal investigation, if he reads the Miranda rights and they understand what's going on, now it can be used against him. Wow. There you go. This is a whole. Twists and turns and and (laughs) some of this stuff makes no sense. And it's what we have to deal with in real life. Unbelievable. Dealing with car accident cases, genuinely unbelievable, man. Well, great yeah. case. This was a puzzle, man. I got to tell you, I I never in my life thought something like that. I mean, you can just openly lie to a cop, lie in court. I mean, the thing you've been told since you were able to understand the language that you don't ever do is lie in court, and this is saying it's cool, no problem, no recourse. This case yeah, we mind. need to get a change. We need to get a That's change. Just bananas. A hey, great job as always, man. Uh, you can find Glenn Klausman easily right there in Winter Park, uh, K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N-Law.com. You can also get him on the phone at 407-917-1718. And, of course, Glenn, I know you love helping people out. 
Sure. Anybody gets in an accident and injured for anything, just give me a call. Happy to help. Uh, enjoy helping people and enjoy helping listeners. And here's the great thing. He'll use that big old brain of his to get you out of situations like this. He's actually helped friends and family of mine throughout the last three or four or five years and uh, and actually Ross as well. So I know that you know your stuff and love helping people out. As always, we love your segment. And thanks for joining us again, buddy. Have a great weekend. Thanks. You too. You got it, man. Be All safe. right. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. More of the Jim Colbert Show right after this. Your chance at $1,000 and a trip to our iHeartRadio Music Festival is minutes away on Real Radio. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the rest, buy from the best, goldsmithjewelry.com. Heavy delays continue westbound on I-4 between World Drive and 429, as well as northbound 429 between the Independence Toll Plaza and Stony Book West Parkway. The left lane is blocked from either a disabled vehicle or an accident. Heads up here. We're also seeing delays eastbound on I-4 between Conroy Road and OBT. See traffic problems? Call the safetouchsecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa and Chips Ahoy are teaming up to bring you handcrafted beverages that'll make your summer adventures epic with delicious and creamy Chips Ahoy smoothies, milkshakes, and sundaes. They're crafted to crave at Wawa. Man, if you wear contact lenses, listen up now. Are you tired of having those red, itchy eyes? Do you feel like there's sand in your eyes while wearing your contact lenses? Let me tell you, you could be suffering from a condition known as contact lens intolerance, a.k.a. CLI. And contact lens intolerance affects millions of contact lens wearers. And if you have any of the symptoms I just mentioned, you could be one of them. The good answer is the Filatowski Eye Institute are leaders in vision correction surgery and can help you with this issue. All you have to do is schedule your consultation today by texting 1041 to 868686. Again, schedule your consultation today to learn more by texting 1041 to 868686. Ford, Chevy, Dodge Ram, and GMC, Nation's Trucks has got them all. And during the Summer of Trucks sales event, you're going to take advantage of interest rates as low as 1.99% and make no payments for 120 days with approved credit. Before you buy any truck new or used, visit nationstrucks.com. Buying a car can be a bumpy ride. You need to get financing from a lender, insurance from an agency, and complete the purchase at a dealership. But Navy Federal Credit Union's fully loaded car buying experience makes car buying smooth. That's because there's everything you need to buy, finance, protect, and enjoy your dream car. Learn more at NavyFederal.org slash car buying. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. Hey, Central Florida, it's time to up your standard of driving. R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Are you sick of driving a car you hate? Raise the bar in a nice new car and lower your monthly payment at the same time. Used cars from just $69 per month. New cars from just $129 per month. Raise the bar and I'll get more for your old car. We'll pay up to $5,000 over appraised value for your clunker. Is your credit score lower than you like? We will help you get approved. That's what makes us your car dealer next door. Give it a try. I'm raising the bar making my best offer ever like brand new mirages 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty and introducing the all new 2022 outlander in stock and ready for delivery plus check out our certified used cars monthly payments from just 69 dollars per month trade-ins will pay over appraised value so get here quick i'm rc hill your car dealer next door central florida's first choice for new mitsubishi visit me at rchill.com that's rchill.com credit requires bank approval mirage 9900 72 months 2.9 apr nine dollars down 249 payment plus tax tag fees max trade incentive based on purchase need to turn your home equity into cash this is robert palmer and home values are at an all-time high smart homeowners are accessing home equity at today's low rates but don't use your home equity to pay closing costs let me pay them instead visit rpfunding.com for details nmls 7168 equal housing Okay, so the IKEA 10-year family celebration is here, and we have got a lot to cover. Taking notes as we speak. So we've got coupons. Yep. Giveaways. You know it. And limited time offers. Already on the shelves. Great. Oh, oh, lastly, we'll need more chairs. How many? Oh, just 22 mm -hmm. million. Right. It's the celebration of a decade, so let's make sure they all know to go visit their local IKEA store or to ikea-usa.com now through August 22nd to learn more or become a member today. Got it. Oh, you're the best. I know. You do not want your AC to break down when it gets hot in the summertime in Central Florida, so make sure you get hold of Mills Air. They can help you with preventative maintenance on all brands. Preventative maintenance can save you so much money, they can detect upcoming breakdowns and you're not stuck. MillsAir.com. That's MillsAir.com. <laughs> 
This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quitters and a game and a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Right now at Old Navy, grab amazing back-to-school deals for the kids starting at just $5. Extraordinary prices on kids' styles every single day. Get kids' tees and tanks from just $5. Dresses from 8 Active tops and bottoms from 8 And shorts from 6 Every single day. Find this magic at Old Navy and OldNavy.com. Racetrack is a convenience store that has whatever gets you going all summer long. You can create any combo that you want. You want to know what my combo is? Here we go. Crazy good coffee for breakfast, of course. Then I get a slice of pizza. Yeah, I have pizza for breakfast. It's okay. You can get a breakfast sandwich or any other type of breakfast item. They have those as well. For lunch, I'm going to go a little healthy. Maybe I get a salad. Kidding. I'm going with the hot dog. I'm also getting a fountain drink. It's summer, folks. Let's enjoy it while we have it. And then you can get a big old bag of ice. Have it for the cooler. For whatever else you have the next summer day because racetrack just wants you to go in there and grab whatever gets you going broadcasting live from the personal injury law firm of kaufman and lynn studio car accidents other injuries call pound 546 from your cell or visit when you need us.com you're listening to wtks fm hd1 coco beach orlando available everywhere with the iheart radio app now number one for podcasting we are an iheart radio station Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000 and a trip to our iHeartRadio Music Festival now. Text the nationwide keyword Vegas, V-E-G-A-S, Vegas, to the number 200-200. You'll get confirmation text and info, standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's Vegas, to the number 200-200. Good luck. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show, also available to watch at The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate that very much on this steamy, overcast Thursday afternoon in Central Florida as we await the rain from now Tropical Storm Fred, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, and I'm it, ready for it. And it's still expected to affect us this weekend, even yeah. if it's not going to be the tropical storm or hurricane that we are, may originally have been expecting. That's right. 407-916-1041. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb, Jack, and Ross are here as well would uh when you guys talked to jamie on um was it yesterday tuesday, tuesday? tuesday yeah. um what did he did he say basically it's gonna be a big rainmaker that's basically it elsa 2.0 oh elsa 2.0 yeah, just a so, bunch of rain yeah. for us it wasn't even rain with elsa we didn't even get much of that did we in some areas the yeah. closer you were like again you know my area Mount you Dora, is, right more than it's gonna affect me because i'm east of you right so i mean we're gonna get the least of it jack you and i actually probably be pretty safe you yeah. too ross Nice. Yeah. Probably overcast and nasty. You know those things are. Take that, everyone else. Overcasty. Huh? Cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wedding cake. Uh-huh. I know. What? You, guys, you guys remember um, a couple weeks back, we were talking about Princess Diana's wedding cake. Oh, did you win the auction? Stop for a second. <laughs> so that's about the same time all this stuff started crashing down on top of me, so I never really got a chance to get an auction button, give it a shot. And by the way, I was legit. I wanted that. I thought it would be a really... Like an automatic attention getter. We would maybe even get some coverage on it. You know, sit down here, call a news station and say, we're going to eat this piece of cake, 40 years old. There was no we. <laughs> it was going to be Ross is <laughs> right. going to eat this 40-year-old yeah, cake. I would say we to get him in here. And <laughs> Jack. Jack also threw that. That's right. Now, I think they expected it to go for about $800, which I thought was worth a really good radio bid. I was willing to spend the 800 bucks, and I was going to do it. Matter of fact, the guy texted me the link for it, which I have at home. I mean, I planned on doing this. And then, of course, like I said, the, the earth was snatched out from under me with this stuff from my mom, so I didn't really get in there. Did it wind up selling? It sure did. The did it- slice of the 40-year-old wedding cake has sold. And Okay, so... They they expected it to go for eight hundred dollars or eight hundred pounds. Uh, no. Auctioneers hoped it would fetch about seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred bucks. Okay. So did it exceed that? The high price was unexpected. That's a line in the story. Oh okay. yeah, so it's more. So I would I wouldn't have paid I wouldn't have paid more <laughs> than a, less Ross. I wouldn't have paid more than a thousand bucks for it. I would not have paid not even one penny more than a thousand dollars for it, but I may have paid a thousand dollars for it and then had to sleep upstairs for a week. Yeah. (laughs) Because I bought a thousand dollar piece of cake that was inedible Uh, Uh, when I could have bought a whole bunch of sweets for my wife for a thousand bucks. What do you think it sold for? Unexpected, huh? 3,200. Jack? God, I took your, that's a good guess. It is a good guess. Uh, 2499. 
twenty four hundred ninety nine, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. you got to be specific, Ross. God, you went forty five. He went twenty five. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with three, three thousand points. Jack, two thousand five hundred sixty five dollars. The winner of the bidding is coming from Leeds to pick up the cake today. Oh, really? A wee bit of slap and tickle with Steve and Sharon. I, I, so you bring a cooler, you think? What? Oh yeah, you bring is, all. Is it still dry. frozen? Yeah, it was frozen. So this was uh, Di and Princess Charles and Di's it, wedding cake that it, was frozen. It was one of them. You got to remember, the they had, many. there's 26 or 27 right. cakes total. You don't know which one this one came from, but it was given to a staff member. The slice of cake was given to a staff member, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then they immediately went home and froze it solid. How many people do you think uh, watched worldwide, watched the Royal Couple exchange vows? This was back in 1981. I want to say it was one of the... It was one of the most watched television events in history. I yes. watched it. it I did 100, too, 100 million? Jack? Oh, yeah, but that would be Super Bowl numbers. So you guys I'm don't go, like the way I play this global, game anymore. Global, no, global. I like this. This okay, is a good. fair way to play it. Global, buddy. Oh, global. You are right. Global, global son. I, I, 100 I'll million. Help, I'll okay. help Jack out. I'm going to go 230 mil. All right, Jack. Nice. I'll, you know, I'll thread the needle. I'll go 180. 700 million people. Wow. Watched <laughs> Princess Diana a and Charles exchange a wedding. Vows. It was but the it's... first royal wedding that we had seen right. since uh, Queen Elizabeth II had married Prince Philip, and that was oh, in the, the 40s. It, 40s TV, not really even a thing at that point. Not to mention, it, you it, know, it was Diana, man. I mean, the blonde, the, the whole story behind it, the pomp and circumstance was Disney-esque. Well, because, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we hadn't had a royal wedding. Right. That was the closest. I mean, and, and everyone around the world lost their mind. Oh. I mean, Charles was... I mean, he was the only eligible bachelor, mm -hmm. which was a damn shame. By the way, we started watching The Crown. Okay. Oh, because the royal family just, we're, is we're, not happy with that. We're watching everything, and the only reason my wife started watching it, she goes, hey, we should watch a little bit of The Crown. I hear it's pretty darn accurate yeah. to, the, to the royal family. Here's what you know about the royal family now. Uh, have you watched any of it, Jack? No. Uh, you should check it out. It starts with uh, Queen Elizabeth actually becoming queen. That's kind of where it starts. Uh, but you get to know this. Royals are dodos. That's what I know. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're smart. And a lot of them were complete and utter dolts if they are being portrayed accurately in the crown. Starting with Prince Philip. Yeah. A complete dodo. Uh, but, the, uh, but the Queen Elizabeth was brilliant, smart, brave. They really portray her as being... Uh, quite a as uh, quite a swashbuckler almost. Yeah, you know, trips Philip to Africa. Too. I mean, he was uh, uh, in line for the Greek throne, I believe. He was, but you know, when she became queen after uh, after George died, you know, you could see the change in the way Philip was almost like an afterthought. Whereas before yeah. he wasn't like that, and you could, and they portray that pretty accurately. Well, she was never expected to be queen. Right. It was because her uncle abdicated the throne. Right. Because I picked my wedding date as the date that Edward had abdicated the throne to marry Wallace Simpson, the American divorcee. That was December 11th, only to find out decades later he really abdicated the throne because he was a Nazi sympathizer. Right. And in the days of World War II in England, I mean, they you, still yeah, don't you, call German shepherds German shepherds. Right, you can't do that there. It's an Alsatian <laughs> right, in England. Right. It is not a German anything. Right. How um, many people were bidding? No, seriously, it's true. I didn't know that. How yeah, many people were bidding on that? That's why, real quick, that's how we were able to, on our home insurance, when they asked what kind of dogs we had, we said we had a golden retriever and an Alsatian. Because if you didn't know that that's what the English called a German shepherd, you didn't know that it was a German shepherd. Oh, Which right. is a big insurance issue. A big <laughs> insurance issue. So a little loophole right there. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you should go to court for red light right. names. It wasn't lying. Oh, yeah, it right. it wasn't right. lying. You're right. That's what it is. It was not lying. They no. should inform themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How many people were bidding on that? Does it say? It did not it say. It did not say. Yeah. You know, that in a nutshell is basically what we just went through with Colbert Court. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Got to find that little loophole. It's always about the loophole. Man, but yeah. No way an American was getting that that cake, right? I was surprised that it only sold for 2000 to be quite honest. I would have thought too. with, you know, the fervor around the royal family that, you know, I mean, if people are willing to pay that kind of money for Justin Bieber's tissue right, yeah. that or, someone dug out of a no, garbage no, no. can in worse. Vegas. A, uh, worse. It was a Band-Aid, wasn't it? No, no, no. A piece of food that he ate off of. Somebody saved like a piece of French toast or something and somebody saved it and sold it. <laughs> online for like a couple grand or something that's just but you know what that's stupid. weird though because you would think there would be as Loser. much interest with the royal family yeah. now simply because of what's you know what's happening with 
uh, what's happening with Harry and that whole crew. And, and Meghan it, Markle. And it continues. You Which know, is they, why this person decided, this is an individual, right, who used to work I guess so. For him, yeah, but, yeah. Well, that would receive the cake. We don't know who the winning bidder is who well, bought well, the cake. Yeah, who, who sold it. So f- they, it, it's not like, they kept it in the palace for 40 years. It was in this person's freezer for oh, yeah, 40 years. 40 years. They took it home and said, that, I'm going to save this. They already knew. Matter of fact, I believe if you read the original story about the piece of cake, the lady says it came in a tin, like a, you know, like a like like the old cookie tins, and she immediately ran home, wrote on top of the tin what it was, and put it in her freezer to never be touched again. Matter of fact, I don't think she ever brought it out again until it was uh, time, until to, it was time it to auction it off. Uh, anybody else picking up on like all big cat lady vibes from this individual? <laughs> you know, I, I just think no. you, you know it's crazy. I tell you exactly what I thought. I was like, wow, what? How savvy? How savvy to know in that moment that you could save that cake. Now, you would think it would progress more than that, but still $2,500 for a piece of cake that didn't cost you anything, and all you did is put it in your freezer. It's pretty smart. Well, in 40 you. years, though, you're giving up that freezer space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You <laughs> are in 40 years. Only you, check. If you, if you had to defrost your freezer, <laughs> that thing's got to come out. You put it in the fridge for the day. I'm with them. I'll bet you? You it's an, I bet you it's an English radio station that's now going to have that's so great. their millennial eat that 40-year-old piece of cake. Could you imagine Jack's internal dialogue when, oh, when we're reading this story going, God, you know how many boxes of Hot Pockets that probably you? I'm just thinking, <laughs> it's like you're a whole taking bunch up a good items. corner of your freezer. It yeah, does right. take some work. I'm with you on this one, Jack. Jack, yeah. Jack just imagine. Imagine that tin wrapped in dollar bills oh, yeah. and dollar yeah. bills and dollar bills. It's Ooh, not taking up at, space. It's at, just taking space until it can make space in your account. Look yeah. at Jack doing freezer judgment. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Seriously. And yeah. Ross, because, do not get the script flipped here. I'm with them. That's a 40-year commitment to have something in your freezer. Uh huh. That's a, that's a fair amount of work. Haven't you ever well, had well, that bottle of soy sauce that just moves with you for like 18 years oh, yeah. and you look at it and... The, you know, sell by date oh, was, man. you know, 1999, and you just put it back in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. I, I, am, the only one? I have not, but I enjoyed that little peek into Deb's <laughs> life right there. I am not the it's only aged. one who has moved condiments that should have just been thrown away. 18 cents a day. Rent. Oh, my God, Jack. For that piece of cake. 407 916. 18 cents a day is what they got for 407 916 1041. That is even, look. Wow. Uh, high five. Oh, Very my good. God. Uh, South Korean woman, an archer uh, named Ann Son. She won three Olympic gold medals in Tokyo. But when she was greeted back home, it wasn't exactly with all the great fanfare you might imagine. And you're not going to believe why. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you that next. I have a feeling. Mainlining information, the news junkie. Nelly has sent two kids to college every year for the past 10 years. For a second, I thought you meant his own. That's. <laughs> Just got <laughs> army of them. Weekdays 11 to 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center. Car crash? Call Clausman Law. Authorities still working to clear a disabled vehicle or an accident that's stuck in the left lane causing big delays north on 429 between the Independence Toll Plaza and Stony Brook West Parkway. Westbound travel on I-4 still a solid ride between World Drive and 429. We're seeing delays too eastbound on I-4 between Osceola Parkway and Stay Row 535. See traffic problems? Call the SafeTouchSecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Be a part of the magic. Walt Disney World Resort is offering a hiring bonus of $1,000 for housekeeping and select culinary roles. Receive weekly pay, tuition assistance, and child care support. Visit WaltDisneyWorld.jobs to apply. That's WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Now look, it's not a full-blown hurricane by any means, but you see already we have our first tropical storm, tropical system coming into play, and we know for a fact that the hurricanes are on the way. Make sure your house is ready to go. F- AS windows and doors can actually protect your family from that flying stuff with those impact windows. They do this all the time. And here's the great thing. Those impact windows still do the great things they do with keeping that nice cold air inside your home. Those single frame aluminum windows uh, or those single pane aluminum frame windows are killing your AC bills, man. They really are. And your AC is working twice as hard. When you seal up with those double pane uh, insulated windows from FAS windows and doors, your AC works less. It lasts longer. Your energy bills drop. Your house is quiet. It feels amazing, not sticky and humid. That's what they're all about. They can do that with your doors internally and externally. 
externally as well. Just check out their showroom, for th- or excuse me, right there at Fairbanks and I-4. When you walk in, you're going to see a lot of great designs and styles for windows. Choose yours. Have their expert installers put them in and just really enjoy your house. By the way, it's going to be worth a lot more money as well. It's FAS Windows and Doors online. Book your appointment. FASWD.com. This year full of real radio is brought to you by Tools Ace Hardware, toolsacehardware.com. Win your way to our 2021 iHeartRadio Music Festival, September 17th and 18th in Las Vegas. And win $1,000. You'll see Billie Eilish, Cheap Trick, Coldplay, Dua Lipa, Florida Georgia Line, J. Cole, Journey, Khalid, Lil Baby, Maroon 5, Nelly, Sam Hunt, Weezer, a special guest performance by Phineas, and more on the T-Mobile Arena stage in Las Vegas. Listen every weekday to win your way there and win $1,000. Hey, guys, when I think about a custom fence from Mossy Oak Fence, I think about high quality because that's what they do. The skilled craftsmen over at Mossy Oak Fence use only the very best materials out there. And that's high quality that's backed by the best warranty in the business. But I also think about sensibility because these guys are smart. They offer affordable payment plans as well. But when I think about Mossy Oak Fences, safety and security comes to mind because I know for a fact your family's safety and security is Mossy Oak's number one priority. So if you're thinking about a fence, think Mossy Oak Fences. More importantly, visit MossyOakFences.com. And as always, let the Mossy family protect your family family today. At Daytona Beach or Orange City Racing and Card Clubs, not only do you get many great daily poker games, but you'll feel the excitement when you win your share of $440,000 in high hands in August. There's fast action with Texas Hold'em, Omaha, and Seven Card Stud. It's the end of summer splash of cash with $440,000 in August high hands at Orlando's closest poker room, Orange City Racing and Card Club, just off I-4 exit 111B at 822 Saxon Boulevard. Get ready. Saving starts with Xfinity. Because when you get Xfinity Internet and Mobile together, you can save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill. Enjoy fast, reliable Internet at home and nationwide 5G on the go, included at no extra cost. That means you can connect to everything you love, whether you're a next-level gaming aficionado, an online shopping mastermind, or crushing that research project. So go ahead, stream on all your devices or video chat from anywhere and save hundreds while doing it. Because saving starts with Xfinity. Get Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement. Plus, add Xfinity Mobile and ask how to get an eligible 5G phone on us. And for a limited time, $300 back. Don't miss out. Go to Xfinity.com slash start saving. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Internet offer ends 9721 and requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New performance starter internet customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Savings based on optimized pricing. Actual savings may vary. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. When you need auto parts, O'ReillyAuto.com is just a few clicks away. We offer convenient options for you to get your parts quickly. Order online and pick up for free at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. We'll even bring it out curbside. Or you can have your parts delivered right to your door with free shipping on most orders over $35. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Is an Amscot Cash Advance right for you? Compare for yourself. Often, it can be less than the late fee on an overdue bill. With Amscot, you could get up to $500 on the spot with no credit check. Amscot. Some restrictions apply. Are you a slurpy drink connoisseur? Do you know the secret to the perfect Big Gulp drink mix? Find your next job with the world's number one convenience store. 7-Eleven, Speedway, and our independent 7-Eleven franchise business owners are hiring. Stop by your local store or visit us online to apply today. Equal opportunity employer. In St. Pete Clearwater, let your senses be your guide. Follow the incredible aroma of outdoor dining under a starlit night. Or see the sunset over the gulf, painting a magnificent orange and red sky. Feel the gentle breeze on a leisurely stroll along the new St. Pete Pier. Or let every sense come alive at the Salvador Dali Museum. Sounds like it's time for a fall getaway. You can sense it. Plan your fall escape to America's best beaches at visitstpeteclearwater.com. I'm Baratunde Thurston, host of Force Multiplier, a new podcast about leveling up the impact we can have on the world through our relationships. Whether we're talking about health inequity, nutrition insecurity, or racism, I sit with leaders from across the public, private, and nonprofit worlds who are forging partnerships to take action on some of the toughest challenges facing us today. iHeartRadio is number one for podcasts, and it's easy to see why. 
Find Force Multiplier on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Since 1992, Mills Air has kept Orlando cool. Visit MillsAir.com to schedule your service today. The Jim Colbert Show returns now on Real Radio 1. I got a little breaking news for you coming up there, Jackson. Uh-oh, Yankees? Nope. What? I'll tell you in one sec. Oh. Hey, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Of course, you can always text our program, 77031. I'm Jim, Deb, Jack, and Ross right here with me until 7 o'clock. Uh, we'll have trivia in just a few minutes. Also, top of the hour, we'll get uh, <laughs> we'll get Theater Thursday. And I just got the script. Yeah, and I, I just saw mine. I saw the two words that I was like, no, I don't even, I know what I'm doing. Okay, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Am I even in this one? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. But you should know that because I didn't know if you were going to be in or not today. Okay. I, I had to, uh, let's just say I had to add. Add a uh, character? I had to add a character at the last minute. You, you didn't and, have to do that, buddy. I well, don't have to be I, just, I don't have to be in every one of them. Well, you're no. the star of every yeah, one I of don't, them. But I don't have to be in every one of them. You can write somebody else. I, I, I can sit and watch sometimes. Jack, I was wondering, uh, what's the name of the radio program that we're on? Jim Colbert. Jim. And that's why I can make the decision, is because I don't have to be in every one. It's smart for you to write me in every one. Okay. <laughs> Which so I'm not taking that away from you. So you just called me smart. That's, I, that's uh, the weirdest and nicest thing you've said <laughs> to me. That was right. a really weird compliment, right. but we the, got there. The breaking news news, by the way, is Jamie Spears has agreed to step down as conservator of Britney's estate. Wow. He is stepping down. So all the league and so we don't know what's going to happen next, uh, but Jamie Spears, her father, is no longer in control of the conservatorship that controls the estate and life of Britney Spears. We'll see what happens as that progresses forward. It's not a real news story. It's just been inundating news everywhere, every day. Uh, so I thought I would just kind of break that. I just just hit a second ago. Well, also in the real news department, uh, this <laughs> <laughs> portions of the Florida Keys and South Florida are now under a tropical storm watch as tropical depression Fred drifts toward the Sunshine State. This is according to the National Hurricane Center and their five o'clock yeah. update. Now, I would say if uh, people planning trips down south, I'm sure they already know that thing's been creeping along. They'll understand it's going to be nasty, and it's going to be nasty this whole weekend. It's just a it's a Netflix weekend, yeah, for sure, and uh, it keeps the street going of Fred's and depression still connected. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I was asking you guys right before we went to break. Um, south Car- uh, South uh, South Carolina, South Korean women. Same uh, this specific, <laughs> this specific South Korean woman, her name is Ann Son or An Son. Uh, she won three Olympic gold medals in Tokyo. When she got back home, it really wasn't a lot of, but there was praise, but there's also a lot of criticism. Why do you think that is? It's gonna be hard without seeing a photograph of her. But why do you think that is? Uh, her body is too masculine. Her now. body is not too masculine. That's not it. But man, it you aren't you are far away. Okay. And this is something that has raged with women and men for many, many years. Oh, man. Take a shot there, Ross. She has Some... a mustache. No, but you're not that far away, kind of. All right. Yeah, I'm really confused. Um, uh, it, uh, It's something to do with her hair. I was going to go, she's too, hair, her hair is uh, 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 too short. That's right. Her hair's wow. too short. For a female, Lou, check this out, man. This I did is South Korea. I did not know this was a thing. I thought, but they you know were... what? I always thought that South Korea. Listen, let me let me display some ignorance. Would you guys mind? Oh, please. Are you guys? I thought South Korea was like a really progressive country that that really was beyond a lot of those Asian stereotypes. I really did. Well, it's not necessarily Asian stereotypes, and they oh. are very progressive. But in the roles of well, Asian culture stereotypes, Asian I culture, say. Asian culture is probably. The last bastion of male hierarchy. I do not believe in any of our lifetimes we will see a female uh, emperor, emperor or, or leader. Empress. Yeah. It's almost written into their rules that a female cannot lead. So and I, I think by comparison, South Korea to North Korea, they get the benefit <laughs> of seriously that comparison. Where so you just think they are like you know modern day right you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, liberal and uh, everything is uh, everything flies where it's not always it, the case it's still a very very male dominated uh culture and going back to the breaking news that you just threw down mm-hmm. britney spears shaved her head and we freaked out <laughs> we were in that. yeah you're right I mean, so it, this does lead to an interesting argument but let me read this story real quick and i'll, I'll give you an idea of, of how it played out 
Uh, it says here, when South Korean archer Ann Wan won three Olympic gold medals in Tokyo, what greeted her back home wasn't just praise. There was a flood of criticism as well. Why? Because she has short hair. And among uh, the many insults that flew her away, she was labeled a feminist, which apparently is a loaded term in South Korea. That is not a bad thing. Matter of fact, because you are also a, not you're not just associated with being uh, wanting to be a powerful female. You're associated with being anti-male. It's not just I'm a feminist in right. the sense that I'm trying to empower myself and other women. What you're what they apply to that is the fact that you're also, while doing so, trying to kind of be anti-male. Of course, that's not the case. Matter of fact, one person in a post on social media said, it's good she got a gold, but her short hair makes her seem like a, a, she's a feminist. If she is, I withdraw my support. All feminists should die. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Who? What? This is just some anonymous poster, <laughs> okay. you know, one of those guys. Of course. But it says thousands of women across the country started posting pictures of themselves with short hair. And my thing is it's weird because in America, we've had a long-term weird relationship with women with short hair. And I want to know why. Because of why, the same why is reason. That? Because you, the is Bible it the masculine thing? Because mm-hmm. the Bible says a woman's hair is her crown. That's part of the reason why you see these... Uh, Religious sects uh, on either side of the religious thing. Uh, your Hasidic Jews, where a woman doesn't cut her hair, right? Or uh, you know, even the, Pentecostal women. The, I mean, uh, here, here in uh, yeah, yeah Latter Day Saints, the you know uh, ultra conservative Mormon sect yeah. that I can't remember his name, Jeff. The yeah, yeah, the pedophile. Joe Smith. Oh no, 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 oh, no. Oh, Jeff. Not, uh, yeah, I know you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not the not the founder right, of the yeah. Mormon. But you see, their hair is always very long and it's not cut. That's part of the reason. Um, and it kind of defies that feminine ideal when a woman then has really short hair. Yeah, but it's weird, though, because, I mean, in, in, in America, we've had two or three decades now, or at least two for sure, that have really celebrated short hair. The 20s. In the Roaring Twenties, a lot of the flapper girls had those short, bobby kind of haircuts. And that's part of the reason why they did it, right? And then you're right because it was a rebellion. It at was that a point. rebellion. And then again in the '80s, you guys remember the '80s when like Jamie Lee, uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis and a lot of the other I mean, women had had the shorter hair. And I don't know if there's a renaissance now by any means, but did you? I mean, do you ever find? Did you find short hair attractive in a woman? Does it? Would it ever really alter the way you would look at a woman? Would you consider her anything more because of her hair length? I, I, I've kind of uh underneath the thought process of if a woman has short hair i'm definitely going to i'm going to see more face there's less things to look at like from the from the neck up i suppose but, but you I, never, I don't know but you never applied any cultural thing to somebody with short hair you would never go oh she's got short hair because either she's a lesbian or she's a feminist or she's a man hater you would just always say she has short hair simply because she thinks it looks better on her Legit, or, she's, or she's trying something new my first thought would be like well we're in florida i get it you know, you're oh, yeah, trying to cool. Yeah, you're trying right. to cool down. Yeah, really? I, I I respect yeah, like, that. Think of how many Hispanic girls you see in Central Florida with short hair. Really, I don't see. I mean, you don't. Yeah, you don't. That's the whole you point. Don't. I never see Spanish girls with short hair. You, you don't. Not ever. You don't. That's there's, weird. There's built-in cultural expectations. Yeah, it, it, there just is. Demi I Moore mean, did it. Remember, Demi Moore did the short hair thing oh, in the yeah. '80s. Like, that was a big change? Like G.I. Jane? G.I. Jane, well, yeah. she shaved her head for that. Right, yeah. Short for Ghost. Yeah, G.I. Jane. I forgot about that movie. Hey, but, hey, put this up on the Twitter poll, Jack. Is um is short hair... How do we do this so we can... we can Okay. Not get canceled? No, 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 no. I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna Always get canceled. Always concerned. I, I, I want opinions from women as well. So how do I how do I phrase that question if I want... Like, I don't want it to just be, hey, dudes, are you hot for women with short hair? Because mm-hmm. like, that seems so douchey. But is there, a, um, is there a question we can ask where men and women can give their opinion on whether or not they like... How do you do that? Because women would be doing it for a style thing. Like, nobody's making a political statement with short hair anymore as a woman, well, right? Well, some. I mean, Sinead O'Connor still is, but that's but that different. A, but I it mean, could just, she could just think it looks good on her, though. No, I mean, I, I read a recent article. I mean, no. I oh, mean, it's a this, thing? At this point, it's it's that, and it's because she's older, and she doesn't care, and it's a hell of a lot easier <laughs> to take care of. Do you judge? Because typically... There you go. Do you judge a woman on the length of her hair? Nice. Do you, um, I, I, I had half of it. <laughs> judge is a weird word, though, well, right? Not really. It's kind of prejudging. It, yeah. It's like, do you allow that to influence your, you yeah, know. Yeah, I guess maybe it is. Yeah, how so, you view somebody. Someone just texted us at 77031. Me, personally, I just don't like it on most women. Very few women can actually pull it off. Um, 
I don't know. I, I grew up with short hair. I've, Did I, you really? I've always had short hair. My mom said my face was too thin to have long hair, so oh, I always yeah. had a Dorothy <laughs> Hamill or... The Colombian women get real. I mean, like, uh, not so good uh, please, my, my mother, uh, her hair was growing in straight, straight, straight. Right. My grandmother wanted her to have curly hair, so at age 11, she shaved her head. Here, com- here comes another level of ignorance real quick. Is it Cambodia? Like, don't Cambodian women, isn't there a country, uh, either Cambodian or, um, that they wear their hair short, and it may be because of the the heat thing, I don't know, but they, I mean... Or that one character from The Killing Get out of here. I don't I'm know. You're going to say something and, stupid and, like that. And, no, and it was Asia, a movie. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. In, in Asia, I, I really, I don't know. I, I would assume not. I would assume not. I'm uh, over here reading BBC. Thousands of women across the country, uh, talking about South Korea, began posting pictures of themselves with short hair. And They fell so, back, yeah. And it's also, I, I don't think it's nearly to the extent when it comes to women with short hair, but it's also flipped for men with men with long hair. That's always been like uh, a thing. That's been a thing, a little rebellious. Yeah. Uh, you're a hippie. Oh, and you know? Way rebellious. That's right. Are you kidding? Way rebellious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In, the, in the 60s and 70s, oh, long yeah. hair. That was Ooh. how, see, it was just like how the girls in the 20s rebelled by getting right. the pixie, by getting the bob. Uh, the page cut, as it were. Men in the 60s rebelled against that suit and tie, that, that you know, that always... 50s, that that you know, 50s crew polished look. look. Yeah. And and they started growing their, their hair as a way of saying, I reject you and yeah. your standards for, for self-care, for that, grooming. In a million trillion years, just to show you just how much of a parking lot puddle I am <laughs> when, it, when it comes to depth, I would have in a million years never thought that Anybody for any reason would cut their hair for a political statement. Now, I could say for a a personal statement of rebellion, like, you know, I've lived with this for long because my my Christian parents made me wear my hair short until I was, you know, 16. Now I'm growing that ish down to my butt, you know, type thing. I could see that. To me, that's not a political statement. Like, that's not a, that's not a, I'm a feminist and I'm against this. Or I, I just... I never associate a haircut with something like that. For me, it would just always be personal style. I think this looks good on me, or I just want to change things up. I'm making a big shift in my life, or something like that. Well, again, I don't, you know, looking at you, I'm struggling to figure out what it was you'd rebel against. Right. I mean, yeah, I guess. Right. White guy. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> there's no, you kind of weren't born with anything that yeah, you got to remind people that, hey. <laughs> but I mean, you could, you know. like you were, I mean, you know, if I was, like, well, let's think about this, because um, the skinheads, Right. They shaved their head, and that was definitely a political statement. Think about the punk rockers. They walked around with yeah, the, Mohawks. the Mohawks. That right. was definitely a political statement. That's one of the ways humanity has always been able to show um, through, you know, through something that just naturally grows, kind of where you stand with something. If you're a hippie from the 60s or you're oh, a man. short hair androgynous Annie Lennox, you know, who had to prove she was female in the 80s before they'd let her in the country – um, you you would never think that hair would be that that how would have been or hairstyle I should say would have been that important throughout the decades and through the centuries and oh, but the, when you look back into the 1700s when they're wearing powdered wigs and stuff I mean not even think of in the Bible didn't uh, Samson lose his power when right, yeah. Yeah, his right. hair got cut so I mean it's as old as humanity is how we view hair and hair very much ties into. Uh, gender specific roles. Wow. Like Ross said, you know, guys get crap for having long hair. Girls get crap sometimes for having short hair. I, I haven't really gotten any crap though. I get, I, I think I have long hair, right? This you is, have long, oh, yeah. You have longer hair than normal for yeah. a guy, yeah. And I haven't really gotten any heat. I mean, you're an artist, buddy. I mean, you, it's a little different, you know, if you were a stockbroker, but even now, I think with guys, man, I got to tell you, I think guys get away with murder every day. You can wear your hair. You can wear a page boy haircut. You can wear it down to your butt. You can shave it bald, and you're always just kind of you know trying to be a different you. I don't know that women can do that. I think so more so now Maybe than now, at any it. other time in my lifetime. But but even now, if you came in tomorrow with your haircut short, we would all wonder what happened. Oh yeah, we would never just go. Oh, check out Deb making a you know you know making a life change, getting a new kind of new feel or whatever. Oh no, I, I would immediately be like, what happened, man? <laughs> Right. I, I wouldn't think what happened. I would just be like, "All right, what's up? That uh, we made a decision." <laughs> like but, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be what, thinking. But what made her make that decision? That's what I'm saying. Uh, a plot twist. I'm tired of the the old hair. I'm tired of the new or yeah, what I've been looking like for a while. I just wanted to straight M Night Shyamalan twisted mm-hmm. up little little curveball. 
That's actually how I go about my hair. I grow it out as long as I usually can, and then I just take it all off. For the longest time, I would Process. get like a, I got like eight haircuts in the last decade. Jack wore his hair long for a while when he was doing that whole thing. It yeah, looked good on like, Jack. He looked like Jesus. Remember, he, he, he looked like Jesus. a criminal. Is what he looked like. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you did. You look like an international smuggler, buddy. Well, I thank say. you. That's, you really did. That's just catnip for the <laughs> ladies. It, it, it's my driver's license photo because I got my hair cut like two days after my last right. driver's license picture, and it's never been that length again. My wife liked it, but I just I like. It's, short hair so much better. Man, because I, it's a lot to take care of. It, you know, I haven't heard. It is. And I tell you, in, you know, back in the day, if you saw, in my, when I was growing up, uh, you know, in the 80s, if you saw a girl with short hair, you automatically thought lesbian. That's, that. there was no right. other reason to cut your hair short other than you were trying to make the statement that you were, you were lesbian. That, that was, that was kind of a thing. Very few girls, very few girls I went to high school with. Uh, ripped that long hair back in the 80s. Matter of fact, it, it, not many I went to college with uh, wore short hair either. And if you saw Rachel Maddow's high school picture, I mean, she looked like most of the doctor's daughters I went to high school with. Long, Big old poof. Long blonde hair, blue mm. wide volleyball player. I mean, it was just, but then, you know, my 80s yearbooks, it's, it's either the <laughs> way too permed or oh, yeah. way short. Uh, texting service checking in said I'm a black woman with natural hair and more manly and, and a more manly cut with sides low hetero but use makeup and earrings to say I'm looking for guys guys think otherwise my mom was mad when I cut my hair uh, and I did it because I hate doing my hair I <laughs> I would have to do, 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 do it out of ease oh man. natural yeah. hair black woman natural hair oh yeah that's yeah 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 I I, I love when my, like right after a haircut at short you use less shampoo I'm like I'm saving money. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> There's no balance. Couple that up with that 18 cents a day you're saving from the freezer, buddy. <laughs> you, you, were, know, you were in for a lollipop a day, kid. You'd save money if you just didn't eat food, too. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. Well, where, where's the boundary here? You All could right. walk to work and save a buck or two. You know how much more lube that is? All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Let's take a little break. I want you guys to load them up because we're going to do trivia next here on the Jim Colbert Show. We have a prize. Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. Hi, this is Dan Patrick, and here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by Mercedes-Benz. One of the best players in the NFL is back. Saquon Barkley has been cleared to return to practice from his season-ending knee injury suffered in Week 2 last year. Barkley exploded onto the scene in his rookie season with over 2,000 total yards and 15 touchdowns. Unfortunately, the last two seasons, Barkley has had to deal with injuries. The Giants are hoping Barkley can bring out the best in their young quarterback, Daniel Jones. I'm Chris Collinsworth. They say good things come to those who wait. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz SUV family proves otherwise. It takes no time at all to set up a test drive at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Learn more at mbusa.com. Guys, here in Central Florida, obviously, it is really, really important that your AC works every day. (laughs) Like, every single day. That's why you need a company like Mills Air to take care of you. That's who takes care of me and a number of people here on the radio station. There's one reason why, because they're very, very good at what they do. Uh, So good, they've been doing it for about 30 years here in Central Florida. They have 60 vans to cover you wherever you are. So don't ever worry about being out of their area. Their area is where you are. That is their area. And the good thing also, they have techs. The techs know every brand inside and out. More than likely, they'll have the part you need on the van. And that preventive maintenance plan is the key, because when these guys service your units, they can find problems that you may not know. They're lurking in there, waiting for the hottest day of the year to quit on you. That's why they're so awesome. They find those problems and then they fix them. So there is no quitting. There is no hot day. There is no moving out of your house into a hotel room while you wait for an AC company to fix it. That's not how they roll. And you happen to need a new unit. They got you covered there as well, man. Up to $2,700 in rebates towards a brand new carrier unit. Family owned and operated and ready to help you today. 407-277-1159. You can also find them online easily at millsair.com. A SunTrust checking account lets you stay on top of your money and help it grow. Plant the seeds for your goals with access to financial resources and tools. Keep an eye on your spending, hedging and managing it by setting limits on our mobile app. And rake in cash back on debit card purchases from your favorite retailers with SunTrust deals. With all the right tools... 
your account can blossom. Open an account today at SunTrust.com slash checking. Must have online banking to participate in SunTrust deals. SunTrust, now truest. Member FDIC. Off lease only, no. Shoppers are looking for a nearly new car that fits their budget and lifestyle. I know I am. I've purchased two cars from off lease only, and by the end of this year, that will be three. Because I know, why spend time and energy haggling when you can shop with off lease only and not only save time, but save thousands below retail on your next car, truck, SUV, or van. At Off Lease Only, you get to leave the stress behind, find peace of mind with no haggling, no negotiating, no pressure, and no hidden fees. Don't pay more. Choose from fresh inventory that's arriving daily. Your trade-in is always wanted at Off Lease Only. It's never been a better time to trade in and trade up. Get pre-qualified online now at OffLeaseOnly.com, where you can also shop online or call 407-222-CARS or even take a test drive at their massive state-of-the-art location just off the beach line at Narcusi and McCoy. Don't wait. Get started today at OffLeaseOnly.com. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The new Sleep Number 360 smart bed senses and automatically adjusts to keep you both effortlessly comfortable. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. It's the biggest sale of the year where all smart beds are on sale. Save 50% on the new Sleep Number 360 limited edition smart bed. Only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com. If you're from Orlando, you know how we do food in the city beautiful. We waffle our chicken in Metro Diner, udon our noodles at Bento Asian Kitchen, and ye can always find the golden tenders at PDQ. That's why there's DoorDash. Get food from every neighborhood in Orlando. Food so good, it'll make you happier than that other happy place in town. Download the DoorDash app now to find your local favorites. Made by Orlando. Order on DoorDash. Attorney Joe Cordell. For many men, divorce brings a bewildering sense of loss. You feel adrift, isolated, like you're the only person in the world. But the good news is, you're not alone. Cordell and Cordell can help guide you through all aspects of divorce. Let us be there for you. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's Orlando area attorneys. Office in Orlando, Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Joseph Cordell, licensed in Missouri and Illinois only. CordellCordell.com. Hey, Central Florida, it's time to up your standard of driving. R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Are you sick of driving a car you hate? Raise the bar in a nice new car and lower your monthly payment at the same time. Used cars from just $69 per month. New cars from just $129 per month. Raise the bar and I'll get more for your old car. We'll pay up to $5,000 over appraised value for your clunker. Is your credit score lower than you like? We will help you get approved. That's what makes us your car dealer next door. Give it a try. I'm raising the bar and making my best. Best offer ever. Like brand new Mirage's 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. And introducing the all new 2022 Outlander in stock and ready for delivery. Plus check out our certified used cars. Monthly payments from just $69 per month. Trade-ins will pay over appraised value. So get here quick. I'm RC Hill, your car dealer next door. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishi. Visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Mirage 9900, 72 months. 2.9 APR, $9 down. 249 payment plus tax tag fees. Max trading setup based on purchase instagram. instagram it's not just about food pics but it's mostly about food pics at real radio 1041 powered by anna jar and levine accident attorneys call 1-800-747-FREE that's 1-800-747-3733 you're listening to the jim colbert show also available to watch at the jim colbert show on twitch Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Always text us easily at 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is right there. Good evening. And Ross has your sauce chart. All aboard. Chugga, chugga. Choo, choo. I have a beautiful pair of tickets to see who other than the Orlando Pride versus... The garbage Portland Thorns this Saturday <laughs> going down at <laughs> I like your I like the hate. Yeah, man, I don't like any opposing team. But that is true. Orlando Pride versus the Portland Thorns Saturday, August 14th at the best soccer specific stadium in North America. 
Exploria Stadium. Game time is, of course, at 7 p.m. Go ahead and support the Orlando Pride. Also in the sauce jar, you know it, you love it. Summer is still off. Oh. If you win trivia, your name, your phone number, going on a list, and it's a good one, not like that Spielberg movie we are talking about. If you win trivia, your name, phone number, equals up to three of the greatest prizes we've ever given away. I'm talking about a 70-inch television. I'm talking about a MacBook Pro. I'm talking about a PlayStation 5 bundle. You cannot find a PlayStation 5 <laughs> at all. Not, not, not mention this bundle. Uh, it's Extra insane. controller, headset, uh, a full year of service, uh, other games. I mean, it's ridiculous. And those games keep getting pricier and pricier, and that is your sauce jar, which is brought to you by... Sento Family Moving and Storage. You know, it's a family-owned and operated Orlando moving and storage company. They can handle your move, local or long distance, residential or commercial, and get this. Mention the Jim Colbert Show. You'll get a discount. Nice. Book them today at CentoMoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O Moving.com. Yeah, back to you. Thanks. Appreciate that very much. We did have uh, a couple of breaking news moments we want to get out there real quick before we get to the game. Yeah, first of all, I want to let you know, tragic story out of Eltamont Springs where a 21-year-old woman on a Zoom call uh, was shot and killed by a toddler who found an unsecured handgun in a, an apartment in Altamont Springs. Good Lord. This happened yesterday. Apparently, while she was on the call, co-worker noticed they heard a loud noise, saw a toddler, saw the woman fall back and never come back on the call, uh, called 911, and they found, tried to render aid, but she uh, wow. was already deceased. Unbelievable. Tragic. And we had something else out there? Uh, yeah, in Brevard County, with hospitals overwhelmed by COVID yeah. cases, Brevard uh, uh, County uh, officials are asking residents to use 911 sparingly. So they say, please yeah. keep 911 for true emergencies because of long waits at local hospitals inundated with COVID-19 patients. And just to give you an idea of how this thing does not discriminate, one of the most powerful, wealthy men in Palaka, Florida, just died yesterday. Uh, a guy named Carl Beck, who owns almost every car dealership in all of uh, Putnam County, uh, died yesterday because of with COVID. Was it after a brief illness? Uh, yeah. It didn't say brief illness. Yeah. It just said the whole thing. Was uh, he a young man? No, he wasn't young, but he wasn't like you know super old. I mean, um, he still traveled around and stuff. But uh, mm -mm. yeah, hey, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Uh, 407 916 Ross, who goes first today, buddy? Let's welcome who other than Deb's favorite. Ellen on line one. Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Ellen, how are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. Want to play? Want to play a little game with us? Oh yeah. Let's do it. You're a loser. Oh, okay. Okay. Is this the one you called a loser? I yeah. did not call her a loser. She's a, she's a teacher, Jim. <laughs> she is a teacher. You are a teacher. She's a teacher in Brevard County. Wow, good, good job. Yeah, well, well, Ellen, don't call nine one one if Deb calls you a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, are you ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. This is a pretty easy game here for you. I've got a question, four answers. One of them is a lie. If you can find it, I will send you to the sauce jar. Here we go. On this day in 1925, an unknown English author, Norris McWhorter, created one of the most popular books on planet Earth. Anybody? Peter Rabbit. No. When he, oh, no. Alice. No. Oh, no. The Guinness Book of World Records what? was created on this day ah. in 1925 by Norris McWhorter. Here are three fun facts about the Guinness Book of World Records and one lie that's off the record. Number one, it's the most stolen book from public libraries. <laughs> Number two, Iran tried to get into the book by making the world's largest sandwich, but people started eating it. <laughs> Number three, the book was started over an argument in a pub about the fastest game bird in Europe. And lastly... A Braille version of the original book is highly collectible, worth over twenty-five grand. Whoa! Which one of those is a lie? Ah, uh, I suppose you can repeat that. <laughs> Which one? Ah, uh, number four. Yeah, a Braille version of the original book, which is for blind me. The Braille version of the very first Guinness Book of World Records is highly collectible, now worth over twenty-five thousand bucks. Don't you play it, Jack? She picked number four, so... She did pick four? She did. 
No. I uh, thought she said to repeat for. Yeah, she did say oh, repeat for. Okay, Ellen, sorry. what do you want? Which one do you want? I want. Uh, Oh, I forgot what the other one. Oh, ones come were. on, man! Oh. Come on, <laughs> Ellen. We got seriously. Go. Oh. Uh, Deb, 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 I know. That's we can't it. I'm hold done. that back. I'm done. You're I'm a done. loser. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Welcome to the program. I'm yeah, doing I mean, well. Hey, you sit there and just sit there. <laughs> just give me an answer, man. It's one, two, three, or four. <laughs> oh, damn. Ellen's had a rough week. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the same, Ellen. Hey, Mike, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. All right, you go. Here we go. In regards to the Guinness Book of World Records, number one, it's the most stolen book from public libraries. Number two, Iran, Iran tried to get into the book by making the world's largest sandwich, but people started eating it. Number three, the book was started over an argument in a pub about the fastest game bird in Europe. And lastly, a Braille version of the original book is highly collectible, now worth over twenty-five grand. Let's go with number three. Number three is incorrect. That is a true statement. Uh, the book was started over an argument in a pub over the fastest game bird in Europe. Deb, anything to add? No. Okay. <laughs> Who goes next, buddy? Let's welcome Red Sox fan. Red Sox fan. Oh, how you doing, man? Jack's favorite. Hey, how you doing? Good. Tell me the truth or tell me which one of these is a lie in regards to the Guinness Book of World Records. Number one, it's the most stolen book from public libraries. Number two, Iran tried to get into the book by making the world's largest sandwich, but people started eating it. And then lastly, a Braille version of the original book is highly collectible. Now worth over twenty-five grand. I'll go with number one. Number one is true, unfortunately. It is the most stolen book from public libraries in, in America. Damn I'll be it. happy to tell you, you're a loser. Sir. And uh, last here, let's go. Tanya, how you doing, Tanya? Hey, how are you? Good. You got a 50-50 shot here. Tell me which one of these is a lie in regards to the Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, number one, Iran tried to get into the book by making the world's largest sandwich, but people started eating it. And lastly, a Braille version of the original book is highly collectible, now worth over 25000 bucks. Uh, I'm going to go with the first one, the Iran thing. No, unfortunately, that's true. That's Sorry. true? That is true, 100% true. Don't you <gasps> dare, Jack. Okay, good thing. The guy called five seconds ago. Let's welcome Nick. Nick, how you doing? <laughs> no. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, which one of these is a lie? A Braille version of the original uh, book is highly collectible, now worth over twenty-five grand. i am going to go with that one. That is Yay. the lie, buddy. Good job calling Ooh. in 30 seconds ago and winning the prize. <laughs> and now becoming a register for the Summer of Stuff. That's all you got to do. Oh, yeah. Say a number. It's pretty easy. A couple other things you may not know before we get to Theater Thursday. Uh, the book receives more than 50,000 applications per year. Only 1,000 of those are accepted. Uh, Norris's brother, Ross, also contributed to the starting of the book. Unfortunately, he was killed by the IRA in 1975. Uh, apparently, he was a political uh, firebrand Whoa. Uh, against these guys, and they caught up with him and showed him who was boss. Uh, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Lee Riches sued the Guinness Book of World Records when he found out they were going to name him the world's most litigious person. Oh, really? Okay, there you go. Uh -oh. That's funny. Uh, that the is book funny. is published in 100 countries and 23 languages. Irony. And, and lastly, the original plan was to offer a free book to pubs all across Europe. When they found out how popular it was, they're like, no, nah, we're going to sell it. Right. Yeah, we're, we'll go ahead and sell this. It'll be fine there. Uh, what are we doing for Theater Thursday here, homie? We just uh, got the latest copy of that. I know, I saw it, it over there. Did you see it? Yeah. So, for Theater Thursday, I'm not going to lie, guys, this one's going to be different. By far, uh, maybe, quite possibly, the weirdest and most different one we've ever done. <sighs> Who am I? You are going to be playing Roommate. Oh, Roommate. Very good. Who am I playing? You are going to be playing Radio Guy. Radio Guy. Okay, I'm Roommate. Hey, Roommate and Radio Guy. We're a new morning Wait, show. Now hey. You said it was originally written for three people, and you had to add a fourth part. So who am I going to be? Dog. You're a dog. Like my nickname is Dog. Yeah, sure. Like what's up, Dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or does like he bark? Dog. Is he a, is he an actual animal, buddy? He is. He's he, an actual dog. He is a dog. And is this just because you didn't want to take me back to my? Who are you? Yard nickname. I'm the narrator. That's what I do. Why do Why do you always forget that I'm the narrator? Why do you always not put yourself in these things so you can look like an ass? Oh, trust me. I think I'm going to be the one who's looking like an ass today. All right, let's do that oh, next. Stay tuned. Yeah, cool. We've all relied on friends' shoulders in tough times. 
But since we don't know who you are, per se, this is about as good as it gets. Like and follow at Real Radio 1041 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the rest, buy from the best, goldsmithjewelry.com. A heavy ride continues westbound on I-4 between US-192 and 429 and also between Lee Road and Ivanhoe Boulevard. Eastbound delays too between Conroy Road and OBT and also between Osceola Parkway and 535. Authorities still have the left lane blocked north on 429 between Independence Toll Plaza and Stony Brook West Parkway. See traffic problems? Call the SafeTouchSecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa and Chips Ahoy are teaming up to bring you handcrafted beverages that'll make your summer adventures epic with delicious and creamy Chips Ahoy smoothies, milkshakes, and sundaes. They're crafted to crave at Wawa. Business owners, are you feeling the pressure of running your business? That happens. I ran one, and it can be zero fun. But there's a limit to what you can do and still keep your employees engaged. In Sparity, which I wish I had, they can help for sure. They put 30-plus years of HR experience to work, helping you hiring, training, HR administration, and compliance the entire time giving your employees competitive benefit options. And because you're able to now focus on other priorities, your employees can thrive and your business can grow. With Insperity, nothing seems impossible. Full-service HR, employee benefits, HR technology, it's Insperity, HR that makes a difference. At Navy Federal Credit Union, we help our members execute missions every day, like Operation... Earn cash back on tutus, dance lessons, and tiaras, so I can get a little more towards something for me. Or Operation... Pay for soccer, pay for piano, pay for dinner. Then use the cash back on something for mama. The cash rewards card from Navy Federal gives you 1.5% cash back on purchases and has your back with fraud protection. Apply now. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members of the mission. Open to the armed forces, the DOD, veterans, and their families. Insured by NCUA. Need to turn your home equity into cash? This is Robert Palmer, and home values are at an all-time high. Smart homeowners are accessing home equity at today's low rates. But don't use your home equity to pay closing costs. Let me pay them instead. Visit rpfunding.com for details. NMLS 7168, Equal Housing. My crusade for the perfect pizza crust has led me here, pining over a backyard wood-fired oven. But how do I bake this build into my budget? Where can I get some solid guidance on my finances? Who can help me understand if I have the dough for this? A little financial advice. At Regions, we know that's important because your Life Green checking account comes with green print. Financial planning with a banker who will help you create a personal budget and live in the moment. Make your appointment at regions.com slash greenprint. Regions Bank, member FDIC. Start summering with Dunkin's new Sunrise Batch Hot or Iced Coffee, a bright and balanced full body blend that's sourced from Kenya and Latin America. Make the most of your summer days with a cup of Dunkin's Sunrise Batch. America runs on Dunkin'. Price and participation may vary, limited time offer. Right now at Old Navy, grab amazing back-to-school deals for the kids starting at just $5. Extraordinary prices on kids' styles every single day. Get kids' tees and tanks from just $5, dresses from 8 active tops and bottoms from 8 and shorts from 6 every single day. Find this magic at Old Navy and OldNavy.com. No matter the challenges, we were there with a stronger, more reliable energy grid. When our community struggled, we were there with flexible payment arrangements and other support. And as the sun comes out, bringing the promise of a brighter tomorrow, we will still be here. With energy that's reliable, affordable, and cleaner than ever, we're Duke Energy, and we're building a smarter energy future for you. Paid for by Duke Energy shareholders. Introducing Aftershock, a new fiction podcast starring The Walking Dead, Sarah Wayne Callies, David Harbour from Black Widow and Stranger Things, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. An earthquake has left L.A. in ruins. This is one woman's journey of survival in the aftermath. That's her on that shelf down there? How do we get to her? I can't hold on! Let's hold on! Cassie, hold on! Listen to Aftershock on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company presents... Doug. And we're back with Limu, Emu, and Doug for the final question. Category is things you climb. All right, Limu, what do you think? You sure? We're going with Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Oh, so close. We were looking for stairs. Huh. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. 
attorney Joe Cordell. For many men, divorce brings a bewildering sense of loss. You feel adrift, isolated, like you're the only person in the world. But the good news is you're not alone. Cordell and Cordell can help guide you through all aspects of divorce. Let us be there for you. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's Orlando area attorneys. Office in Orlando, Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Joseph Cordell, licensed in Missouri and Illinois only. CordellCordell.com. This hour of programming brought to you in part by FAS Windows and Doors. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed senses and automatically adjusts to keep you both effortlessly comfortable. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. It's the biggest sale of the year where all smart beds are on sale. Save 50% on the new Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed. Only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com. Thinking about divorce? Kramer Law. OneFirmForLife.com Offices Altamont Springs Portions of the following program were pre-recorded Broadcasting live from the personal injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studio Car accidents, other injuries? Call pound 546 from your cell or visit WhenYouNeedUs.com You're listening to WTKS-FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando Available everywhere with the iHeartRadio app Now number one for podcasting We are an iHeartRadio station The Jim Colbert Show Returns now on Real Radio 10. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. Thanks again for tuning in today. We deeply appreciate it. We really do. And uh, thanks for all your kind words over the last few days. It's been really, really nice. I've received a ton of email, Facebook messages, and stuff of encouragement, uh, letting me know they've been through the same thing. And I, I really do appreciate. I really, really do appreciate. It. You know. You, you always internalize things and think, wow, you know, why is this always happening to me? And you read some of the stories, you're like, okay, buddy, just chill. Yeah, exactly. Chill Could out. be worse. <laughs> just relax. Could uh, be worse. Everything's fine. Just kind of, you go through the process, everything's good. But uh, thank you guys. I do appreciate it very much. I really do. Uh, welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb and Jack are here as well. Let's do some Theater Thursday. It's weird. Open it up. It's funny. Smack it out. Sometimes. Put it back in. It's Ross. <laughs> Spelled like sauce. Smells funny. It's Ross thoughts. What the deal is, man? That, that was... I don't understand you. I didn't even mean for that to be filled with innuendo or... Uh, I don't know. I don't get it. I'll tell you what. You are not alone. You are not alone. I'm not getting it. Guys, welcome to Theater Thursday. Good to see you, buddy. What you may not know about Theater Thursday is that I go ahead and write a script throughout the day and then we perform it live on air. You guys do not know your dialogue. No, we do not. You don't know your lines. Mm. It's always a little spicy. You never know what's going to happen. Well, today is a very interesting one because this uh, has nothing to do with how I felt or what I experienced this morning. Co wink. I'm winking. I realize okay. that winking is very hard to communicate on air, mm -hmm. but here we are. <laughs> Deb, you're going to be playing the role of radio guy. No problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I challenge you, oh, radio guy, All right. Al although that is a very funny voice, and if you want to stick with that voice, go right ahead. You are the director. What voice would you like? Oh, that's how you do it, Deb. Uh, yeah, that was nice. It's... Uh, if you can make it sound like a 32-year-old who stopped smoking weed like 35 or 36 days ago, he's an uh, he's an owner of two dogs. Sure, I'll do it, Ross. Uh, yeah, that sounds <laughs> sounds a little bit more accurate. <laughs> a little, little higher? Is that what you're saying, Jim? Yeah, no, I'm just... higher. No, 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 a little bit higher. Easier. A lot, of, a lot of dudes, a lot of bras. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bras. Oh. Of... Hey, 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 bra. Uh, bra, yeah. Uh, radio uh, guy, bra. You I gotta have... feather the rooster, yo. Yeah, so I just gotta like feather that rooster. Okay, you know wait, let me feather that rooster. All right, so okay. as Deb is feathering her rooster. <laughs> Don't have any idea what that means. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll send you the video It's later. just fun to say. Is it? Gets the people going. Speaking of that, we had some cool stuff on the blog right now, so we'll see. Jim, you... <laughs> Are going. Terrible, terrible plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was what are you doing? Worst. That's the worst plug in radio history. <laughs> cool stuff on the blog, by the way. Go check it out. Don't do it now, though. Yeah, no. 
Wait till seven. <laughs> Jim, you're going to be playing the role of roommate. All right, roommate. I'm oh, going to roommate you. Your roommate. Are All you right. my, is no. he my roommate? Who am I supposed to sound like? Am I just a regular guy or whatever? What am I doing here? You sound Give me like, my motivation, homie. You sound like a 25-year-old who has a promising world. A promising career in the world of comedy. Oh, that's right. been a long time ago. But you also sound like you also sound like you hate your job. Oh, I hate my be, job. Yeah, I hate my job. <laughs> yes, that you're. Hating. I'll just do that. I'll hate my job with this voice. <laughs> Is that a voice that kind of hates its job? I guess it's freaking me out. You sound like a a murderer clown with that. A murder clown <laughs> with this voice. <laughs> If I was a murder clown, I'd love my job. <laughs> yeah, it sounds very like a clown with a secret, you know? <laughs> and I'm the D-O-double-G. You are playing the role of dog. Snoop All right. Dog. Another dog. fun yeah, reminder is what? that I didn't know Jim was going to be in today, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I had to quickly add a character, and I don't think the audience will be able to tell which character I quickly add. All right. Got it. All right? There is no music for this one, uh-huh. unless there is music. Unless Jack is about to surprise me with something. He seemed very upset about it. Well, you know, I was definitely upset about this morning, around like 10 a.m. So, let me introduce you to the world premiere and the last time you'll ever hear it. I like to call this one Writer's Block. (laughs) Fade in, interior, bedroom. A radio personality out of Orlando, Florida, who is responsible for a daily, sometimes comedic segment, wakes up. Eight months ago, in an attempt to be more creative and hopefully even more entertaining, he decided to have one idea and do it, one idea that he's had for a while. Write a script and perform it live on air with the rest of the crew. The rest of the crew don't know the script and what they will have to say to fulfill the scene. The first time the bit is created fell on a Thursday. Alliteration is fun. Ha! Theater Thursday was born. It's 10 a.m. and it's time to think of an idea. Uh, I don't have an idea. He says to himself. Have we done the Civil War? Anything funny in the Civil War? He he remembers that he wrote a war scene just last week. (gasps) We did a war one last week. Can't do that. Maybe I can just repurpose one of the first ones. Would people notice? He then thinks of the passionate fans of the radio station that listens to every segment. Oh, Mike Larson would know. (laughs) I can't let Mike Larson down. He's the 26th Time Last Call winner. I know that. Because he tells me every freaking day. Guy's good. He looks over at one of his dogs sleeping, wishing he could do the same. He leans over onto his dog and tries to sleep, but the coffee is working back to the computer. All right, all right. What would be worth someone's time if we gone to Canada? Canada's kind of funny. Hey, maple syrup, eh? The host hates Canada, eh? He doubts the idea is good enough. Yeah, no, that's not, not good enough. He doubts the segment is even entertaining at all. Is this even working? Is this juice worth the squeeze? Do people even like Theater Thursday? His roommate is overheard from the other room. His roommate works at home, making cold calls to contractors. Every day, he is heard, and it is super annoying. Hi, this is Chris over at House Financial Company. Can I speak to your accountant or whoever takes care of the financing? You can hear the frustration building up in the background of his corporate voice. Hello? Will do, sir. He takes off his headphones and walks into the living room. Jesus, I hate working. I hate making phone calls. Guy just told me to F off. Not right now. I'm kind of busy. What are you doing? I'm trying to think of a theater Thursday and just don't have it today. Have you done space? Like in a spaceship or anything? I know what space, and yeah, I think, like multiple times. What about a funeral? Those are always kind of fun. The other dog that is awake barks. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, um, uh, are you going to finish your breakfast, by the way? You can have it. The roommate grabs the black cherry, blackberry toast and goes into the next room. Grabs his headphones to make another phone call. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Chris from House Financial. God, another F off. Back to F offs, bro. The radio guy feels for him, but is happy for his demise. Back to Theater Thursday, he again speaks to himself. I like swords. What about a duel? 
A clear-cut villain, a clear-cut hero. His idea starts to get legs. There's that one movie trope where the villain looks like he's going to win and then drops like a bombshell of information like, I was the one who killed your sister. Then the hero wins after gaining more motivation. The dog barks. The idea is starting to come to life. Oh, but instead of a dark something like that, it's uh, something super weird. Hmm, like uh, I wear a sundress at night and read old poetry. <laughs> and the hero is confused. Yeah, that, that might work. He takes a moment to himself to think if it would, in fact, work. Yeah, no, that's too freaking weird. That wouldn't work. The dog barks again, but this time, sadly. <coughs> the roommate is heard once again from the other room. Hi, this is Crunch over at House Financial. Oh my god, another F off. The radio guy is interrupted again. Yeah, like, doesn't that happen a lot? It does. The radio guy feels the same way as the callers on the other line, <laughs> wishing he could F off so he could get Theater Thursday done. He whispers to himself again. Oh god, don't tell him to F off can't do that. That's a little too much honesty. Another idea pops into his head. Wait, is there such thing as too much honesty? He looks at his dog sleeping, still feeling a little jealous. Hmm. Well, it won't make best of, but I know what I'm doing today for Theater Thursday. Hi! Hey, made a sell? No, not one, but I just got told to piss off. Hey, improvement. So they you're thinking something yet? They high five. So you think of something yet? Dad. Theater yeah. Thursday. Yeah. 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 So what part did you add? I, <laughs> those are your Ross thoughts. <laughs> F off, Kristoff. <laughs> I'm out. All Peace. right, 407 916 1041. Text us 770 We know what Ross had for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Black cherry toast. Or, or didn't. Yeah, that blackberry toast. I had like half of it, and then he came in going, yo, are you going to finish that? I was oh, like, that the... my God. <laughs> is it the my... jam? But yeah. It's the blackberry the, jam? Yeah, the chicken jelly. Chicken jelly. <laughs> oh, hey, how's, that chick... how's that chicken toast? It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. My it's... peach is awesome, by it's the way. It's great. <laughs> I got a blackberry. <laughs> I don't want to hear about your peach. All right, 407-916-1041. Back with more of the Jim Colbert Show right after this. Twitter. Twitter. It's not just for dragging people. At it's mostly real radio. Just for dragging people. 1041. Powered by Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center. Car crash? Call Clausman Law. A heavy ride continues westbound on I-4 between US-192 and 429 and also between Lee Road and Ivanhoe Boulevard. Eastbound delays too between Conroy Road and OBT and also between Osceola Parkway and 535. Authorities still have the left lane blocked north on 429 between Independence Toll Plaza and Stony Brook West Parkway. See traffic problems? Call the SafeTouchSecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Heron Home and Outdoor. Heron Home and Outdoor's pest-free 365 solution works year-round to protect your home from unwanted pests. Choose pest-free and visit MyHeronHome.com to save $50 on your first pest-free 365 service here on home and outdoor your local pest experts look man it doesn't take a complete hurricane to blow out your power here in central florida deb even lost power today we've had power losing all the time and we have a storm coming right now that is why you need to contact the guys who are complete power resources these guys have the generator of your dreams for your business for your home it doesn't matter these guys have the brands you want briggs and stratton generac kohler cummins they're all there and installed by their total pros insured licensed bonded background check and COVID-19 tested. And I'll tell you something else, man. You get a generator and you get, have somebody install them that doesn't know what they're talking about, you could have a massive issue. But look, when it comes to being in Florida and dealing with hurricanes and these power outages, how would you like to not even have to worry about that? The instant your power goes down, your generator kicks on and you are powered back up. Uh, and being, You will be the absolute bane of your neighbors. They will want to be at your house. That's what Complete Power Resources does. It's CPR for your home. That's right. Right, CPR, Complete Power Resources, there to get you the power you need when you need it. Never be in a blackout, not with Complete Power Resources. Hop on board today, get a quote, get these guys on your property to give you a quote on an incredible generator to keep you in the light all summer long through hurricane season. It's easy, CompletePowerResources.com. 
When it comes to power, trust the source, solarsource.com. Come experience the sights, sounds, and tastes of Impressionist Era France in a fully immersive experience called Lasting Impressions, only at the Dr. Philippe Center. Here, new 3D LED technology and classical music transport you into famous masterpieces by Monet, Renoir, Van Gogh, and more. This unique event is more than a show, combining art, music, and wine for a full sensory experience. Enjoy Lasting Impressions August 13th through September 26th. Get tickets now at drphilippecenter.org. With RP Funding's Digital Mortgage, you can refinance your home loan to today's low rates from the comfort of your own home. Get started today and let me pay your closing costs. Lock in your low rate before it's too late. Visit rpfunding.com. NMLS 70168, Equal Housing Lender. There are 16 spots in the playoffs and just one track left. Well, not just any track. Daytona, a last chance to keep playoff hopes alive. It's time to bring your friends and family to watch the drama unfold up close and in person. NASCAR comes to Daytona International Speedway, August 27th and 28th. Tickets start at just $49. Get yours at DaytonaInternationalSpeedway.com. Wow, I've got a whole five minutes before my next call. What should I do? Grab a snack? Nah. Text with mom? Hmm, that's more than a five-minute proposition. I have been looking at getting a new bank account. Is that even possible? Can't believe you have extra time? You won't believe what you can do with it. Open a region's checking account online in as little as five minutes. Then enjoy award-winning service and banking tools and tech that help you live in the moment. Learn more at regions.com slash live in the moment. Regions Bank member FDIC. Okay, so the IKEA 10-year family celebration is here, and we have got a lot to cover. Taking notes as we speak. So we've got coupons. Yep. Giveaways. You know it. And limited time offers. Already on the shelves. Great. Oh, oh, lastly, we'll need more chairs. How many? Oh, just 22 mm -hmm. million. Right. It's the celebration of a decade, so let's make sure they all know to go visit their local IKEA store or to ikea-usa.com now through August 22nd to learn more or become a member today. Got it. Oh, you're the best. I know. New hot and iced sunrise batch coffee from Dunkin'. A bright and balanced full-bodied blend brewed so you can get summering from sunrise to sunset. And even after that, because that's when you can show off those string lights you hung in the backyard. Or re-hung. Sip into summer with new hot and iced sunrise batch coffee from Duncan. America runs on Duncan. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer. Exclusions apply. Miles of pristine white sand below, expansive cerulean blue skies above, and wonderment everywhere you look. This is St. Pete Clearwater in the fall. Here, the senses awaken with the first morning light. Emerald green waters gently lap the shore. A calming gulf breeze floats through the air. It's vivid, it's vibrant, and it's the perfect getaway. Plan your fall escape to America's best beaches at visitstpeakclearwater.com. Off lease only, no. Shoppers are looking for a nearly new car that fits their budget and lifestyle. I know I am. That's why I buy my cars at Off Lease Only. And you should too. Because why should you spend time and energy haggling when you can shop with Off Lease Only and not only save time, but save thousands below retail on your next car? truck, SUV, or van. With Off Lease Only, they want their customers to leave the stress behind and find peace of mind with no haggling, no negotiating, no pressure, and no hidden fees. This is the way car buying should be. Don't pay more. Choose from fresh inventory arriving daily. Financing is available for good and bad credit, and you can get pre-qualified online now at offleaseonly.com. It's never been a better time to trade in and trade up at Off Lease Only. Reach them on the phone at 407-222-CARS or take a test drive at their massive state-of-the-art location just off the beach line at Narcusi and McCoy. Get started online right now at offleaseonly.com. Com. Thousands of free playlists are being created now by people just like you on the free iHeart app. At iHeart, we think every mood and activity deserves a playlist, so we made it totally free for you to start creating your very own. Working out, chilling out, or maybe you're getting ready for tailgate season. We made it super easy. Start by searching for a song or simply add a song you hear streaming on your favorite station like this one directly into a playlist, and we'll help with the other songs to finish it. Only on the free iHeart app. Number one for music, radio, and podcasts all in one. Any legal issue, Kramer Law, OneFirmForLife.com. Offices, Altamont Springs.
This is the Jim Colburn Show. Also available on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Just search the Jim Hey, man, if you haven't uh, had a chance to slide over to our new YouTube channel, that'd be great. Takes a couple seconds to tune it up. Just The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Give us a subscribe there. We'd yeah. like to get to 1,000 first. That's our first plateau. We're at like 600 now. Yeah. We do, just started it like last week. Do a thumbs up. I don't know what it means, but Angelique yeah. uh, asked the Monster fans to do that all the time. Oh, really? So, yeah, do That's that for good. us, too. Thumbs up. Right. I don't know what it means. All right, 407-916-1041. I was telling you guys earlier, there are a couple colleges here in the U.S. that had decided to kind of take it upon themselves to uh, handle the situation with COVID and students. Of course, that's a big deal going on right now. Public schools, we see these things raging last night. I believe in Tennessee, there was a school board meeting where they started to institute mandatory masks for elementary school kids. And people were losing their minds. When people were leaving, there were people yelling at them, I know where you live. I know where you live. Wow. I can't get you now, but I'll get you eventually Whoa. type thing. Over a mask. Over a mask. So over we're a trying mask. to keep your kids safe. It's so crazy. But either way, <clears throat> there are a number of schools who have now uh, decided to um, attack this a different way. Um, and it's uh, in West Virginia and in Alabama, of all places. Oh, no. So in West Virginia, Wesleyan oh, yeah. College, right? And Birmingham Southern College announced fees prior to the start of the semester. So if your kid was, go- a kid was going to college, they are going to charge unvaccinated students a COVID fee when they return to campus. While administrators at the school says that students haven't been vaccinated, will have to foot the bill for weekly testing if not. So not only do you have to pay the fee, you also have to pay to be tested every single week and show that test to make sure that you're negative before you come to school. Uh, the Wesleyan College in West Virginia announced the non-refundable $750 COVID-19 update fee on its website. It's a private liberal arts car- college, so they don't really have to worry about any influence from you know uh, from governments that give grants or anything like that. Right. That happens a lot sometimes. They'll have the colleges by the nuts a little bit if they're giving them you know tens of millions of dollars to subsidize whatever for that particular school. That gives them a say sometimes, you know. Uh, not the case here, though. Uh, the fee will apply to students who fail to submit proof they've either been fully vaccinated or at least received the first dose. About 90% of the school's faculty has been vaccinated. Um, and uh, they say a large percentage of the student body uh, have been as well. But until that's the case, now I don't know. It doesn't say here if they're giving them um, if they're giving them the opportunity to learn, you know, learn at home. I didn't see that in the in the story at all. Whether or not they're going to say, "Hey, well, you can avoid the fee by doing your doing your classes oh, from home." Yeah. Hey, if you attend school, that's the case. But you know, that, I think that's why people want to go. They want to go to school, right? Yeah. I mean, if I'm in college. I want to go to college. You want to have a college experience. You don't want to sit in a room and look at it through a window or through a through a tablet. Even more so than that K through twelve that we just got through a year of where everyone's like, no, they have to be in person. It's right. a better experience, especially college. Yeah, I would say that. I mean, you know, I would, you know, it's so funny though. I say, especially college, but you know, by the time you get to college, you've learned your social skills or you should have learned your social skills. <laughs> in reality, the younger kids, uh, here's where I kind of agree with governor DeSantis in a weird way. I do agree 1000% though that kids do need to experience each other, you know, while they're in school. They need to have those normal experiences. How you do that safely now, that's a coin flip other than masks and vaccinations. Of course, kids are, you know, it's a real thing when you tell a, a parent of somebody 12, and, or 12 or under. What's that, sixth grade? Fifth, sixth grade? 12 yeah. years old? Yeah, 12. Yeah. Uh, and then again, I think I got held back on kindergarten, yeah. so I'm a no, little... No, I was, I think I was 12 in sixth grade. Yeah, I think that's about right, sixth grade. So, I mean, you know, sixth grade or under, you know, they're telling you, hey, you, you know, get a, get a vaccinated, a kid vaccinated. And, you know, and we know even the even the companies making the vaccines, whether it be Moderna, Moderna Pfizer, any of them, you know, they have been working on a vaccine for, you know, people 12 and under. But is there one ready to go? No, oh. Moderna. Oh, sorry. Moderna right now with uh, uh, USF is working on a vaccine trial. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I heard 
shortly they expect to be able to ha- uh, have it available for younger. Yeah, yeah. that's. I mean, I've but been reading that now for a couple of weeks, but I haven't read anything. But again, you know, you're you know when you're you know you're asking for people under the age of twelve years old, we don't have an we don't even have an emergency approval from the FDA for one. Right. So you know that's a really unique situation to have to have to you know legislate. You know, to have to deal with. I mean, I don't know how you deal with that, but I mean, if I was a kid, if I was a parent, I had a kid going to school. I mean, I, it would be a really weird time right now. You know, it really would, simply because of uh, the the um, the contagious nature of this variant has been. You know, I think they, I saw a scale that compared it to measles, mumps, um, chicken pox. Chicken pox. Chicken I think pox. It, I think it comes in thir- fourth or fifth to the most contagious respiratory viruses we've ever encountered. Um, and I, those are the ones we're talking about. Chicken pox, measles, I think is the most ever. Measles, chicken pox, mumps, um, another influenza strain, if I remember right, and then COVID-19. I wonder if there's or the a, Delta variant. Like, after getting fully vaxxed, it's kind of the the same mindset after I had COVID and got over COVID, which is like, I feel super. I feel like yeah. I have like, yes, yeah, I, I have t- leveled up. I did not feel that. I have to tell you, I actually, after my first, after my first stab for about four or five days, I felt a little odd in my lungs and my chest and my heart. I felt this weird tightness for a little bit. And I didn't know if it was from that. My wife actually experienced the same thing. It only lasts like four or five days and it went away and I haven't had any problems with it. And I actually even just asked Larry, uh, Larry a few minutes ago, our buddy Larry from the newsroom, uh, that comes on the show occasionally, if he had any negative experiences with his second shot, because mine comes up next week. And I know Jack had some experiences. Mm-hmm. You were on the show when you had it, and although you were a bit bummed out, oh, yeah. you, you made it through the program. Yeah, we got through it. We got yeah. through it. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was tired. That yeah, second yeah. Day. My wife actually had a low-grade fever that the day after the shot, but right. then the following day, absolutely fine. Right. And it's funny, I was thinking about it today, How I was like really trying to assess, how do I feel? Do I feel any different? I just, psycho, and I think it's a psychological thing, I just feel protected. I yeah. feel better I, knowing that I have a better level of protection against the virus. That's funny. I do not think of it like that at all. Yeah. I, st- I still go through the same exact protocol I was going through before. I just, I well, just don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want right. to have that false sense of security that I can go out there and start licking toilet seats and being perfectly fine. I just want to go through life and, and still try to protect myself because here's the thing. I told my wife, I, I mean, I, I don't know what it can, can or cannot do for me. I don't want to deal with it. I mean, it's just that simple. I don't want to be down for a week, two weeks, three months. You know, my, my uncle, uh, who right now is dealing with double pneumonia because of this? You know, dude is a, in good shape. You know, he's a welder. He yeah, doesn't smoke. He quit smoking years ago. In pretty darn good shape. You know, tough guy. Doesn't care. And it's kicking his ass. Doesn't like, care. Like straight up kicking his ass. What they call them comorbidities. Like yeah. sometimes you don't know you have one. Yeah. Yeah. And this thing will expose it. And by Wellison, uh, Wellison, uh, Wellis, Wellislin, uh, Wellis, Wellislin, 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 there you go. Yeah. Uh, said that uh, roughly they're going to yeah, charge. Yeah, what job. they do is they charge all students, like thirteen hundred students. They immediately charge you the five hundred dollar fee. Yeah. You show them that you have the vaccine, and they immediately give you a refund to your account or whatever. So that's nice. how they're doing that. that was, yeah. So two schools doing it. We'll see how that works out. I'm sure they were waiting for some. Uh, they were waiting for some guinea pigs to get see, out there and try that to see how the faculty and the parents of the students reacted to it. But you can bet your ass these two colleges are being paid close attention to by a bunch of Division One schools. It's important the way you said it, and I was thinking about you know other things. You can do it that way. You charge everyone the higher fee. So you're not charging people who are unvaccinated. You're giving discounts to people who are vaccinated and want to prove it. And for seven hundred fifty dollars, like if they're charging right, yeah. everyone, then you hey, you want a great discount? You know, you you prove it, then you get a discount. Yeah. So it's optional. It's not mandatory. Well, I mean, it, well, I mean, you could look at it. I mean, you could you could oh, negotiate. Buddy, I'll save seventy cents. It's you, mandatory. You, yeah, you, hell yeah, dog. You can use a <laughs> bunch of different language there, but it sounds pretty mandatory to me. They're basically saying if you want to come in this school, you're going to have this thing, or you're going to pay this money, and you're going to have to jump through a lot of hoops. But I mean, that's what companies are doing everywhere now. Like the big news is every day now finding out which companies are making it mandatory for you to uh, to go to work. And I think isn't California about to make it mandatory for all of um. All state of, workers? I think it's all state workers. Uh, New York has already done that. Yeah. And, and closer to town, today in Woke News, we talked about Stetson University requiring a vaccination oh, yeah, for students right. and but staff. With New York and California, I believe it's it, you have to be vaccinated or weekly tests. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Weekly so. tests. And, you know, weekly tests aren't cheap. Well, I mean, if you pay for them to get there quickly— 
But the thing is, is mine took 24 hours, but I'm guessing now it's probably not that. I think if you get a COVID test now, it's going to be take it's going to take longer than that because they're overwhelmed. Well, it, it depends on where you go and the right. availability. Uh, you can get that PCR test at a drive through It takes like an hour or two. Right. But if you get an appointment because there is a higher demand now. Um, the News Junkie, they recently, uh, I know you can purchase them at Walgreens if they're available. It's like just under $30 and you get two tests. It's a take-home test and it's immediate. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. So oh. for $30, you can have two tests and do it in your home. Wow. Well, I know the ones that the, the rapids don't almost even count because they're only 63 or 4% accurate. And if you're going to work or whatever, they're going to want one of those big dog tests where you're like guaranteed that you don't have it. Uh, 407-916-1041. Who is this here, buddy? Ben? Uh, this is Ben, uh, hey. and it checks out. He's the mayor of Cocoa Beach. Ben, what's going on, man? Hey, Vampire Town. Hey, how are you? Hey, well. time listener, first time caller. <laughs> oh, welcome wow. to the show, Mayor. How are you? I'm well. Just call me Ben. Hey, uh, I just wanted to share this because uh, there's just so much misinformation going on about this, and, and you know, we're seeing an uptick in cases. I mean, our, our local hospitals... I have 150 patients right now with COVID. And the overwhelming majority of those people in the hospital have not been vaccinated. So it's a decision that people need to make with their doctor. Don't listen to social media or the news. Have a conversation with your family physician. And uh, for the record, I had both Moderna vaccines and did get COVID about a month ago. Um, I have four stents in my heart that I got while I was surfing and survived that. So I'm pretty much high risk and uh, just had a mild case. So it was just basically for me, it was a cold, a little bit of a fever for two, three days. Yeah. So I'm glad I had the vaccine because we have people in our community that are right now in the hospital that aren't as fortunate. How old of a man are you? I'm 56. 56. So you're yeah. a little bit, just a little bit older than me, man. That's I, so very young. I, I just love the fact that the mayor of Cocoa Beach is a surfer. It just, it's, yeah, it, yeah. it's so right. Mandatory, isn't it? <laughs> It is required. Four out of the five of us on the city council are surfers, actually. So. <laughs> that's great. That's, 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 that's the most Cocoa Beach thing about Cocoa Beach. Is that right. everybody that can out, everybody on the city council can out surf you? Uh, that's great. You know, I made a couple comments about Cocoa Beach. I was just actually just over there in your fine city uh, this past weekend at Jetty Park. Uh, enjoying that and uh, was looking for some coffee and slid out. And as I was driving around at like, you know, 8.15 in the morning, I made a comment about, you know, Coco is interesting. It's like a vampire town. You could be out there at 8 in the morning and people will just come out of the bushes with no shirt on and flip-flops ready for their day. <laughs> and I got chewed apart by saying that. Yeah. Uh, I got chewed apart by saying that. It was... Well, one Coco Beach resident was not pleased. Oh, yeah, they were not very happy. Hey, uh, Ben, do you now every time, and I know Jim just dropped the, the cocoa, sometimes we, we kind of abbreviate. And when we're talking like about cocoa, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me about that cocoa, cocoa beach rivalry you got. Well, you know, uh, as I go over the bridge from my day banking job, uh, ain't no beach in cocoa, gentlemen. <laughs> right, there you go. There you go. <laughs> said, said wisely by the mayor, ain't no beach in cocoa, gents. Yeah, there you go. We got it, man. Hey, well, buddy, thanks for calling. We appreciate you and appreciate you listening, too, man. You got a fine city over there. Yeah, Good job. And again, go go have a conversation with your doctor. Yep. You know, if you don't believe any anybody else. Talk to your hey, doctor. Hey, Ben, you're not going to tell you, buddy. That's such great advice. We've actually said that on the air a number of times. Uh, and oddly enough, from a conservative point of view, uh, I heard that very thing from somebody who was considered one, not an anti-vaxxer, but one of these people who was like, you know, kind of hard on the vaccine and hard on the mask. And even though they were trying to kind of carry that line, when they said what they said, it was the best thing ever. And it's exactly what you said. You really want a good answer? Consult your local, consult your physician. Because your physician knows your situation better than anybody and can give you the best advice possible to move forward with. Yeah, and for the record, I am a registered Republican, so this politics shouldn't come into this picture at all. It should this not. Help, you're right. Issue. And Ben, you're welcome to call anytime, buddy. All right, take care, guys. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate that very much. Look at that, guys. How about that? It's a big ballers listening to the show. Play up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we do. We shouldn't have laughed that hard because now he can take that the wrong way. No, 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 but, yeah, he's no. King Vampire. That's why he's saying. King, King yeah. Vampire. Oh yeah. Right, right. oh yeah, he's King Vampire. He he lives in the cave, buddy. They all ride their big old bikes right up to him and start worshiping. And what what nineteen eighties movie is causing That's the Lost statement? Boys, Lost Boys. Lost buddy. Boys. Yeah. Have you ever seen Lost Boys? I I saw. 
here's the thing. When you work in, uh, I used to work in theme park entertainment, so you would see like half of every movie. Oh, yeah, right. Because <laughs> you you would go out, do a set, 20 to 30 minutes, come back in, watch the movie. So I've seen like half of a lot of good movies. Well, speaking of uh, theme parks, I told you guys I would tell you what the new Halloween Horror Nights uh, is going to look like. Have you guys heard about any of the new houses? Yeah, I have seen a couple. Very stoked. Okay, so all, Not a one. already they've already announced Beetlejuice, Haunting on Hill House, Texas Chainsaw, uh, Universal Monsters, which is like the Bride of Frankenstein and all that. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what do you mean you're just going to gloss no, no. over it, that? It's like, the, it's like the Wolfman and the Vampire and By Frankenstein the way, and I Brain. I think it was a couple years ago that was like my favorite house. It put, was one of the best houses. Put some yeah. respect on it. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, he's not wrong. You, you're kind of doing all him right, dirty. All right, guys. It's you're doing the him dirty. University Monsters. The Bride of Frankenstein Ooh. lives. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights <laughs> icons uh, capture Jack the Clown, Storyteller, the Usher, Usher. Uh, the Director, the Caretaker, uh, Chance. They're all going to be there. Now, they've added some houses as well. Uh, they've added Welcome to Scary, Horror in the Heartland. And uh, you step into this town of Cary, uh, featured in previous years of the event, and relive its most horrifying haunts over the last 30 years. Uh, Case Files Unearthed, The Legendary Truth. Uh, it's like a paranormal thing, Deb. Uh, ghostly paranormal stuff. Ah. Wicked Growth, the realm of the pumpkin, uh, which is, you know, pumpkin patch. And apparently you're going through the roots underneath the pumpkin oh. patch, so it'll be like that. Uh, puppet Theater, of course, that pretty much says itself. And Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Yes. All added. And I heard that's a great house, by the way. It doesn't beat the baby house. The baby house is the greatest house ever, by the way. Babies are creepy. Yeah, and, but, you know, it's also <laughs> creepier than babies. Wow. Baby teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. God. Well, and they pumped in the smell of doo-doo and a diaper genie and then uh, gave all the babies, like, really big heads. Uh, and it uh, was effing creepy. You, uh. you want creepy? Put uh, adult teeth in a baby head. Oh, yeah, that's really yeah. I've I'm always a bigger fan of, like, the the organic houses, the ones that don't use a license, mm -hmm. that, that aren't, Just, like, some famous character, because then the, the creative people over at Universal really get to... Do their own thing. They get to they, do their own they thing. They don't have to worry about uh, staying inside the license area. Uh -huh. Hey, Derek, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the show. I'm doing well, Jim. Uh, first and foremost, uh, your mom is in my thoughts and prayers, brother. Thank you, friend. And it takes a toll on you mentally and physically. It does. The holy crap out of you. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'll be dead honest with I you, buddy. You I, I slept pretty I hard last are. night. I'm, I'm pretty tired. Uh, yeah, it, I, I went through a lot of stuff just like that with my dad in Ocala, and I live in Ormond Beach, and it was back and forth, long nights, trying to get a hold of getting answers from yeah. people, and it's taxing, man. I, 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 I feel for you. Well, thank you, man. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, real quick, and everybody's getting COVID uh, hangover here, but I work for a national um, senior home care provider, uh, seven, uh, senior living facility provider. It's national, and they announced yesterday that we all have to get the vaccine or we cannot come back it, to work. Does it start with an S? No, it starts with a B. Okay, good. Uh, well, the one, I mean, the one that my, my mom is part of up there is also a national chain, and it uh, it also has, well, actually, they just shut down. There's no requirements. I don't even think the, the doctors can even come in if they're not scheduled to be there. Correct. I yeah. know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. They got friends that work up in that area, in Palacta and Bunnell and so on and so forth. Yeah, so. bud. And they do a good job um, over there, man. All these all these workers, thanks for your call. we got a split, but thanks for your call. But all these workers have been just so gracious. I mean, I call every four hours on the four hours to get information. And every single time, they know me by name. They give me the exact information I want, and then I hang up. It takes it takes one and a half minutes uh, to get my update because I try not to bother anybody because they're very busy, but they have been very cool. Yeah, buddy, what's up? No, I just want to – I'll finish that guy's last uh, bit of his phone call. Sorry, Derek. It's, we had to go. Uh, it would have ended with him and his – I believe his sister or a, a relative – who was anti-vax, who then went ahead and gave COVID to his 85-year-old mom, who is now in a hospital. Oh, my gosh. So that's what you well, hung up I, on. Well, no, no, no. I, I didn't mean to hang up on. We, we got to go. Way I mean, to do him dirty, I, I, should, I shouldn't have even listened to you say that, actually. I wish I wouldn't have. <laughs> I'm a Sorry, loser. Derek. And I appreciate you, uh, your kind words. I didn't mean to cut you off early, but we got to get out of here. All right, 407-916-1041. Load them up for last call, guys. Uh, and Ross, gonna I'm going to come in there and just kick you square in the throat. <laughs> oh, I can see it in his eyes, yeah, man. Sw Swayze his throat. He's going to yeah, Swayze yeah, yeah. your throat, man. You ever been Swayze, bro? Make us think or make it funny. Just make it good. Get on board now for last call. 407-916-1041. Brought to you by Heineken.
This Real Radio 1041 weather report sponsored by Rude Air Conditioning, powered by Ferguson HVAC. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro with a look at your Central Florida forecast. You can expect mainly dry conditions as we head throughout the day on Friday. About a 40% chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Afternoon highs around 93 degrees, so it will be another hot and humid day, but slightly cooler temperatures on the way this weekend as Fred does make its way toward Florida. Stick with us right here on Fox 35 for your latest tropical update. This report is sponsored by Spectrum Business. Small businesses, you may be paying twice what you should for internet and phone, but there's good news. Switch to Spectrum Business and get faster internet speeds and proven reliability for half what you're paying now. Call Spectrum Business at 888-489-2212 today. Up time to update your bathroom. It is time, and I got the company for you, Rebathroom in Florida. These guys are awesome. You know, I've been... I've been uh, I've been endorsing Rebath for over 10 years. You know what that says, man? That these guys have been doing great work for people from this city for over 10 years. These guys have been installing bathrooms. I've never received I've never received one complaint in 10 years of endorsing this company. Not one time has anybody emailed me and said, these guys did a terrible job. This has been awful experience. It is exactly the opposite, actually. These guys do an amazing job for you. And here's the best part. They do it in just days. Or you hear these nightmare stories about contractors coming in and taking deposits and then disappearing for weeks. Your job takes two or three months. You see a different crew every day. Man, Rebath knows that's not the way to do it. They give you beautiful bathrooms with incredible products, and they do it in no time. And they do it with the same crew. And even better, when they're done, how about a lifetime guarantee on the products and the installation? And the products are amazing. These are companies you've known. Moen, Kohler, Delta, uh, Toto, Birch Cabinets. This is good stuff, man. They just really know what they're doing. And they put together a design team to work with you hand-in-hand to create a bathroom that really complements the rest of your house. You are going to love dealing with Rebath. Dave Denbauer, the owner, one of the nicest cats you'll ever meet, ever. Log on today at Rebath MidFLA. Look at those before and afters, man. Simply amazing stuff. Book your appointment today at RebathMidFLA.com. Welcome to a place where everyone deserves to be better protected where technology has your back, where you can have better protection and keep more money in your pocket, where you can have protection for your car, your home, your phone, and even your digital identity. Welcome to a place where your entire life can be better protected. You're in good hands with Allstate. Allstate and affiliates offer products and services subject to availability, terms, and conditions. Hey, Central Florida, it's time to up your standard of driving. R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Are you sick of driving a car you hate? Raise the bar in a nice new car and lower your monthly payment at the same time. Used cars from just $69 per month. New cars from just $129 per month. Raise the bar and I'll get more for your old car. We'll pay up to $5,000 over appraised value for your clunker. Is your credit score lower than you like? We will help you get approved. That's what makes us your car dealer next door. Give it a try. I'm raising the bar and making my best. Best offer ever. Like brand new Mirage's 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. And introducing the all new 2022 Outlander in stock and ready for delivery. Plus check out our certified used cars. Monthly payments from just $69 per month. Trade-ins will pay over appraised value. So get here quick. I'm RC Hill, your car dealer next door. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishi. Visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires Bank Approval Mirage 9972 months. 2.9 APR, $9 down, 249 payment plus tax tag fees. Max trade instead of based on Purchase. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. O'Reilly Auto Parts specializes in keeping your car on the road. Not sure how much life is left in your battery? Our professional parts people will test it for free. If it does need to be replaced, we'll help you find just the right one to fit your car. Our superstar batteries are built to handle even the toughest conditions. Visit O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. A SunTrust checking account lets you stay on top of your money and help it grow. Plant the seeds for your goals with access to financial resources and tools. Keep an eye on your spending, hedging and managing it by setting limits on our mobile app. And rake in cash back on debit card purchases from your favorite retailers with SunTrust deals. With all the right tools, 
your account can blossom. Open an account today at SunTrust.com slash checking. Must have online banking to participate in SunTrust deals. SunTrust, now truest. Member FDIC. Find out just how much you can save on your monthly mortgage payments at RPFunding.com. I'm Robert Palmer, and I want to help you save thousands by refinancing your home loan and letting me pay your closing costs. Rates this low can't last forever, so lock in today. NMLS 70168, Equal Housing. When choosing a health plan, everything's important. Like knowing that when I go to my doctor visits, whether primary or specialist, I don't have a copay. That's peace of mind. Solis Health Plans gives me that. Also, knowing that with Solis, I have the benefit of obtaining up to $1,200 per year in OTC products. That's a relief. Yes, with Solis Health Plans, you get up to $1,200 a year in OTC products. Brand name products. Real quality. Solis also has the benefits you're looking for. Transportation to doctor visits, hearing, vision, dental, and much more like mental health programs to address the indirect effects of COVID-19. It's time for you to become a member so that you can have the peace of mind of knowing that with Solis, you're with a health plan that truly responds because they're local. Call now and join a local health plan that makes a difference at 1-833-33-SOLIS. 1-833-33-SOLIS. Solis Health Plans. Amazing health care just around the corner. When you owe the IRS or state sales tax and can't pay, call J. David Tax Law for effective tax help. J. David Tax Law can stop IRS or state collection actions and protect you from financial ruin. Call J. David Tax Law for a no-cost consultation at 407-603-3962. That's 407-603-3962 or at jdavidtaxlaw.com. Peace of mind is only a click or phone call away. Millions of Americans are struggling to afford food for their children during the pandemic. If you need help, simply text the word food to 877-877 to find free meals for your kids. No questions asked, just healthy food for kids who need it, right in your community. Meals are provided by local schools, government agencies, and community groups. To find free meals near you, text the word food to 877-877. This service is made possible by No Kid Hungry. This year full of real radio is brought to you by Tools Ace Hardware. ToolsAceHardware.com. Real radio. Real radio. Real radio. Real radio. 104.1. The Jim Colbert Show returns now on Real Radio. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. In you know, like your what? <laughs> <laughs> like your boom boom now. Everybody knows it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows it, but no one really knows it. <laughs> it sounded exactly. like he was going to lick your bum bum now. All right, 407-916-1041. Three lines open for last call. That's three. 407-916-1041. Three lines open for last call. We are going to get you registered for the Summer of Stuff. MacBook Pro, 70-inch TV, and, of course, the PlayStation Bundle all up for grabs, uh, courtesy of Code Black IT. We will get an Instagram winner here in a second. And if you want to be part of the Summer of Stuff, you still have time. We still have a couple weeks we're going to do this. Just go to jimcolbertlive.com. Jack put up a little thing there where you can click right on it. It'll tell you exactly how you can get involved. You win trivia, you win last call, or, of course, you uh, join our Instagram page, which is easy, at the Jim Colbert Show there on Twister, uh, on Instagram. Uh, just give us a like there, and then in the comments, uh, put Real Radio Entry, and then you are set to go. We'll do that in just a few minutes. All right, they're full now. Uh, so last call's full up. We'll get to those in one second. Now on the blog, Jack, I know we had a bunch of stuff on the blog today. Earlier in the show, we were talking about the former lead singer of Dead or Alive. Dead now. Yeah. Uh, Pete Burns. Ross <clears throat> Ross found a video, and the reason we put him up there is Pete Burns, I said, one of the first people that I knew that really distorted his appearance um, grossly with plastic surgery. We learned over 300 procedures. He's unrecognizable from when you first saw him with yep. You Spin Me Right Round until his death. And Ross has a, Ross found a video that shows his progression with all of those surgeries. We have it up right now at jimcolbertlive.com. We also have video. There was a road rage incident, Washington State, where the, you see a guy, and it's like a dashboard camera, 
and there's a car in front. A guy gets out, and he brings something up, wheels it, and then throws it. And you, can, if you slow it down, you can see they. It shows it several times in this video. An axe? Yeah. Well, it's actually a hammer. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Well, like a claw hammer, and it oh. goes boom. He nails that windshield, yeah. and there's did a camera, it, so you have that. That. Wow. Did it hit anybody, or just go through the windshield? You see the glass. Oh wow! Yeah. Straight yeah, up. So, that's what a Mario enemy does. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. That's JimColbertLive.com. You can see all that stuff right there at our. On our blog there. He's a hammer bro. Yeah. He's a hammer bro. Let's see what else. You doing stand-up anytime soon there, homie? Uh, no, not in uh, in Central Florida. Not for a little bit, but I just got uh, some emails about some gigs on, that are on the mm. horizon. Good. I know your brother played The Villages last night. Yeah. No. How'd it, how'd it go? He absolutely loved it. And yeah, I yeah. always love performing at The Villages because you actually have a chance of killing. Yeah, you do. I mean, those people oh. are ready to party and they are drunk. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. It was an age joke. Yeah, it was. But he absolutely had a fun oh. time. And if you're one of the listeners that went out to that show and went, wow, that guitar guy was pretty funny. I enjoyed that. That's my brother. <laughs> yeah. That's where I he got did. any standard of <gasps> timing. He it's... did seven. Uh, he did six guitars. There? Six guitars. Uh, also, make sure to keep an eye out on my one man show, Seven Flutes. Nice. <laughs> Here it's going to kill. Very good. We, we've heard. All right, Deb, who do we have to thank today? We want to thank Brendan O'Connor, Attorney Glenn Clausman, and Code Black IT for supplying our summer of stuff. Absolutely. Brendan O'Connor, Bungalower.com. Check him out there for sure tomorrow with uh, Bungalower and the Bus. His buddy John Bustecker. Yes, Ross? Oh, we got our Instagram winner. All right. Ooh. You know how I love a good Instagram handle. <laughs> you do. Love this one's a C plus, but I still enjoy it. Let's give it up for K Dutch 66. K Dutch. K Dutch 66. All right, K Dutch 66. You are now in the summer of stuff. Your opportunity is right around the corner. We did put up a Twitter poll today, Jack. Let's get an update on that as well. Do you judge a woman by the length of her hair? About the heat that the short-haired South Korean Olympian was receiving. Um, 85% of our respondents say they do not yeah. judge a woman by the length All of her right. I think in America, it was it's so different. We're so, yeah. I mean, we are, man, I mean. We're a melting pot. Not all, a thing here. If you're a woman and that's all you do to your hair, I mean, that, you know, some guys will be like, oh, good. At least it's not purple, you know, or green or a mohawk or whatever. That was a funny joke, Deb. Come on. Oh, okay. Joke. <laughs> I think your hair looks beautiful. I wasn't joking. <laughs> Oh, can he see it's, the purple? No, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. It looks good on you because your hair's so dark. <laughs> Colombian dark, not just normal dark. Yeah. I want to dye my hair. I still do. You should. Fuchsia. What goes with uh, that yellow, though? I don't know. What? That's a setup. Are you going to drop a <laughs> punchline? You got something? It is. Mike, last call. <laughs> hey, I'm going to edit this uh Stepdad joke. So, second grade teacher is using letters of the alphabet for every student in the class. And of course, she's got a little dirty Johnny in the class. She's going through every letter. Every kid picks the letter, uses the word in a sentence. Everything goes great until she gets to you. And she says, You shouldn't be a problem. She gives it to little, dude, little dirty Johnny. Little dirty Johnny says, Urinate. She rolls her eyes and then he makes the sentence. He says, Urinate. But if your chest was bigger, you'd be a 10. Oh. You know? A little swerve there. Not bad, Mike. That is a stepdad joke because I kind of loved it. <laughs> Courtney, last call. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome back, Jim. Hey, I just wanted to say something cool. Uh, you guys like uh, Eddie Van Halen, right? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, Wolfgang, uh, he's on tour right now. And a really good friend of mine, he's from St. Cloud. You should check him out. Garrett Whitlock. He's playing drums for him on tour right now on Guns N' Roses. Oh, that's they're awesome, dude. Yeah, they're going to have a show in October at the Plaza. Very so. cool, man. That's and awesome. He started at Sam Ash with, with me, so uh, just wanted to give props to him. Oh, very cool. You guys should check him out. That's Hopefully, awesome, man. Thanks know. for the heads up. I appreciate that very much. Paul, last call. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. Thanks, brother. Hey, Jim. Welcome uh, back. I go. I guess I'll go on a dad joke, too. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you glad I didn't say knock knock? Yeah, Here we are. Matt, last call quickly. Well, I mean, if you guys are caring so much about hair, you should just narrow it off. <laughs> okay, there narrow you go. it off. Beth, mm. last call. Take us home. Hey. Hey, you did a good <laughs> job there. Uh, let's see. You know what? It might be Beth today. <laughs> is, it, it, is Mike in? 
No, I don't think so. Mike Larson, you're now in, buddy. You're into the summer of stuff. We'll put you on hold. <laughs> Ross will get your information as if he doesn't have it already. Well, no, that's not Mike Larson. Oh, it's not? No. Oh, well, Mike, you're in, not Mike Larson. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. On behalf of Deb, Jack, and Ross, I am Jim. We follow the news, Chucky. They follow the monsters in the morning. After us, Tom and Dan with the corporate time. Until tomorrow at 3 o'clock, have a great evening. We'll see you then. It's Friday.